I'm testing something, testing some audio stuff real quick. Reality. Oh, oh, Alex, I think that's just a, t well, as you say, that's included in my list of arguments. So. I want to hear how loud this is. Come on, stream, catch up. Okay. All right, that all sounds good. That all sounds good. Okay. What's up, stream? We're going to do some uh, chill gaming. Relax. Discord's open, but I'm sharing the video in the Discord. So if you come in the Discord, don't be talking over the video. You got to tell me to pause. I'm trying to listen to the video. But uh, we're just going to be cutting down some trees. Maybe just um, exploring some bio. I kind of want to just throw up a bed. I want to build a bunch of beds. And I want to make a little house in every biome. At different levels. Like like a sky house. The whole way down the map. Like a, like a sky house, a ground house, and a cave house. Sky house, ground house, cave house. Working my way down the entire map. Put a bed in each one. And then that way, whatever area you're working in. You just set that as your um, as your spawn point. It would make the game so much easier. Then another thing we could eventually do is build mine all through the mines. Build mine carts. Dang old mine carts all through the mines. Tran we gotta make we gotta make tr uh, moving around faster. You know, what's up, Shane? What's up, Dean? So, and while we do that, we're gonna build on the. Uh, Stuff we were talking about on Monday with the Kalam Cosmological. Some philosophy. Some light philosophy. Heavy gaming. We got L William Lane Craig. He's the main proponent of the Kalam Cosmological argument. He brought it back and modernized it. And he pretty much whoops up on atheists in debates using this argument for God. And uh, Cosmic Skeptic is Alex O'Connor now. This is a old. This from three years ago. So this is when he was still going by Cosmic Skeptic. He's kind of re rebranded himself. He doesn't look the same. Um, but now it's Alex O'Connor. He's atheist, but he's a, like a philosophical guy. And he, I've learned more about philosophical arguments for God from him. And you learn how the atheists rebuttal it and all that stuff. So we're going to watch this. It might be... Kind of boring, but let's just chill, play the game, listen to the video, and get into it. Bad, I couldn't have made them up. This episode of the Cosmic Skeptic Podcast is brought to you by you. To support the podcast, please visit patreon.com forward slash cosmic skeptic. I don't know if his intro music is copyrighted, but we'll cut the intro music, but... Remix. So welcome back, everybody, to the Cosmic Skeptic Podcast. My name is Alex. Because, Dean, one thing you'll learn about philosophers is they're deep, but they also got to justify spending a whole lot of money. Look, there's not a... My house isn't complete. There's a hole right here. What the heck? Um... They got to justify spending a whole lot of money on like degrees and stuff for basically just thinking <laughs> all the time. So they make up real big words to explain stuff. But usually if they're good, they can explain it in simple English too. Okay. We quick stacked to nearby chests. What do I want to do? Shade wood. I want to gather wood. I want to make a bunch of beds. Gather wood, make beds. Cut down trees. Beds, trees. What do you need to make a bed? Let's play the video. Alex O'Connor, and I'm joined today by Dr. William Lane Craig, who is uh, the professor of philosophy at both Houston and Biola universities. With two PhDs, has famously debated God and the existence of God with an expansive array of, of very high-profile atheists. 
and always seeming to come out of those interactions unscathed. He's also the author of more books than years I've been alive. Uh, so, Dr. Craig, <laughs> thank you for taking the time. Thank you for being here on the podcast. Certainly, Alex. Good to be with you. That number of books in your age may be a reflection of your youth, I think. <laughs> Maybe. I, I think uh, your, how prolific you are is kind of the point that I was trying to get uh, out there. Um, sure. So, uh, as I said, just he got started, the joke, great, dang, Alex. I'm sure that most of my audience will be familiar with you and some of the things you've said, but they'll be familiar with them through the lens of the atheist, because in my mm. community, a lot of people have responded to your works. And uh, so the people who, who, who are listening might feel as though they've heard everything you've had to say before, but it's unlikely that they've really given the time to listen from the horse's mouth, except in a, in a debate scenario where they're probably going in with some biased uh, kind of starting points. So today, I wanted to discuss the Kalam cosmological argument. And one of the principal reasons for that is because not too long ago, I put out uh, an article on my website about why I thought there was a particular version or justification for the Kalam cosmological argument that begs the question. And I got a wealth of response from it. And I also saw that you'd made a series of, uh, of objections that you called something like objections so bad I couldn't have made them up. And that was one of them. And I thought, whoa, maybe I'm misunderstanding <laughs> something here. <laughs> so I thought oh, it would be good to sit down and, and talk to the man himself. So just as a bit of introduction, why is it that you're so well connected to the Kalam cosmological argument? Are you the person who gave it that name? I know you're incredibly well known yes. for having popularized it. So what's that connection? I did my doctoral work in philosophy at the University of Birmingham in England, and um, I did it on the cosmological argument for God's existence. And uh, in studying the history of this argument, I discovered that although the argument goes all the way back to the fourth century after Christ, in uh, medieval Islam, I got plants growing. Theology, this argument became highly developed and highly sophisticated. And so I tagged the argument, the Kalam cosmological argument, in honor of that medieval Muslim tradition. Kalam is simply the Arabic word for uh, a point of doctrine and denotes medieval Islamic theology. Excellent. Uh, and so the form of the argument is quite impressively simple, and I'm sure that most people listening will have at least heard it in passing. If you um, watched would it be last night's show, you heard it before. The, following. the first premise is uh, everything that begins to exist has a has cause, a cause. For its existence. The second premise is that the universe began to exist, and the conclusion which logically follows is that the universe had a cause. Yes. And this is a deductive argument, which means that if both the premises are true, the conclusion must also be true. So the only way to attack on, this man. argument, the, the only way to raise objections is raising objections uh, with the premises. Now, right. I find that most people, when they try to raise objections, they jump to the second premise. Something like the universe beginning to exist is quite a difficult thing to prove, it seems. And yet you've got quite an expansive literature on different reasons why we can know this to be the case. So perhaps we can start there before talking about the first premise. How can we know... Uh, let's say philosophically, because I know there are scientific ways and philosophical ways to look at this. Philosophically speaking, how, how can we uh, make that assertion? Know for sure that the universe started. I do think that the second premise is the most controversial premise in the argument, and therefore the one to which I've devoted the most attention. Uh, historically, the second premise what is that, that scary the universe sound? began to exist was supported by oh. philosophical arguments. It wasn't until the 20th century that there was any sort of empirical evidence for the beginning of the universe. And as I looked at the various arguments that were offered historically for the beginning of uh, the universe, the finitude of the past, it seemed to me that two of them stood out. Uh, one would be the argument based on the impossibility of an actually infinite number of things in reality. And then the other would be the impossibility of only ideas, an actually infinite collection of things. That's what we were talking about last night. <clears throat> um, like numbers could be infinite. You could have infinite numbers, but a number is not really a thing. It's an idea. So... You can't actually have infinite things. Or events. Or time. And it's not just that our brain can't get around it. It's just that it can't. It doesn't make logical sense. He'll explain. Allow William Lane Craig to explain. By successive addition. 
Um, these I'm going to make this are independent easier. of each other. Even if one fails, the other could still be sound. And so together, I think they provide very persuasive philosophy. I still can't pick into this. What type? What type? What type of plants did I gather to grow? Um, uh, I don't know. I just planted random seeds. I can't. I still can't mine into this. Oh, you know what? I need to find a, a meteorite. Topical grounds for affirming the finitude of the past and hence the beginning of the universe. Sure. So let's think about this. Uh, the difference between an actual and a potential infinite, which is the crucial mm. distinction to make, um, yes. as far as I understand it, is that uh, an actual infinite is kind of what it says on the tin. It's, it's, it's a, an actually existing infinite number of things, as it were, that actually exist in reality, whereas a potential infinite... Like what, stars? Is something that can tend towards infinity, such as dividing... The I don't believe there's between, infinite stars. Uh, two points on a ruler. Or timelines. Uh, but that doesn't mean that there are actually an infinite number of things between each point. Is that a fair analysis? That's Oh, that's exactly right, Alex. And the concept of the potential infinite dominated Western mathematics and philosophy until the 19th century when uh, Georg Cantor, a mathematician, discovered the concept of the actual infinite. So the notion of, the, of a potential infinite plays its role in calculus, where we think of infinity as a limit which a process approaches but never arrives at, whereas the notion of the actual infinite finds its application in infinite set theory, where mathematicians talk about sets so that have an actually infinite number of members in them. And it is absolutely crucial to distinguish these because one is not denying that the potential infinite can exist. Ah! Uh, the denial is that there can be an actual infinite in the real world. Sure. So there are two objections that, to me, can be derived yeah. from this idea. Ain't no There's infinite. The distinction between the potential and actual infinite. Uh, uh, infinite. And the first is this. There's an argument to be made that potential infinites in some way assume the existence of actual infinites. For example, people mm -hmm. think that if a potential infinite is something like... If it's possible, it could spaces, exist. The space between two objects being infinitely divisible, that there are somehow an infinite number of divisions between those two points. And so although it's like... Although when you do the divisions, it tends towards infinity, the number of actual divisions, the number of halfway points or something like that, is an actually infinite number of things. So it, that would imply that actual infinites do exist in between... You lost me, Alex. What's the problem with that? The problem with that is that it is guilty of a modal operator shift. Uh, it is true that possibly a line is divided here and here and here and here uh, ad infinitum, but it doesn't follow that there is a place here and here and here and here where the line is possibly divided. That's mm -hmm. two different claims. And um, I would say that a line is not a composition of points, that the line is logically prior to any points that you specify right. on it. And that therefore the um, possibility of ah! potentially infinite processes does not imply an actually infinite number of points. To assume that a line is a Stop, get off me. point is to already beg the question in favor of the existence of an actually infinite number of things. Sure. So uh, to flesh this out, let, let's think of a more concrete example. What the? Um, I'm thinking of the example of this paradox of the light bulb, which you, you've probably come across. This this is... Oh, I want to hear about the paradox of the light bulb. There's been no dang fights for weeks. Oh, we digging fast now, my boy. We're digging like a mug. How come my pickaxe still can't dig through this whatever stuff this is? Oh, we're just digging and exploring today, boys. What was that? What was that sound? Look how fast I dig through snow. I can make an igloo house. Oh, we 
found the Underground Railroad, boys. Get out of here, bat. I can't hit this stupid bat. Yo, what's down here? It uh, seems I've been down here before. In these parts. Paulo Costa's most tested UFC. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Dude. This is how I'm kind of understanding the objection in its most strong form. You can imagine uh, some kind of uh, light bulb that, that is programmed to switch on and off at particular intervals. And it's programmed such that you have a length of time, let's say, you know, 10 minutes, that once half the remaining time has elapsed, the switch gets hit, right? So, so it starts off and halfway between the kind of time elapsing, the, the light bulb gets turned on. And then halfway between the remaining time, it gets turned off. And halfway between the remaining time, then it gets turned off. Uh, and obviously the on and off switch is increasing in speed in terms of how quickly it's going on and off. Now, the reason that this is an interesting point to raise is that by the time the actual time has elapsed, it seems that you actually have ah, a, crap. A, a substantiation, crap. A, a thing that I hit the wrong has button. actually happened an infinite number of times and we have to answer the question of whether the light bulb would be on and off at the end of the question but the, the kind of real question the, the real interesting part is relevant strickland to strickland that's going to that be a good one if you have such a programmed light bulb it would seem not just that you've kind of got a potentially divisible uh, potentially infinitely divisible right. space but that an actual infinite number of things has happened in a finite amount of time yes this is a paradox known as thompson's lamp after the author who invented it Hold on, and I want to hear that again. The question that Thompson was raising is, at the end of the process, will the light be on or off? Thompson's uh, ground bill back sign. Now, in the remaining time, it gets turned. This uh, some kind of uh, light bulb that, that is programmed to switch on and off at particular intervals. And it's programmed such that you have a length of time, let's say, you know, 10 minutes, that once half the remaining time has elapsed, the switch gets hit, right? So, so it starts off and halfway between the kind of time elapsing the, the light bulb gets turned on and then halfway between the remaining time it gets turned off and okay. halfway between the remaining time then it gets turned off uh, and obviously the on and off switch is increasing in speed in terms of how quickly it's going on and off okay now the reason that this is an interesting point to raise is that by the time the actual time has elapsed it seems that you actually have a, a, a substantiation a, a thing that has actually happened an infinite number of times and we have to answer the question of whether the light bulb would be on and off at the end of the question but the, the kind of real question the, the real interesting part is relevant to this discussion is that if you had such a programmed light bulb it would seem not just that you've kind of got a potentially divisible uh potentially infinitely divisible right. space that but that an actual in infinite number of things has happened but in a you... finite amount of time yes this is a paradox ah. known as thompson's lamp after thompson's the lamp. author who invented it and the question that Thompson was raising is, at the end of the process, will the light be on or off? And there's no Thompson's answer lamp. to that question. Uh, right. Because there is no causally prior state. Yo, these questions, it's like you want to answer them because you don't want to be dumb. But the point of these questions is that there is no answer. There is no answer. It's just uh, something to think about. <laughs> Thompson's Lamp, Wikipedia, philosophical puzzle based on infinites. Yeah. Thought experiment concerns a lamp that is toggled on and off with increasing frequency. But so no matter what, only, you know, if it's 10 minutes, only 10 minutes is going to pass. It's not like time is going to be infinite. But they're saying that's crazy. It's basically just reducing by half. If you just keep reducing something in half, you would never get you would never get to zero. Huh. That's deep. Okay. Thompson's lamp. We learned a fun thing today. If you didn't learn anything else, you learned about dang Thompson's lamp. If you ever want to be all quizzical, if you ever want to get quizzical with somebody. Just tell them about Thompson's lamp. Tell them you learned it here. State immediately prior to the final state of the lamp after it's gone through the process. Mm -hmm. And so my argument would be that Thompson's lamp is absurd, that it, it cannot exist because the, there will be a causal 
gap between the states of the lamp in the series of switchings no. and the state of the lamp after the switchings are complete. There is no... Um, That's not my thing, Dean. That's well, somebody else's thing. Call Jesse. But the answer is no. You have to go face. You have to go face her. That's going to be the answer. You have to go and forgive. Doesn't say just forgiving your heart. Doesn't say pray to God and say that you forgive somebody to God. No, it says go and forgive that person. Immediate causal. Unless they did. Prior to that last state. Now you may be uh, distracted, Dean. This, there will be a causal. My argument would be that Thompson's lamp is absurd. That it, yeah, it's it impossible. cannot exist. Of course, it can't exist. But the, there will be a causal gap between the states of the lamp in the series of switchings and the state of the lamp after the switchings are complete. There is no immediate causally connected state prior to that last state. Uh, and and therefore, the state of the lamp at that last state would be literally uncaused, which I think is metaphysically absurd. Sure. So from this, are we supposed to take that the lamp couldn't be programmed in such a way? I mean, it, it seems like no. it doesn't break any kind of, uh, on the surface, I mean, any kind of logical or metaphysical rule to say that you could have such a program. Eventually, no, eventually there's going to be an impossible limit uh, to the data to how I don't care how good computers get eventually you're going to be at such a small fraction of a second that this switch has to to tell the computer tell the machine to turn the light on and off and there's going to be even if it's the speed of light we're talking about infinites we're talking about tiny tiny quantum numbers like it's going to be such by the end the last couple seconds it's going to be such not even the last couple seconds, the, the last fraction of the last second, it would be doing so much so fast, it would explode and the whole planet would be eliminated. But you're, you seem to be implying that because of the conclusion it, it, it leads to, we should kind of go back and then judge that actually that couldn't be programmed in such a way. Well, I, I would say that metaphysically it is impossible because of what I just said about this causal caesura, so to speak, between the states of oh. the lamp in the switching series and the state of the lamp after the switching series is ended. But it's also scientifically impossible as well. Nobody has thought there could really be such a thing because once oh, no. oh, oh my God, you blew distances, my ears out. It, it's impossible to switch bad, the lamp bad, on bad. anymore. The thing is purely up to? a thought experiment. I'm watching it's a video. to be something that's physically Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I see that, I see and that. so this wouldn't have any impact. He ain't talking about nine. Science. Contemporary science has weird, no weird, use weird. whatsoever. You should, did you see Joy all the day? Uh, contemporary science uh -huh. operates purely on the basis of potential infinity. Huh? I don't want to, I'm not trying to gossip. The question of whether or not I'm trying to watch, learn about philosophy. What you know about the Kalam cosmological argument? Is, is an open yeah. question. What do you oh, know well, about yeah. dang uh, uh, the yeah, Edison's light bulb? The argument, I mean, to the Kalam. Is that yeah, instead of the Edison's light bulb, the black man's the light bulb. The, the yeah, you haven't been paying attention to anything we've been talking about, reacted to, what's playing on the Discord right now. No, I just seen you on live. You said you was thinking about going live. I didn't know you was going live. You ain't posting. I've been live. I just seen it. You said I was thinking about it. He just seen it. I just seen Tom, it. Thompson's I ain't commenting. Man. No, I ain't been watching it. What's it say about it? Uh, Thompson's lamp is it's about. Do you think that infinites are possible? Real physical that there's a. That there's anything real that's infinite. Anything real that's infinite, yeah. Like what? The sun. What the? What the? You be happening? dead before it burns all the way out, so it's infinite. It, there'd be no life when it's gone all the way out. When it's dying, it's infinite. When it's gone, everything else would be gone before it will be. So. It's infinite. Anyway. When it dies, everything dies around it. I'm just saying, that's that, infinite. It don't need a source of oxygen to breathe. 
there's no oxygen in space. It's his own internal heat source. The sun is it don't just, so you think there's like only, human. You think there's only one, uh, one star? I'm just saying. I ain't, I ain't say that. Other stars die. But this star, if it dies, everything dies. So it's infinite. If this, if the sun this dies, the, we. If this the sun is dies, the omega, alpha omega. What if they made a dies. the whole? What if, what if they made a fake sun? Oh, the whole. Or what if we went to like uh, Mars or something? It pulls the gravity. The whole solar system revolves around this shit. Anyway, it don't just this make is about one. the infinite. We're talking about the infinite. I'm just told you what it is. You said the sun is infinite because if the sun goes out, we all die. What the hell does that mean? That's not... We're talking about infinite. You won't know if it go out. You'll be dead already. So it is infinite. No uh, life will exist without it. That's what, what infinite the? is. <laughs> Farther you go, you have to be alive to go to make sure it's infinite. If there's no life to check what's down the tunnel, it's infinite. You die before you get to the end of the tunnel... It's, that tunnel's infinite. Nobody can make it to the end. That's an infinite tunnel. No matter how long you go, as long as you're alive, it's only because of the grace of the infinite. What? Well, infinite. God. Yeah, God's infinite. Oh. But I think so, too. But I'm talking wow. about physical. I'm talking about physical. The sun, the sun is God. Oh, you're you said the sun is That's infinite. what I'm talking about. The sun is God. No, I don't they, think the sun is God. Or out. do I think the sun is infinite? I think the sun has. Yeah, think is, the sun is I think it's one sun. I don't think it's infinity suns. You could say there's infinity suns if you want to say there's infinity stars. If that's what the no, if infinity that's what stars getting, means, that's what infinity we're space. That's what we're basically getting to is that ain't no infinite universe. The universe was created. There's a beginning to the universe. But if there's a beginning to the sun, it had to be somebody that witnesses, and then nothing can survive without sun. So how do you know? Why would there have to be a? Wait, what? what you because the sun makes life. You said it. There's no. There's no life without the sun. Right. Plants, nothing. Right. Okay. So therefore, if life began with the sun. The sun had to come first and then come life. So the alpha and the omega would be the sun. Yeah, in the beginning. That's all observance. There was the well, God made the sun. Or God, the light, the light was good in the beginning. The light, the light was good. So good they called it God and with the word came the word. No, God and made the, the sun. Word God made the, the light. That's the difference between your gods and my gods. Y'all worship the creation. I worship the creator. No, you worship the, the Egyptians, creator. the Greeks, the the nomad, all them people. Y'all were they worship the the polytheists. They worship the creation, the stars, the the damn weather, animals like the jaguar, uh, sun. Order and balance. It was order and balance. But so y'all worship the creation, we worship the dang creator. That's what it's all about. Y'all plagiarized y'all shit. Everybody know it by now. Well, anyway, wait till Cat Williams, wait till Cat Williams know it. That's the only thing he couldn't talk about. He said, "You know the Egyptians were black. If Egypt is in, if Egypt is in, in Africa, Africa. And, then, and then Shay Shay says, shh." I don't know if he I didn't see that. Christian or he's still Christian, but he never said he believed in Jesus or he said God. He kept saying God. I don't know if he's Catholic and he he, yeah, was, uh, he he was Nation of Islam for a bit. He was I know, about, but he ain't now. I don't think he, he wouldn't be drinking. I think he's um, straight with. I think the his parents. Were, I think his parents were Jehovah's Witness. I saw. I'm not sure about that. That's not. Well, maybe somebody. Yeah, don't that. be gossiping. You said you don't. It's want a video. Gossip. It's a video I saw. Yeah, he kept it respectful to his parents. This is a video with damn 30 million views. It's not gossip if it's relevant. It's in the news. <laughs> I mean, if he didn't say it and you saying it was Jehovah Witnesses, that's gossiping. You making up, you're assuming. Oh, the Yag. Betty. He's, he, he, don't know about, he don't know about Thompson's light bulb. He wasn't even paying attention. Came up in the conversation. I wasn't even on the fucking show. I don't give a fuck about a light bulb. Hey. Language. It's a. It's a. We got Wi Fi. We got Wi Fi bugs in here. What's up, Floor? We were just talking about hey. Yaguars. What's up, Floor? Dollars. How 
Hi, Freddie. Who else is Freddy. in here? Daddy Jump? Nope. Freddie, I have a question for you because I was listening to you. Yeah. Can we measure the sun? Say what? How did I can get in here? Why can't I get out sun? of here? I can't get out yeah. of here. Then for it's not infinite. Yeah, I don't know what where the hell the he's sun? talking about. There's one dang sun, bruh. There's and, other and also, There's and other also, ones, not, not ours. you said you said that all galaxies have a sun, and that's not true. There is some galaxies that actually have black holes, and the black holes are the one in charge of releasing the energy for supernovas and all that. So we actually I only call man the sun be our sun. Don't be talking about black holes. He's gonna get excited. No, I know no, no but I mean, I'm just, I'm just asking those questions because <laughs> what you were saying, Freddy, I was like, what is he talking about? He don't know what you the hell he's talking about. Floor, floor, you just a cheerleader. I don't even talk to you because you want me to argue with women and I don't do that. No. Exactly. I agree, Freddy. 100. Yeah, no. Josh what? does. No. Josh argues with women all day. <laughs> no, I don't want I don't to. Don't it just happens. Women. I do the same. Place. I do the same with Josh when Josh says something. I'm not going to educate another man's wife. I'm not going to educate no. another. That's his Look, job. You, you're not. If you, if you want to run around, when you, around, that's when his you job. gotta know, when, when you gotta know me, what, but. you gotta know what infinite. For you to say the word infinite, you gotta know what the Josh word. Josh understood is. where. Josh understood exactly no, what I No, no, I didn't. I don't understand. Nobody yeah, understood. Yeah, <laughs> Josh understood exactly what I'm. Mean. I just kind of go along with it and laugh and not. Yeah, like this one take his wife. This guy just said the, the thing. Cat, son, this guy just said the sun is wicked. infinite because if we die, then life is over. <laughs> no, but I see Freddie's point of view because I was thinking about that. But uh, I was shut like, up. He, Both y'all he's measuring on your own ignorance. He's measuring infinite with lifetimes, and the human no, lifetime with next observation. to the infinite is nothing. If you're nothing. not here to know, then it's definitely going to be longer than you, so it's infinite. So you, you can't that's kind it. of like us. If you can't observe it, if no life can be alive when it dies, then what the fuck? It's infinite. It's longer than you. It will be alive that it will be alive at How the time it that die the sun goes infinite. down. It's just not us. And it it's will not, not die. You won't know. You just assume If the sun died. exploded, no one, if the sun no exploded, how long do you think it would... I want... Now I'm wondering about this. If the sun exploded, how long would it take? Or if the sun, like, went out, if the sun burnt out, how long would it take for us to die? I bet you it might be very, very, very quick. But I think that it would be quick because gravity, gravity change. is at the first thing that will go if that happens is gravity. Like we will be dead mm -hmm. within minutes. Somewhere new, ain't it? Yeah. Yesterday, no. I up, uh, how long could you survive in space? And it said, what "The heck did it like say?" Five seconds. Five seconds. Not probably not even that long. You're freezing. I think it's up. five seconds. It was like fifteen to thirty seconds or something like that. And it, yeah. and it wasn't freezing. It was you die from uh, lack of oxygen. Yeah. And I was like, so well, why it takes longer just... than that to suffocate. That's what I it said. Than... I know, Freddie. That's what I said. So it ain't a lack of oxygen. But it is uh... lack of oxygen because the vacuum of space, it like uh, all your all your oxygen evaporates <laughs> through your skin out of your blood, so you you run out of oxygen quicker. Is what they is what it's pressurized. Also, it's pressurized. Also, it's a pressurized. Freddy, it's Freddy, not pressurized. Space sun, isn't pressurized. It's sun, not that kind of vacuum. It's a yeah, lack of pretty sun, much. That's the only type of vacuum it could be. The sun is made out of hydrogen and ha helium, and eventually the hydrogen will run out. It's just no, not going to happen. That's not. why I disagree Stop. with him because the sun will burn out one day. No, it won't. Shut y'all's asses. But you mean it's made out of hydrogen? <laughs> Like but man, it, it ain't out. never. No, 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 not. But he because he says not while he's alive. So that means never. No, nobody. Yeah, but period. his lifetime is not the measurement of the universe. I don't, lifetime yeah, just for his. He's a pharaoh. You can't, you can't tell a pharaoh he's oh. a mortal. They got specific. They got specific <gasps> Look, degrees. Freddy, that Josh actually sun, said that you're a pharaoh. So many degrees, I know he's a pharaoh. The you earth will freeze it down. He's convinced. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you believe. Uh, you know, no, where? I'm dead serious. They got they, look, 
you can pull it up on anything you want to. Like if the if sun, you believe anything hard enough, it'll become your reality. If, no, it won't. Freddie is. I'm a telling you the truth. If a um sun flare, I can't mine into any of this red crap. I don't know what the heck. A sun flare can throw out our damn satellites a from thousands flare. of miles away. A solar flare, yeah. Yeah, and they were saying that um, but so if the sun changed temperatures so many degrees that yeah we'll freeze to death it's a certain amount of degrees the sun stays the same yeah, constant but or anyway Earth, the life whole, on Earth the whole, wouldn't even exist the whole infinity thing is just to get to the point that the universe had a beginning is is what it's leading up to is what they're getting to in this video and but you said what'd you say if there's nobody there to witness it how do you know it's a guesstimation there's nobody there to there witness it. There will be it. somebody to witness it. It's just not us. Well, no. He makes a good question, but that's the whole point of this Kalam cosmological argument. Is that <laughs> How is it going to be there if somebody to witness it, Floyd, when you can't live without heat? Who's alive when the sun's made? But but if the universe I never... I mean, what are you, hypothetically speaking, it will... Hypothetically end. is exactly what I just said, asshole. That's why I don't talk to women. He's <laughs> <laughs> so retarded. Daddy, why? I'm too you smart for y'all. Like... I'm international. I'm over here in Uganda trying to build schools and tell them they're Ethiopian. In Uganda. <laughs> that, yeah, Uganda. Oh, that's that's man that's talking that's about Ethiopia. Right above, um, right next to. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm gonna go over. I'm getting dual citizenship. I gotta get my visa for um to live there. I gotta and go it's not ID like a travel visa. Cause your days of living there don't count on a travel visa. You gotta have a, a residential visa. So I go and visit from time to time and build up my residential visa days. And then they offer dual citizenship to African Americans. And then I'm gonna start my school and bless them. Some funnel some money this sounds like a damn wives. crime is all i know i'm gonna have about nine wives i feel like you're explaining a crime hey you're not <laughs> supposed to talk about that in america well you're not gonna man, be in america whatever, right? dude i'm man what are you talking about do the fuck I go for you. it freddy yeah, have, said, like, he rich have nine wives have nine like, wives yeah, i felt cat on that i said yeah we rich man you gotta wake up and do whatever i want to do yeah i'm right and those women are very obedient, Freddie. Those They're women. very I don't want obedient. No obedient I want some queens. I'm he want, he want Ugandan. He want Ugandan knuckles. I want some. I want Yo, some. Uh, how do I have this? Why do I have Wakanda this? Uh, shit, yeah. You know, Ugandan knuck, Uganda knuckles. You don't know what that is? No, nah, it's gonna be Wakanda. It's gonna be some um, civilization, some solar. Some I'm gonna put my own satellites like Elon Musk and give them laptops. <laughs> set them up Get some, Elon no. Musk. He's, he's really good yeah, with the tell, internet. Hey, man, look, hey, he's a shady dude, man. I don't know about Elon Musk. He's a uh, I don't know. He's on drugs. I can only trust him. He's shady. He like to hang around Kanye and poke the bear when they talking about certain stuff, but he won't say it himself. And then he'll distance himself. And then he'll say DEI ah. is racism. How is DEI racism? He gonna come. All right, all right. It's anti-white diversity means yeah, diversity good. of I, everything I except white people. Equity means equity. It means taking from all the people who aren't white people to make the non-white people that ain't uh, what fake it is. equal. That and then ain't inclusion what. means inclusion for everybody except white people. That's what it all. How does inclusion mean everybody but what that means? Have everybody. you seen the videos inclusion. of the uh the libraries at colleges where it'll be like um an uh diversity, equity, and inclusion? You just described uh, a exclusion. multi a multicultural room and they'll kick the white people out and say we feel threatened because of all the whiteness in here and the multicultural room. So white people aren't allowed in the multicultural diversity equity. Uh, uh, why would it, they got There's multiple cases of that. I played videos. I've been done. Everybody knows about it. This ain't nothing new. I said, but they got an auditorium and a gymnasium. Why do they need to go in the multicultural? There you go. See, you know that you already know the dang <laughs> party line. You know the answer. They got an They got everywhere they could go. Why do they have Who's to be gymnasium? in our space? Yeah, they built they're it. 90, they're in ninety percent of the, the school. They just take up all the school. 
What if you think Obama donated the money for the marching culture? Man, room I think Obama's like, married to a man. What about that? No, I need. You can that. take, a, you can take what you want. That's a joke, YouTube. I don't actually. Yeah, I know that, baby boy. I know that. <laughs> because it's beautiful. You're not supposed walk to in there and claim that house. It's supposed to be on Grand Theft uh, Auto. Supposed to be a family friendly stream. What the heck? It's a family friendly stream. Just be yourself. That's what I tell my family. You ain't gotta uh, be no faker. Are you saying I'm a brother? Am I like a brother? Yeah, man. Uh, we are watching. This is a family show. We'll keep it one hundred. I'm gonna. Josh uh, is more like the cousin. What? A cousin? I'm the weird uncle. No, that's creepy. All right. Don't yeah, say that. That sounds really <laughs> creepy. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh no! What is on wrong with Josh? Man, we ain't doing that. It's almost bedtime. You know that, right? I'm gonna. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna bring my controller and uh, we can play three-player Rocket League. Me, you, and Zeke. We can take on people no. on the internet. Whoop them! I don't even play Rocket League. Well, you better practice. His game. You better mm -hmm. step your game up. You what is Rocket League? Take on somebody. You don't know what Rocket League is? Mm -hmm. Look, cars bounce. Shoot him. So He's getting lame. away. It's RC cars with rockets on their backs and soccer. Right. What do you mean? Remote controlled, rocket powered RC cars playing soccer. Yeah, that's pretty much oh, it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Rocket League. He plays it. One of the most popular games people. ever, and it's free. How do you not know about Rocket League? It's also one of the highest skill ceiling games. Um, as far as like kids play it, yeah, little kids play it and they have fun. They love playing Rocket League, but the pro Rocket League players are like, they're like, they're, they're in another league. To get good at Rocket League and be, these guys are making millions of dollars a year, and it's insane what they're doing. Do you see how important soccer is? No, uh, Rocket League is more important than soccer, in my opinion. Right, but, I mean, they are still playing soccer. That's how important soccer is. Well, it's also got hockey and... More important than football, Soccer is cool for women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are all these that fighters gets Billions of, of viewers and millions of people attending to a World Cup, not to a Super Bowl. Just saying, you know. Go to my house, Michael. I think all ball playing is lame. What you mean, sucker? Running for ninety minutes no, plus that's the extra time? Oh look, they that's just ran back and forth for do. two hours. He's taking a shot at the goal finally, and he missed. <laughs> do you know everything that it has to happen? They have to follow a They have to operation. run in a circle until somebody gets tired. What do you mean? You cannot... Oh, no, it doesn't work that way. You have to do a strategic... That's why that game, you sucker, because it's a game full of... Full of... Estra... How, how do you say it, Josh? Estrogen. Estragedy? Estrogen. Estragedy? Estra no, estrogen. that's testosterone. Testosterone. No, no. It's a game full of estrogen. That's what she's no, trying to say. No, we're good. No, it's tragedy. It's you tragedy. know it's not healthy for men to um. Oh no! This is your health. Uh, to work to run over four miles like ever, like like men should you never be running run over four miles. It's okay if you want to run like a half a mile or a mile every day as a guy, but you don't want to be doing long distance cross country running or soccer because it's bad for your nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's bad for your testosterone. Oh, hey. Dang. Test I was not expecting that. Same with uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Same with uh cross country bike riding. That's why what's homeboy's name? He got ball cancer. What those man, people do are blood, they, they ain't got feminist. nothing to do with no sport. Lance that's Armstrong. Who? Lance Armstrong. No, he was a dope. He was the roided up one. 
Yeah. Mm. Well, you got to be taking won, right. He, he you got to be taking uh, Roy's because your nuts are getting sat on. No, he had, he cheated a lot of people out of that damn bike ride. He won like ten or fifteen of them, and was doping on all of them. If you don't have both of your, I'm not saying he's a hero or anything. What is this? There's a heart. There's hearts in these. Is if this you, a boss? Does this start testing, a boss fight if I break one of these hearts? Shane, what are these hearts in these things? Shane, so hearts in the chat. He's in the chat. Oh, yeah. he's sending you hearts. No, there's chats in. The, <laughs> there's hearts in the dang game, in the walls. But I can't mine into these walls yet. I don't know. Oh. I don't even know what this is, but there's hearts in the walls. The heck? Shane know how to play that game? Yeah, I think his he said his brother helped design it or something. Or worked on what? it. I mean, that's that's cool, but it's not like... Oh my gosh, men can live if they lose both of their te testicles. Well, I mean, what yeah, are you why would you... What the heck? Why would you think that men couldn't live with it? There's, it's called castrati. You've never heard of all the slaves that the Muslims had? The Vienna. You the never Vienna, heard of castration? Yeah. You never heard? Have you watched Game of Thrones? Yes, I have watched Game of Thrones. I, don't, I don't know. I just thought about Varys, it. I'm a woman. Unit? I don't think if I, if, if I lose my... I never thought about that. I thought, that's true. Like, yeah. It might be a better life. <gasps> No, nah, you ain't got to lose your nuts. <laughs> Apparently, kidding. you lose That's your sexual joke. drive because you can't you can make more. No, I'm done with it again. It's bedtime. All right. Ah, there's water and stuff I can't mine into everywhere. I got to get out of here. Didn't they used to do it to the phrase back in the day? The phrase? They would get castrated. The friars? Yeah. They would, uh... That's, th the guys that's how you that, call them? Friars? The, well... Uh, I don't know about friars doing that. Friars like a guy at a church, like a. Uh huh. But back in the day, like back in no, I the think eunuchs, it was, um... the eunuchs were usually people who guarded the um, the royal the royal women, and they would uh. Well, some this is one case of when they would make eunuchs is these people would take a pledge. They get to live in the castle, they get to be around beautiful women all day, rich, powerful women, while the men are away at war and working, and they protect the women. But to get that job, you got to cut off the nuts because they don't, uh, the kings don't want you playing with their women while they're gone. Hank didn't know I turned Turkey. him on to interest. I think in fact Turkey, today. that's why they used to practice that. I, Hank didn't know 40% of slave owners were female. I said, y'all lost the race to women way before blacks were even free. I said, 40% of females were slave owners. 40 per minute. 40% of slave owners were female. Said, yeah, what the? a lot of them were black. No, they weren't. Shut yeah. up, Josh. Yeah, I, I've read the names to you, Freddie. I've read, went through the list of names. The The first American slave owner was a black guy. The first um, oh the first woman millionaire was a black woman, and she was a slave owner and a uh, makeup mm. lady. The, oh yeah, we went through all these it's names. They're if a black person can be taught to a million dollars and y'all create a slave. Y'all some weak motherfuckers, bro. You ain't got no creativity. Huh? What the fuck is going on? You're so hateful. Y'all just degrade yourself to make another people look bad. Y'all don't understand it. Stop the hate. You the one hating on your own race. What are you I'm trying to give you a fact and you try to act <laughs> like they was black. I didn't hate on anybody. Yeah, I said 40% of slave owners was white women. And you said, yeah, they was black. And that's a, that's a lie. No, I didn't say 41% were black women. No, you tried to switch the whole conversation. Yeah, they were black. I gave you a whole list of them. The first one was black and they I 18. said there's a bunch no. of black ones. No, there wasn't a bunch of them. It was very few black slave owners. Compared to the white ones. And 40% was women. We're supposed to be talking about philosophy tonight. Black slave owners, 10 most famous. Uh, no, we're talking about women. Famous black slave owners. Anthony Johnson. Um, number two is we're Elizabeth. Hey, stop, stop interrupting. Stop, stop interrupting. Stop interrupting. I'm going to mute you because you need to listen to this. So I'm going to read this because you brought it up. Elizabeth Fraser Skelton, 1847. 
That's the second name on the list. Third name, William Ellison, John Caruther Stanley. Hold on, there's other women on this list. Antoine Deblouchet, that's a guy. French, Marie Therese Matoyer, a uh, free lady in the color of Louisiana, 18th century. And I think she's the one, she's French colony at the time. Her mother was a black slave. She was a black slave owner. Uh, and she was a woman. Anna Gallum. So of the top 10 so far, four of them are women. A is Richard Edward DeReef. These are uh, Marianne Celeste Dragon. Dragon? Wealthy slave owner from Haiti. Dang, Haitian slave owner in America? Wealthy? She was rich? Asperi, Aspasia Cruvillier Marialt. Businesswoman and landowner. A French businesswoman and land, landowner. Um, able to purchase property in Georgia City. So of the top ten, five of them were women. These are black, famous black slave owners. Five of the top ten were women. So, so what? So yeah, maybe uh, forty-one percent of women were slave owners. Um, y'all like y'all was mad. Y'all gave women the right to vote, and they already was about to outnumber y'all as slave owner, property owners, and shit without men. So I don't know why I mean, y'all think men think did so I'm much great like, shit for her. You think I'm a feminist or something? You think I'm about to start defending women? What are you talking about? Who are you? Who are you? No, I'm just saying. I say all the time that women led the civil rights movement. It wasn't a black thing. It started as a woman thing. <laughs> How can they lead the civil rights movement? Conservatives when know that. Forty percent you're, the the, you're, you're like uh, barking up the wrong tree. No, I'm saying that they were never, ever, a minority or in danger to be a civil. Uh, any type of you just lost forcing a vote. They already had power. They never didn't have power. Y'all only thought they didn't have Who, power. Women or black people? What are you talking about? What women. I mean, women always had power since the beginning of time. That's the been, same the every, same three every, women. Many the same great three men, women many on great the court kings, today. every guy in the Bible, that was all their downfall since Adam, Samson, Solomon. Everybody in the whole history of the universe has known that women got that power except for jesus he was the only one that uh that overcame that maybe not the only one in history but yeah yeah nobody's gonna argue with, about you with that what you talking about who you arguing with somebody said trump and them women uh justices i thought they were singers uh, yeah hard, you heard that too hard summon a boss that's what i figured so how do I how do I pick into this red crap? What do I what kind of pick gets me into here? And why am I echoing in my ear? Somebody somebody got an echo situation. Am I echoing? <clears throat> can you hear me? Not too much. Yep, yeah, we can hear you. Am I echoing? I wonder if a dynamite. I don't hear no echo. Oh, then it's Josh then. It's not me. I'm it's the damn producer of the show. I don't echo. Yeah, Hold on, let me can. get out and. You think I don't know who echoing? I know who echoing. It's either Freddie or Floor. That's who. I'm gonna try Did to. Who throw... went away? Uh, check, check. Yeah, I think so. Oh, then it was me. <laughs> I only have two. Yeah, no duh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Josh. I have two Whatever. dynamites. We're gonna try to see if I can blow a hole in this. Ah, that was a horrible dynamite stick throw. <laughs> and it works, but I failed. I failed to hit my target. Crap. I need to make. We balling out all day, every day. We do not play. We do not play tomorrow. falling out every day. Tomorrow we're going to Sixth Street Bridge. I need with to get, the motherfucking drone. I need to get a dynamite right here. I don't think I want a boss fight right now. I think I need bombs. Boss fight right now is a bad idea. I will die. 
Daddy Jub, hop in. Where Daddy Jub at? It's not Saturday. He usually only gets on Saturdays. You seen him in the chat. Yeah, he probably at work, huh? What? What up? What's what? What? Love you. I love you too. This time I'm going to You ain't going to try to do nothing. Now. Did you say, well, look, yes, maybe that needs to be. I'm part of Jimmy went live. I wonder what the hell he is talking about. Trying to get rid of some puppies. The universe is eternal. And he got some boxers. He lived in Florida. It leads to logical absurdities. Oh, not logical. Yeah. This. Nope. Too late. My bad. All right. Try again. This one. That one. Then this one. Then this one. Look. Got it? It's like teaching a little group. This one. This one. Don't press this one. This one. Got it? Let me see. This one? This one? No, you're gonna kill us all. Does he when does he start school? He's next year. In August. You gonna homeschool? He's not mine to homeschool. I wish I could. Oh yeah, you don't have what do you got him for like this it's not the summer. He's only six, so yeah. He's not six yet, he just turned five. Oh. In Kentucky they don't start school to six. We had K five in Florida. I don't like that. They educate you longer and teach you less. We're gonna educate them from five years old to thirty five years old. Yeah. And then the kids come in that ain't never been, and they start all back over, dumbing them down, losing their interest, because they smarter than they supposed to be when they come in. But you got kids that ain't never been to daycare or kindergarten in with the first graders, so they go all the way back to pre-K in the first grade to catch the whole class up, because everybody's not mandated to put your kid in daycare or any type of preschool before first grade. So they go in first grade and then break it all the way back to a third grade pre-k level yep. and then they start second grade at the real second grade level and kids be starting to get lost like you must know this like and that's bad like no the fuck i ain't the boys gotta be challenged if they're not being challenged then they uh will get in a mess but yeah my 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 grandson i don't know it's, it's, you never know how they're going to turn out. Mine did real good in school, got a free ride to college, and didn't want to go. I mean, made straight A's and B's. So once oh. you get them to that point and they don't want to go to college and do something else, there ain't nothing you can do as a parent. So their education's on them and how, what they want to do with their life. You can wish the best for them, but where they want to go with it. Well, I don't even think they want to do it. It's like, it's like my son. He's trying to go to college to major in history so he can be a DJ. I'm like, what? You want a college major in history to be a DJ? Yeah, that's the that's that's today's kids. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> my friend is actually going to university just to be a DJ. <laughs> oh my god. He no, really is. Me. You could spend no, all that money on your education and just buy awesome gear and go on YouTube and start practicing. Nah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, oh, he's fighting back. I'm gonna go to college to be a lawyer. And my mind's made up. Once I see my buddy pay fifteen hundred, pretty, you will be a good lawyer. You, you I know I argue. Will. Oh yeah, God. I know I will. I know damn well. Come on, I look good. Freddie will be a good lawyer. Yeah. Floor. Damn right. It's not just being argumentative that makes you a good lawyer. You have to like know what the hell you're talking about and actually be. Yeah, you got to only take cases. You have to actually that be like believe the motherfucker points. or not. That's what lawyers right, fuck but up. They can't think read about their... it. No, Freddy, stop gassing Freddy, this man what up. he does. No, yeah, like, you know it. Sin. Stop gassing this man up. Ain't nobody telling me I'm a good singer. <laughs> Cause you're not, Josh. You, you would make a fuck? great singer, Josh. You know. You got a terrible voice. Why would they tell you that? You would be a good rapper. 
He wouldn't even be that. I mean, Freddie could probably get a job. I, it, now, any any nowadays, any idiot can be a lawyer because a lot of these like Twitch streamers and stuff are lawyers, and they're morons. A lot of these chicks. So I'm Wait, sure he no could. Way. I'm sure he could become a lawyer, and I'm sure he could get a great job working for the state in some Democrat city. Nah, I ain't gonna work for the state. I'm gonna be independent working. So if that's your a, dream, follow a, your dream. Unjust. Follow your dream. Mm -mm. I'm gonna sue the but United I'm States. Never gonna, I'm never gonna like call you. Who's a famous lawyer? I'm never gonna call Johnny you Cochran. Yeah. Johnny Cochran. I ain't calling you Johnny. Yeah. Cochran. You gonna have to call me Pharaoh Esquire. I don't even think he was a good lawyer. I think he oh, was a horrible God. lawyer. Oh that would be your lawyer. <laughs> I think he was an actor, and <laughs> at the time he was a civil. It was a civil rights thing, and they were black, and it was famous people. But he was a garbage lawyer. He was an idiot. Yep, Pharaoh Esquire be my motherfucking I think, name. I think that Freddie will be a good criminal defender because... No, you, le you no. left off that, that extra word. Why? Let me finish. Sure? Let me you finish. had it what right. You had it right. Let me finish. Freddie Freddy tends to... If you notice, Freddie Freddy actually... Freddie a good criminal. Even... <laughs> it, no, a good criminal. I'm oh, sorry. I... That was like half in my mind. Criminal when defense I said attorney. I know what you're A trying. criminal defense. Yeah. Because if you notice, Freddie, when he says, even though a lot of things don't make sense to us. but No, they don't make sense to anybody. That's not just... Okay. But listen. Listen. <laughs> what the but are you okay? Like, what are you talking about? No. No, but Freddie... Is you he high? He reads a lot, and he's always he has twelve for his books. Conspiracy things. He owns twelve books, and I've never seen him read. No, no but what he's them. interested on, he reads. He it. Don't so read. let's put. Listen, my point. What so my are you point talking basically about? Where is, is this girl? Does this girl? Where is she coming? Does anybody in chat know what the hell she's talking about? <laughs> yep, I do. <laughs> Josh, man, he don't want you to be appreciating nothing black floor on his line. No, they're gonna call you a n word. No, it's just like it, like makes can me think she's like not that that sharp. Nah. No, but I'm let me finish. Can I finish? My point, oh, yeah, I just gotta finish my point. So, uh -huh. for you to be a criminal defender. You actually have to pull shit out of your ass. Sorry, whoa, that was a lot of cousin. For you to be able to get this people free, and that's what I you do. know, okay. and uh, Freddie yeah. does that a lot. He goes ahead, pulls shit out of his yeah. ass, but then yeah. he actually investigates about him. And he, even though it's not true what he's reading, but he. So you're does saying Freddie would make time. a great liar? He would make a great courtroom hustler liar. Yeah. No, you can't lie I in the courtroom. That's the only thing. It's about I'm not the saying yeah, right. that. I'm saying <laughs> that he has the capability of, to go ahead and find. You gotta have evidence. That's a lawyer, right, right there. Like no. only a lawyer, only a lawyer would say that. Out of maybe it's a website that is run by I don't know somebody who was really high and made that whole website. But then Freddie will pull that website up if we use it as evidence. And it will make you look into it and stuff. So I yeah, think it will be a yeah. good criminal defender. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna investigate, get to the bottom of it. You crazy? You damn right. You crazy. damn right. You crazy, <laughs> damn up. Watch, watch. Somebody has to say positive things here. It's not all about man. Me. John just okay. want to hate all these. I've been places, positive. Man. I've been positive. My whole people life. hate on me so much, man. I swear, I think Joel made. So much money today from people hating on me. And just people hating on me. You gotta hate, 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 this hate, is hate, not hate, an hate. emotional dump paying. a stream. No, I don't want nothing. You I gotta tell them to pay you. you. You're like, yo, these people pay, paying money to super chat to hate on me. You don't need no, to pay me for that. these super I, chat. I think Freddie and Josh should make their own podcast about debating. And I bet you will get a lot of views. What do you mean? It's basically just my show that he calls all the time. Oh that's God. right. And this that's why people are... <laughs> Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. But it ain't consistent. And we was really on a real show time on the consistency. Like I'm gonna have to be I, I think for drinking really got it. floor high. Yeah, because see I don't I got what? Huh? No, I'm really sick and I am kind of a stone, so maybe I'm just talking nonsense, mm. but 
higher than a dang kite. That's right, blowing smoke. But look, I'm for real. I'm about to go international. Uh, I already told Nick and her son, he going with me. We going up. Boreal Wood Workbench. Where are you guys going, Fetty? We going to the studio. We going in the movies. We going to take over L.A. That's why I've been having L.A. on my name. Fuck Fredericks of Hollywood. This is Frederick of L.A. Well, you said you're going international, so where are you going? Yeah, but I, I'm going to represent my home base is L.A. This is I'm international, but L.A. is my home base. So, oh, yeah, right, I'm right. international. Yeah, but, yeah, they're going to know me that this is my city. I got to go take over the city. This is, this is already sharp talk fast. Wait, c Sal, what's up? c Sal, c Sal, did you ever hear that Mary Magdalene was not a prostitute? He said I look good in a nope. suit. Being an attorney is mostly reading reading a lot. Yeah, court documents Lay are boring. Shit. Court documents are boring as hell to read, too. No, nah, it's cases versus cases and who won and who didn't win. And what the juicy part will be like one page with. and it'll be like 3,000 pages of documents. Yeah, that's fine. You can get to the gist of it. You pass that bar, you're going to be good enough to know what the fuck's going on. That's all the relevant cases that you need to know. Everything else is uh, nothing new under the sun. Uh-huh. Until you can prove something to break something, to overturn something in the bar's examination, it's going to be hard to do. They're going to be like, what? He done broke this old code that's been law, and he done found a way to... Oh, yeah, I delve deep enough to... Freddie's dang beautiful mind now. He's breaking codes in the law room. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a really good That's movie. That's how laws are amended. They that find is. motherfucking loopholes and shit and say, no, nah, you can't do that because they said this is this and this is against the law in this state. So what the fuck are y'all doing? Oh, you know, y'all knew y'all just trying to slide it in and think what nobody noticed. So all of this is against the law. I get a class action suit. I get about 100 people on my motherfucking team that's locked up. We all getting out. And we getting paid. Oh, Give my gosh. My money. Listen to this. Nice girl syndrome. <clears throat> We're looking for 10 women who need to get rid of the nice, the nice girl syndrome no matter what. We will transform you into a confident, emotionally intelligent woman who doesn't struggle with self-growth. What? <laughs> Nice girl syndrome. I I like that. What's that number? Well, you gonna call? I don't you, know. you don't want to be a nice girl anymore. Yeah, that's right. I need to I need to know where to show up, and I'm gonna park outside that motherfucker and get every bitch to show up after me, <laughs> motherfucker. What yeah, are you talking damn, like, about? Call them, floor. Get the address. I need to know. I'm not getting no floor. address. This is ridiculous. Call them. There's some real people out there. You know how you make them And then we wonder why head. we women are. Have a you heard about this new like, thing I, about I'm emotionally nice, I'm tired of being a nice girl. And he's like, all right, bring your ass on over here. I've been taking this an emotional what they want. Like okay, okay, I'm fed up. Dumping is a new thing where women just basically cry in front of the camera and then they just trauma go, dump. Oh my god, trauma dump. Oh what my is god, that? shut what up. What a dumb thing. That's that some white people white... shit. That is some white people shit. You're so right about that, Freddie. That is some white people shit. Whatever. Because they're all white. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let me tell you. Let me it. tell you no, about some be... black and brown people shit. Hold on a what? second. Yeah, he got to go to the I internet. I would get offended by know. it if it's true. Be a go brown the person. Dang. He's got to go to the him. internet. He's going to like Google. That is a white person. I don't person have to Google right stereotypes there, for what? black You're people. You're doing some white person stuff right hey, now. Oh, I'm going to Google yeah. that. We can't swim. White Sounds people like in 2024. <laughs> White people in 2024. Oh, let me still, I let have me no idea about that. Shit. That black people don't hey, know Google. how to swim. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, Flora's I mean, not a, all of them, but Flora's the majority. a Hispanic I'm... woman, so she's uh, she likes tacos and she can't drive. What do you mean they can't uh, drive? I have never been in a car accident. Women Josh. can't drive. I can probably drive better than you can ever. I know how to ride motorcycles. Uh, I, I call BS on cars. that all day. 
all day. I call BS on that. I wouldn't mm. even ride in the passenger seat with you in my life. Listen, oh, if you yeah. can, if you can drive down in Guatemala without having an accident within the first yeah, month, awesome. I'll believe you. Okay, I'll know. believe you. Over here, there's what am I driving? A yeah, the roads are two limit. foot by two foot. What am I driving? A two what do you foot? mean the speed limit? When I first came here, I'm driving I, a the tool first tool. thing I asked. I was like, what is the speed limit? And people looked at me and laughed, and they're this like, there's no such a thing as a speed limit. Okay? There is no signals. Come on. You don't use signal. You just read the other person's mind and hope that is the right decision. you got to be with your extra senses on. Oh, can like... you tell me I don't know how to drive? I can drive better than you can in any day. No. That's ridiculous. This is absolutely no. insane. No, comment right down here. That is the best driving lesson life could ever give you. A quarrelsome woman is like a leak, a leak in a roof. What is it, Cecil? It's like a leaky roof. <laughs> a leaky roof? roof. Yeah. What is it? I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like a leaky roof. It's just bloop, bloop. Blue, and, and it slowly over time it just drives you insane it. until you, there you go, it's like Chinese you water torture Chinese oh, water torture yeah. Some, somebody's in front of my house with <clears throat> love music on honking get under the bed <clears throat> get under the bed why is Cap what are you Proverbs 27, 15, and 16. A quarrelsome wife is like the dripping of a leaky roof in a rainstorm. Restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil with the hand. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means don't waste your time trying to do it. And, uh, and you need to fix that dang leak in your roof or you're going to go crazy. <laughs> leaky. Um. I don't. I, I gotta hear it again. Read it again. I can tell you my interpretation just from if you read it the right way. It doesn't. That sound it right. doesn't take much interpretation. A quarrelsome wife is like the dripping of a leaky roof in a rainstorm. Restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil with the hand. Impossible. It's impossible. You can't do it. You shouldn't even try. That's a crazy. Man. Wait, what is it that you could don't don't even try? I don't get it. Try to oil. Why would you try to? Why would you hand. try to hold oil in your hand or grab the wind? That would be stupid. There's no point. It's right, but what was what was the first thing that you said before that? <clears throat> a quarrelsome wife is like the dripping. It's saying don't argue with your wife is what it's saying. Oh, oh, yeah. It says a quarrelsome wife, a woman who's trying to argue and ah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's like a drippy roof. It's like a dripping roof in a rainstorm. It's just. We don't eh, sound like, like a, that, Josh. We don't sound like. Wah, 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 wah. We're making yeah, sense. You it's guys like. Wah, wah, just wah, can't wah, 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 wah. It's like a bee buzzing. No, it's like a it is like, not like ah, that. Ah. <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> and it said, don't even try to restrain her. You might as well be chasing the wind around. Ain't no point. <laughs> yeah, that means beat that core out of them. No, that's the Quran. We, cool. can look at, what? we can see what the Quran says. Beat that core out of him. You think you the man in the let's go in here, kids? Step outside. We about to uh, have a talk. She got this coral in her. I got patch this roof. Coral. Did you think I'm saying coral like coral reef? No, coral like as you want, like coral. Like yeah, coral. I know what the fuck it means. Not no reef. Yeah, it doesn't. Quarreling as a uh, fight, an uh, argument, an argument of, yeah, I know quarrel. Yeah. But, yeah, that don't mean, nah. There ain't no controlling that. That make a man feel weak. That makes it seem like she in charge if you just gonna let her say what you Well, do it's not the Quran. It's do. not gonna tell you to beat her with a stick no thicker than your thumb. Yeah, it ain't gonna tell you to let her do what she wanna do and don't try to control her. Why will you beat her? 
No, that's what the Quran hey, says. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's a different way about beating. Sometimes you can beat that, beat them cheeks. The Bible says you can beat your kids, but uh, <laughs> I don't think it says anywhere that you can beat your wife. No, it says you can beat them cheeks. <laughs> them Jewish people be beating it them does, cheeks. It does say the wedding bed is not defiled. So that basically means you can beat, beat them, them cheeks. cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What this is is that you can't that the woman can say. But it says that it the 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 sex can't what? It says the marriage bed is not defiled. What is what is the meaning of that word? It means if you're having nah, sex, he's trying. I don't know where he's trying to go. When husband and nah, wife are in the bed and they're that. and they're and they're getting their freak on, it's not evil. Don't go there. They're making babies. They're that one, was they're one flesh. Don't go there. They're making babies. Don't go there. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Where it says where it says they're getting freaky is evil. Um, I think it's pretty much. This is what Freddie was arguing with me the other night about. But um, sex wouldn't be uh, here. Sex is from ago. sex is from Satan. It's not from God. It's not love. It's uh, for the purpose of recreating, making babies, and it leads to the punishments that God gave us. Painful childbearing, men having to sweat from his brow to provide for his family and his kids. This is a curse on us. Ideally, if everything was perfect, then it would have never been no people. It would have just been Adam and Eve in the garden forever with God. And there would be, no, there would be no baby making. Yeah, that's stupid as shit. See, Sal, know what I'm talking about. She said, agrees with yeah, she said, I'll say you retarded. No, she said, amen. She said, amen. Can I get a... But if, you, devil, but, but if it's the, with your before husband... Devil, before if it's with your husband... Created. If it's with your husband, the marriage bed is not defiled. So the marriage... Before so the devil the was even bed, created... That's the right way to do it. People was having sex before the devil There's was There's a reason created. Jesus wasn't married and making babies. They was having sex before Jesus was married. It was Jesus was ever even thought up to. Yeah, they was having sex before then. Yeah, I know, Freddie. What do you what what's Yeah, the point? so I mean, yeah, it's Darwinism. It ain't it's what the it's the circle about? of life. The whole circle of life, you retard. Yeah, I'm not retard. You can't call me a retard because you say something retarded and it doesn't make any sense to anybody. And then when I say <laughs> so this doesn't saying, make sense, you call me a retard. That doesn't. You saying before marriage, everybody having a baby was out of evil. Before the devil, everybody that was having a baby was out of Satan. So if you got if if you lived in before about, Satan and before marriage times, maybe you it was does having sex out. I might Satan. I might be making something up, but I thought. I thought what the marriage bed is. I... <laughs> nah, you, yeah, he is because he always try to act like. What you mean? Well, you, you might be. He well, say that because, so you can rape your wife. Because she, she, I know why he say that shit. Hold on, let me. He say, that. "Oh, it ain't illegal to rape your wife." Hebrews you know, thirteen you, it is four. Illegal. Marriage is honorable among all, and the bed undefiled. But fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. So marriage is honorable, and the bed is undefiled in a marriage. Then it says. And this is semicolon. Uh, this is a semicolon. So this is a new, a new thought separate from that first one. So that first one stands alone. Marriage is honorable among all, and the bed undefiled. So what I think that's saying is that when you're married and you're the beast with two backs, God's not. That's not a sin, right? <laughs> Nah, you wrong on that, buddy. Then it says, but fornicators and adulterers, God will judge. Fornicate. So then what it's saying is people who are having sex out of wedlock, God will judge. Let your conduct. And adulterers. How do you be an adulterer without using a bed? Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. Meaning your wife. How are you an adulterer so that is, that does kind of, it does bed. touch on adultery, but it's also talking about just sex, fornication in general, sex out of wedlock. Your marriage. Well, you how do you be an having, adulterer? If you're having sex out of wedlock, you don't okay. have the marriage bed, so the bed is defiled. That's a sin. It's basically what it's saying. Mm -hmm. Josh making up his own rules, y'all. I'm not. I'm reading it, and I'm I'm telling you what it says. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in nah, no moment the Bible know. says anything <laughs> no, about getting freaky is bad with your husband. That's what I just said. That's, right. That's so... what we've been saying this whole time. No. What are you? No, what are you trying... See, listen. Floor's just trying to argue, even though we're saying she's like questioning something. 
I never said having you know sex with your husband saying. was wrong. That's I've been saying the whole time. What are you talking about? No, I'm just I'm I'm literally just saying so then oh. nowhere it says that you are the one who thinks that I argue all the time, Josh. You know what? Let's argue but, boy. If that's but what you at want, the same let's time, get it. But at the same oh, time who is that? at the same time you sell his car. We wouldn't have we wouldn't have the marriage you sell his and, car? and all that if oh. it is <laughs> I don't care what you say, man. Well, anyway, there's a child. <laughs> That's right. Who said that? Everybody know there's something a little bit, a little bit dirty about sex, right? Everybody knows that. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Every now and then you get a little freaky. And you're like, "Well, that was kind of whoa, whoa." You know, we got lost in the sauce. We we went unconscious there. You know. Nah. I think uh, America went beta. Eddie, what do you think about that the woman should be the one in charge that the men keep the sexual interest on their spouse? Wait, what? The woman is in charge to yeah. keep... What did you say? The woman the should interest. be the one in charge of... Hey, this is... By the, the way, for Hey, this is my spouse. show. This isn't the Freddy... This isn't the Freddy show, if you... You should say, no, we say Baby, hey, Josh, oh my God. Josh, are you, Josh, you Josh. are so defensive say, today. I'm just man, asking him a jealous. question because I, know, I, got I already time know me. your answer. Right. I want to hear Freddie's answer. Well, you can say, yeah, hey, Josh, no, Josh is acting all retarded. You can say, hey, Freddie, what are you, or hey, Josh, <laughs> what are your and Freddie's thoughts on this? Oh my God! Shut up! Josh, you're spicy today. He's yeah, I'm a spicy to eat a bowl. He's a spicy man today. Oh. What, was your, what was your question? It's the woman's job okay. to. What'd you say? <laughs> Keep her man sexually interested. Freddie, are you are you watching this? Now he took in charge. He's like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. pretending that I asked it. Yeah, I'm pretending now he's dying to know exactly. How. No, I'm about to answer that question first. <laughs> is it the woman's job to keep the sexual attraction cracking in a relationship, or is it the man to be no, attracted to her and cover her up? Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is that, okay, so the question is for both of you just to not piss off the white men present right now. Yeah, we're um, not doing the affirmative question action. Is for both we're not of doing you. affirmative action questions. <laughs> right. Right. So, do you guys think that the woman should be the one in charge of keeping the man interest sexual? Keeping him interested sexually. Sorry. Um, oh. that the woman should be the one in charge of keeping things spicy for the husband. In the relationship, in general, the woman should be the one in charge of keeping the men sexually interested on her. No, I just think she just got to make herself available. She ain't got to stay all ready all the time because that makes her look thirsty. But if dude, you know, she know her dude, she know when and what days, how many days he go apart from what. And then she get on her job without asking, hey, he loving that. But other than that, you ain't got to be all pretty all the time because, nah, I ain't trying. You get to a point where, yeah, we done did this so many times. It ain't about sex. It's about. Yeah, I just want to know when you're bed. fertile and we're going to do it uh, the specific way like they do it in Napoleon. No, nah, I already and know you boys. because you don't got, you, I made you mine. Now it's about I'm, just I'm not, I'm not, not making me not. I'm not going to. I'm not quite. What was like that, you. Josh? What What was that comment that you just said? Have you seen the movie Napoleon? No, no. I I get the whole movie Napoleon, but I ain't seen Napoleon. He, what Napoleon? He wanted to make a son, so he only did it a certain way all the time. And he didn't really, he didn't even like put, no, it was wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm trying to make a baby here. Get in there, get out of there. The woman ain't moaning we're gonna and have all this a, stuff. A, we're going to have a private conversation about all this. That, yeah, all that, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. All that, Did, I'm not down for that. What is all wrong that with you? Moaning. Did he make a son? What? Oh my gosh! There's so Did many he things make that a I son? want to say right now, but we're in the public space. But what uh, is wrong so with weak. you? 
Yeah, I'm a so, Christian. Did he, Josh, did he make a son or not? Uh, yeah, with uh, with uh, Napoleon, he did. Everybody okay. thought that he was actually sterile because he wouldn't have kids with his wife. Okay, but so she was that position paid. I though. think she did something. She to her. was the I one that's sterile. She, uh, yeah, I think she sterilized herself at some point because didn't she have kids when he met her? And I think she like sterilized himself because she was like a vixen. She was like a Jezebel. No, you know what happens is that she was over forty. She couldn't get pregnant anymore. I mean, I don't know how much of the movie is um. It was fake or real or whatever, but in the movie, she's like, she shows him her JJ and she's like, once you look at it, you're gonna be, you're gonna want it forever. And then I think she like. Let me tell you something. She was trying. To I lock have not him watched down. that. I yeah. let me tell you something. I have never watched. I haven't watched that new movie. You're talking with the one with Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin. Okay, yes. so first of all. That movie, I haven't watched it because it's not based in real life. It is true that they thought that his wife was. Are you, a where, who are you? You some historian now? Have... <laughs> I, I, I really know about Josephine and also Napoleon because I'm that story is fascinating. Josephine actually cheated on Napoleon the first two right. years that they were That's together. That's in the movie. But whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah but... Napoleon's son, seven foot, and Napoleon only he five had foot. One. No, no. He had a son with the let test girl because they were trying to test her womb, so they let him have sex with a young, uh, another no, girl. No, no, that's not and true. She got pregnant. That's, no, that's not true. true. This is what Come happened. On, and then man. he had y'all sex. The, and then he had sex with his y'all second y'all wife, talking. and he married her when Hope she was fifteen. Josh, I am trying to historically he married her when she facts and not a freaking movie. I'm trying to talk about a movie. After after you ain't ten years about together, they got divorced, and then Napoleon remarried, and then he had a child. Oh, fact check. We're gonna fact. Oh, yeah, he married yeah, a fifteen okay. year old. He married a fifteen year old. Damn French people. Um. Yeah, yeah he couldn't get no air up thing. inside of there. That's what was happening. It was air getting Watch up this. inside of the vagina. When you were the old lady, that's what Cecil got mad about. You and can't he also had illegitimate kids that Josh, have a body just like before that. before you check on this, he did have illimit like I think it was two in the middle of it illim He could have illim- waited. That's a pedophile. He, he had he had kids out of wetlock. They were only married for so, five years. He was oh my gosh. Look at it. It don't matter if he I'm dated a fifteen year old a pedophile. Made. I'm just I'm reading it right now. To the one you was talking about. Or the 15 year old. He was married to the 15 year old for five years? No, he was married to Josephine for five years. Just five years oh, after okay. tying the knot and after pinning hundreds of passionate love Well, I guess I was off then. Five years. But not, actually, Josephine, uh, Josephine, no, 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 no. I know why you're only reading five years hold because on, they're actually. Yeah, go sit down they, and pee. They lied. They lied in their first marriage about their age. So. When they needed to, when Napoleon needed to take uh, the position as the uh, what's it called, as the uh, the I position you, that he, the highest position. Doggy style. No, this is, this is this gets me excited. Doggy style. <laughs> this is really doggy good. Style. No, not Commander doggy style. Wait, wait, he, wait, he needed the uh, no the. That's the one that makes boys. That's how you make boys. No, no I'm talking about the position uh, in Colonel. government position. When no, he became a uh, missionary. Uh, Look, yeah, you standing we're on. We're not talking gate. about sex. <laughs> oh, I'm talking just, about. <laughs> I told you to hold on because I left for a second. When I come back, all I hear you talking about is mm-hmm. positions. Oh, okay. Can what? I tell you now? This gets me really excited because it's really interesting. So oh, the when goodness. when Josephine. Napoleon was actually madly in love in love with Josephine. Josephine family. Yeah, he was a simp. In the movie, doing... he was a bitch. He was a simp. He was a little cry. No, he was. Oh, I mean, when he met. Okay, so listen, listen. Josephine comes from. That's why I don't understand da- these French her... French people are like. What the heck is wrong? Her dad used to have a sugar cane business. He was in the sugar cane business. So Josephine actually got a pretty good education, but their family wasn't ultra rich because the sugar cane, uh, the sugar became really popular uh-huh. in I France. Don't so my story for <laughs> this is it, oh my gosh, think how uh, okay, sorry, <laughs> Keep but going, this is go interesting. Ahead, anyways, anyways, 
So when Napoleon made Josephine, actually Josephine, if you notice, and historically, historically speaking, she doesn't smile in any of her picture because all her teeth went black because Ew. of the sugar cane thing, right? She would eat a lot of sugar when she was a kid. So when Napoleon met Josephine, uh, he fell in love with her, and he actually got like obsessed in love with her, and he was writing to her like every single day. Everything and you're saying Josephine, is in the movie, by the way. Except and Joseph, black. okay, Except I haven't, I part. haven't watched the movie. I just yeah, heard you that said it wasn't like that. You close. haven't even watched the movie, and your immediate <laughs> reaction was that the movie was fake. No, no, I said that because, like, what I said is that I didn't watch the movie because I heard that a lot of people that that is not factually based in in his life. But anyways, it, it, let's keep going. I haven't watched the movie. I don't care. So. um when Josephine was actually to Napoleon, like, no, you're a simp, you know, but then uh, he was actually able to convince her, but she wasn't really in love with him. It was more for like a position thing. So Napoleon, um, what's the, the first two years, Josephine did cheat on Napoleon with some commander, whatever. And this is when Napoleon went to Egypt and he actually, instead of blowing the pyramids up, like I watched in the trailer, what happened is that that one, well, they that was shot one the of the biggest. They didn't blow up the pyramids. They shot the pyramids to take over Egypt. Egypt was ready to fight. As soon as they shot some cannons, because they were known for their cannons, Egypt stopped. Yeah, that and never happened. Down. Actually, actually, they only temporarily took over Egypt for a very, very, very short time. And then France had to run with their tails between the legs like bitches back to France. I'm pretty and sure so, I don't think that happened. I think that oh, the only ones that really beat up. him was Russia. Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> That's one of yep. the biggest failures of Napoleon. Yep. People don't mention that. Egypt was Remember. one of the biggest failures of Napoleon. He comes back yep. and he tells Josephine, hey, I heard that you've been cheating on me for the past two years. So after that, after he found out that he actually... <laughs> Um, was che that Josephine was cheating on him? That's when he started being a womanizer. Mm -hmm. He actually had an affair with one of the French Egyptian women that with were all living. The women. He was making women everywhere. Yes, making yeah babies everywhere. Yeah, but um, the thing is that Josephine kind of like knew about it, but didn't really couldn't say anything as well. But then when they got married, okay, so the first time that they got married, this was the point of this whole thing. I just wanted to educate you a little bit. So, But it doesn't, um, it doesn't t show them in Egypt for a huge chunk of the movie. It just shows them taking Egypt, which they did in 1799. And then yes, it, but at very short times. It was, it was like months time. And then two, they had to go years. back. It was two years. It, they, have, they have to. The revolt the, the of Cairo pretty, happened in 1801, two years later. Well, whatever. Facts are facts. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It happened. I'm just trying to figure out why you're mad. Where are you getting all that sugar from slavery? But anyways, so the first time that they got married, they actually, because Napoleon was like crazy over her, but she was older than Napoleon. She was already in her 40s. So they actually lied in, in the marriage certificate. So for Napoleon to be able to be, I think, his emperor or whatever, he actually had to be married by church and the church found out that they lied in their first marriage certificate so they had to get remarried in that is official marriage but in reality they were married for 10 years oh no sounds like a conspiracy theory look at up. that is not, that is history I'm, I'm reading right now i don't know they did write a lot. Just of learn what you, what you, she's right here telling you. Just learn, man. Listen to what she's telling the truth. You know how fascinated, you know fascinated she is? With Napoleon is one of the most fascinating minds in the world because he was a great, great conqueror. Let me take you, you know, where I took you home. You ain't doing nothing when you got there. He was a small, feisty oh, man. He was kind of cute. He was kind of cute. Yeah, he just says he wasn't small, but he was average height. So he was he was pretty short. Why? Let's fact check her. Let's fact check her. 
We're doing what Floor does. Fact check. Of course, I don't get bothered because my ego is not up the roof. No. If I am wrong, I can I just accept it. I don't like when I tell somebody something and then they like Google it and they're like, oh, yeah, you're right. It's like, what do you think? I was just making shit up and just lie to people all because the time. Because when you tell me <laughs> just the general <laughs> stuff, I want to investigate about it. If you tell me something like what we were talking about earlier about Mary Magdalene, I wanted to know the whole story. I'll so do four hour long over. shows where I read through all this stuff on my show and then I'll tell you about it. He'd be like, Mary was definitely a stripper. Well, the day, the day that Mary you do Mary your show, Mary I'm usually working, so yeah. I miss a lot what of parts saying, of your show. What she's saying is she doesn't watch, so she doesn't know what I'm talking about. I she's do watch when I can, to, when I'm not on a call. She's trying to fact check your boy. Okay, what are we looking up? Uh, was Napoleon was Napo Just Google was Napoleon, Napoleon was married short. for ten years. It's five six or five seven. Napoleon was probably close to five six or five seven. To he five was two. My size. Although the he range may man. seem short by twenty first century standards, it was typical in the nineteenth century when most Frenchmen stood between five two and five six. He was five six or five seven. He's actually tall. He was tall for his time and geo. Physical location. Did you know that? He was, he's still short. I mean, I mean, if we think about it, he's still short. Have you yeah. seen him riding a horse and those and those paintings? Jess Reed, don't trust everything she says. That's right, Dean. Dean's on my side. <laughs> oh, wait. So, no, the point, I don't yeah. care if you're on my side or not. That's just what I learned. You can, you can tell me, no, you're wrong, and then I'll learn more. <laughs> Well, you're kind of right about him being short, but you're also kind of wrong. Yes. He's short for us, but I guess He's... not. I, I didn't know that the French people were that small yeah. back then. That's well, pretty cool. You learned something new today, and so did I. I learned yeah. Floor doesn't like also... movies. Uh, Yeah, I just, I don't know. I sleep through them really quickly. <laughs> It was a good movie. It was all right. It wasn't was great. it good? I started watching it, and it starts with the uh, Marie Antoinette uh, death. I noticed that. By the way, Marie Antoinette is another story that is pretty interesting for being. You know that she had fifteen siblings. There were sixteen in total, and only three of them <laughs> lived. I don't know. No, the no, only no, thing no. I care less about than French people is French women in history. Also, Napoleon was not present for the Antoinette. Beat him up. Bow statue? Why can't I take this? Pick it up. <laughs> oh, my inventory is full. That's why. <laughs> I got a full inventory. Fuller than a mug. Okay. We need to return home. I don't even. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just digging tunnels. Oh! You're in the stripper locker room. Spanish women like to eat and can't drive. You must be way behind, Dean. I said that a long time ago. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Go in that room. If you wanna. Bag Josh, don't argue with it. Men hate that. I know. Stop. Oh my God! Look, here he goes, Josh. I've been Stay trying to tell. I've, I've been trying to tell her, like. <laughs> I got other ways, you know. I gotta compensate the arguing. A good woman knows how to balance that. Yeah. Oh. Wow. She knows I like to argue. So then she thinks. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be his iron to sharpen his iron. But I don't like no, arguing I just with genuinely women. Like arguing. <laughs> but it's not even an argument, because if it would be an argument, we'll be like cussing at each other and like hating Josh, each other. You just We're said just you debating did, like, our you don't have to, it, you don't have to it, hate it, people it, to like argue argue. with them. I argue with everybody. No, but what did. I'm saying is like like you don't have to be like to me, are you are you and it's when you get mad. Like I don't get mad out of what you say if, if you're right. I don't think so. In a debate you make arguments. 
to support your position in a discussion. Argument doesn't have to be, you don't have to be angry or mad to argue with somebody. You just say she knows you like arguing. And then you said, but I don't like arguing. With women. Which one? I said with women. But you, she said you, you, she knows you like arguing with her, period. Well, she knows so, I like arguing, so she wants to argue with me, but I don't really like arguing with women. <laughs> yeah, but you argue anyway. Yeah. That's why she do it. I know, I get you. That's what I do. Awesome. You like arguing with women. No, I don't like you arguing with her. Every time I, want, said, I would yeah. like it more if she said, yes, sir. Yes, oh master. Yes, That's king. <laughs> yes, master. Yes, king. That's a fucking AI robot. Everything you say is correct. That's what right, I right. AI That's gonna her. take your man floor. You gonna be like, hey. You gonna be like, yeah, I got an AI bot. There's things. I'm gonna go and drive myself and get a taco. There's things <laughs> real women can do that AI could never do. So, no, I'll pass it. <clears throat> Like give you a hug, like like love you, store. like love you unconditionally. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, as soon as it's a haircut, your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> I need to get these diamonds, but I don't know what to throw away. I gotta throw away something. And plus, when they try to be sweet and nice to you, you are an a-hole. And I have great, great examples of how when I argue, you talk to me more when I argue with you than when I'm nice and sweet and cute to you. So you cannot even argue about that. Because you're always nice and cute and sweet in text form. And I'm not trying to do sweet, cuddly text. So should I just do it in person? In, 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 like, while I talk? Oh my god, y'all figure this shit off offline, please. <laughs> y'all so gay with this shit. He man. has to be privately because that's only nah, for you. It's gay. I don't want y'all gay. I don't, y'all gay. I don't want y'all that shit that How is this gay? But you. Y'all What's gay. gay about this? Y'all gay. Y'all I don't y'all, want to Josh, I, I got Josh to say that we're all cute, cuddly. Girl, yeah. 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 She sent me damn little uh-huh. texts like, oh, look at these oh, look at these pictures. You're so cute. Oh, it's nice. I found this. I was calling him handsome, and I was like, how do you prefer yeah. my hair curly and, like, and straight? I... And he's like, bald. I'm like, what? Oh, she said, <laughs> what oh, type of answer? you're so handsome. How do you want my hair to look? And I said, cut it bald. What? Shave it bald like dang old. Uh, okay. What's her so name? So you see why I argue with you, right? <laughs> and plus, plus that that is a private thing. That's like that's like like just for you. I don't want to share that in public. You know, like that is just well, for you. You just did. I know, I know, but what I'm saying, like talking in that way, I feel like that should be reserved just when I'm private with you, because that's oh, something that it should arguing. be just for you. All yeah, right, you can lie to all right, people. You don't argue I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, you should. Simple the year, simple the year, simple the year. <laughs> in what way? More like pimp of the year. <laughs> oh, Aww, like that. that is cute. I don't know if it's. Wait, why you mean pimp? Are you calling me a prostitute? <laughs> no, he called you Mary Magdalene. I mean pimp in the colloquial term, like you know, like uh. Yeah, wash my feet, floor. Mary um, Magdalene. Type. Not literal, not literal pimpology. Yeah, more like Jesus to Mary Magdalene, right? <laughs> I can't believe <laughs> Freddie called you pimp of the year. <laughs> why is everybody calling it gay? <laughs> that uh. <laughs> <laughs> you are gay. You gay as hell. Where? How come ain't no woman talking to you? And you get mad at her every time she asks me a question. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about every don't time I say Freddy something no positive nice about Freddie, you're like, don't whoa, ask Freddie no questions. Just talk to me. And then you proceed to pretend that I ask you the question, so you answer it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that it's was like, cute. It's like the that soft was bigotry. adorable. It's the soft bigotry of low expectations. I feel like you set the bar lower for Freddie. 
<laughs> I don't know if he's worthy of Gosh. all this praise. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't even put him on pedestal like you. You don't want to know her looking funny. What do I put? I put nothing on a pedestal. Yeah, you thinking? Well, whatever. I need to put a bed in this house. How do I build a bed? A bed is. Oh my gosh! How do I get my nose to stop being runny and the sniffing? How? <laughs> I need an anvil. Can't make an anvil. No, I need a furnace. That's why right, C Sal. She said C Sal said she called her husband my lord. That's because right. That was dope. Even though Abraham never existed. What? That's dope. You don't even know if Abraham. You have just as much. Oh, here's something deep I thought about. So, if uh, you don't believe in like. We've talked before, and you don't really like believe in like written and oral history from the Bible. You you don't believe that it's reliable source, but you believe the Bible was plagiarized off of older, more ancient written and oral histories. Therefore, how the oral history is written in is written in stone with hieroglyph. They were, most of their stuff was being told orally. Most of the stories back then, no, all, was that a stone? From all cultures was that a stone and all civilizations, the stories were translated orally because even if there no. were some people who could write in hieroglyphics, I guarantee you the majority of Egyptians couldn't no. read. No. No. Yes they did. Yes they did. All the way to Greece read hieroglyphs. They lost the age of reading hieroglyphs before the Rosetta Stone and okay, Napoleon but, discovered it. But do like so, you, have you studied from, hieroglyphs? They're not that they're not that yeah. complex. There's only it, it's they're, very the, basic. they're the base. They're the basis of Christianity. Okay, so my point is that if Christianity and the when we first had real writing and real languages is when the Bible's coming onto the scene. So you could argue that the reason that Christianity popped off so much is because it was the first big religion when we had real written language. But our no. but if you claim, hold on, you claim. Let me get this thought out. You claim that we are plagiarizing off of your religion, which is a more ancient, archaic form of writing and oral history and language and blah, blah, blah. So how is that historicity more valid than... I mean, once you have a concept of God, you can't go into the future and create another concept of God and say this is the first God and this is how life was created when... The existence of a God already existed before this religion started. So it's almost like a plagiarism of a God, a concept of God, period, to say that, okay, we started from Moses. He was raised as a Pharaoh and the Pharaoh's daughter gave him life. And we're not going to praise her like Mary. We're going to praise Moses because he led Exodus. Never, no history of Exodus ever happened. And this story begins where pharaohs are in power and then they start plagiarizing so if you thinking jesus can come 20 years later with the same story or moses and the two jews and the muslims and the kids and all of this and all the lineages of the pharaohs that's still in egypt that's true history there was no exodus no proof of no exodus how many times I got explained it to them? Yeah, I don't think you. I don't think you really answered that question very well. But anyway, <laughs> I yeah, think I'm I trying to very much concept of God. I think you played your so, come up later. So why can't history, we all? Why is it not a possibility that maybe we all, every culture, every civilization had these experiences with what they? But where did God? With what they? Did, under, hold on, God, let me finish the damn sentence. All these cultures and all these civilizations. See, now I got to start the sentence over because you interrupted. All of them had different. They all had these experiences, and they all wrote and told stories of what how what they interpreted and understood God to be. Why can't all of them really be having the like the same experiences, but just uh, explaining it differently? Because the the importance comes down to the lineage. 
the lineage of the pharaohs was the bloodline all the way down to where they copied it to the trying to say jacob's lineage is the jews or and no somebody else abraham you know what i'm saying they break it down the lineage and if you ain't in the bloodline it's a bloodline thing and it's always been like that since caesar ruled into his sons and his son's sons and it's just like yeah and to this day they act like they got a bloodline that traces back to jacob when they didn't even come into existence to ad yeah uh, and this is supposed to be the beginning of time shit when noah landed off the fucking ark so you can't trace a bloodline back to jacob and say you his bloodline and you the jews and chosen people if that's bullshit they did that actually and try to go to Russia and say they bloodline traces back to Jacob and Jacob. You never know that existed. Jews were very uh I have an echo. The shoe store look on the map. Oh yeah, you gotta keep on moving around. Echo, Jump in the car. Floor, you're echoing on us. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what is when they get the phone close to me. Hold on. I don't know. But uh Shoot, what was I about to there say? There you go. You looking for the barbershop? Um, the, uh, the Bible is like a record book. There's a lot of poetry and stories and all that stuff, but there's also a lot of records in there, a lot of uh, family records, because the Jews were all about that. Like the whole book of Ezra is about how he was pissed off that they were mixing with their race mixing. And it was messing up the yeah, his lineage. It was messing yeah. up the record of the lineage. So the Israel, the yeah. Jewish people are very, they like to keep records like that. The Mormons do that too. Yeah, but it don't it's, go it's kind back of a, to a religious thing it, to keep it in the family. Yeah, once they got it established back in, way back then, they going to try to keep it established now, but there's no linkage from way back. They are full of shit. They got y'all too deep in the bullshit. Do you, think the first, do you think the first two people came from like somewhere in that? northern africa middle east region no you don't think that Ethiopia. africa is the heart of the earth that's, yeah but they the came region. from deeper down okay well, yeah that's but the region I'm yeah, talking even about. yeah ethiopia down in middle eastern of africa the middle east coast of yeah madagascar okay, but so i would just say that it was a little i would just say it was a little more north northeast i would say it's mesopotamia Tigris Euphrates River. You're saying it's a little more south and west in Africa and Ethiopia, but same general they area. Found Lucy, they found Lucy all the way down at the bottom of South Africa. At, you know, no, continent of Africa. Dang, Lucy. Man, whatever, man. That's civil civilization. Lucy, I'm You better worry about Lucy. That's the one got the chromosome that everybody in the world has. Why does everybody in the world has that same Y chromosome? My silk. You only get that from Mama, Mama Africa, Mommy Africa. That's what they call it. That. <clears throat> Where was I going? With Not this? going back while I can make my stamp early. While I got some like life and bread and like yeah, name recognition. I'm gonna go ahead and go on over there. Get my go eat your cracker for the What? Eat my cornbread. You gonna go eat your cornbread, bro? Yeah. Fire they gonna, I'm gonna start my own mind, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them what they, what they really, you know, what I'm saying, mining for. I'm like, here you go. I'm gonna sell it on the black market for you, or whatever. And I'm gonna I'll be right back, guys. You say what? She says she'll be right back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Well, it's time to go to bed then. It's never bedtime. How do you make a freaking bed? What is? What do you need for a bed? Silk and what? I have wood. What the hell kind of bed you trying to make? Shade wood bathtub. Grimtain brick. Chinese lantern. Oh, boil wood sofa. Here we go. Bed. Bed. Nice. We're going to make a bunch of beds. I might write a book, How to Make Boys First. 
I'm proven. I got three it's boys. It's going to be two words long, doggy style. No, it ain't. I'm going to make it all the way until the happiness and how you got romance. I mean, it ain't the Napoleon, no feelings involved. All my women were deeply in love with me when they had my boys. That's the, I think that's one of the key. You got to have her ovaries accepting and willing and, and wanting you. You can't just force yourself. And that's why most rapes don't take. What? What are you talking about? What? Oh, hold up. Yeah. Most rapes don't take because they know, God know, like the body that? shuts down. What's saying that word? Our word, in word. Great. I didn't know you couldn't say that. My Great. bad. My bad. You anyway, just why, are you talking you talking about? About, why are you talking about like 0.00001% of children that are made? You're talking, what are you talking about? I know, that's why. What does that that's have to why. do with anything? Oh, you're saying no, all girls are born from grape? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying no kids are more likely born from grape. Because yeah. the woman's <laughs> not in the right state of mind and the body, even the um, all that stuff don't even work right and not the same as if she was attracted to you. Yeah. I'm saying it's a but different... I'm just saying. To do with How to make boys and all of the bullshit. I'm don't telling rape. you, the body has to be attracted. I'm going to write the book of how to get the woman attracted to where eggs work properly. Because if she ain't, if you ain't attracted and and seduced properly, where eggs are starting to work, you ain't gonna have no babies tonight, buddy. Okay. Well, the anyway. <laughs> yeah, you wanna know I come with this shit? You talking about how to make boys first and Napoleon doing all this doggy style with his old lady? She said I'm talking about sex talk. We was talking about. I'm explaining to the chat what we was talking about. All right. Whatever. Yeah. Because a lot of men want to have boys first. I think I'll sell a nice selling book. They'd be like, hey, and my boys could. have boys. It probably would sell. Yeah. Right? Everybody else writing a book. That's what I'm saying. Everybody got a book. All these mugs can dang write a book. You think I can write a book? Then you're going to be like, oh, that's that feminine stuff. I'm like, no, nah, Pharaoh's had it figured out. You can't treat your woman and make her submissive and subject hold her subjective to the Bible. To, nah, I ain't going to say that. Because all my women was I wouldn't Christians. Hold a, I wouldn't hold a woman subjected to the Bible. I would find a woman who is already a, a biblical woman or trying to... Yeah, uh, there you go. There you go. That's how you're supposed to do it, but most... Not all, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most. You sitting in the church trying to find them one of them. And trick them with the money and they clothes. Do I have oars? Uh, oars are probably in the other house. Let's see. I think he said he's gonna have a debate. Building materials, bars, wood. 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 Oh, my bullshit. Who's gonna have a debate? I think Nick said he's gonna have a debate about something. Like on modern day debate or something? No, on this show next week. Guess. Guest debate. Keep platforms with me. The Dreaded Chronicles. I gotta get all my acorns and I gotta uh, bars, building mats. Okay, this is bars. What they got you doing on your new job? Stocking? No, renovate, uh, remodel. Nice. I guess they haven't remodeled the back of the store in like 15 years, so. Yeah. Over three months, overnight. It's a, it's, I've always known it as a 24 hour store, and I didn't even know that since COVID, it's not a 24 hour store anymore. What the hell? I thought, I always thought it was a 24 hour, it was a 24 hour store. It was the biggest. They never got back to growth after COVID. They never brought back the 24 hours. Which is cool. That means that 
I'll be there all night. Just uh, taking down shelves, moving boxes, putting the shelves together. It's a three-month contract. But they said at the end of the three months, they'll probably hire you on permanently. But I might, um, cause I gotta, I might try to just go to UPS. Like towards the end, I might just apply back to UPS and see if they call me. Cause they said I could reapply in six to eight weeks. Right. So that's two months. The con the Walmart thing is three months. So towards the towards the end of the walmart thing because i'll be making the same money actually i think i make more money with walmart but i work more at longer easier work but longer that's right that's right so it's like do i want to make more and work less hours but work harder or work longer less hard I don't even know that it's less hard though yet because I haven't done it yet. I've only done orientation. But I'm assuming that it's going to be less fast paced than UPS. They got a dang uh, prayer room at Walmart in the back. A what? A prayer room because I guess a lot of uh, Middle Eastern like Muslim people work there. So they go into the prayer room. Oh shit. You going to get fired? <laughs> no. I, I love Muslims. Yeah, you're going to say something retarded and think it's funny. <laughs> I don't talk to people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're going to say something. Mm -mm -mm. What? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not even, I don't even want <laughs> to <laughs> say that somebody might be watching. Man, you know what I worry, you know what I worry about? You what? know how like uh, social media will kind of like recommend people who are close to you. I feel like people, and I mean physically, people that are in your general area a lot, it might recommend them to you more likely. Because it's like, oh, you might know this person because you're always around them. We see on our tracking uh, and our targeted advertisements, you people are in the same area a lot. You both work at Walmart. Let me send you... Your dang boss, uh, this YouTube channel on their feed. They'll do that. They'll definitely do that. And, and you know the background checks nowadays? They go all into your social media. Yeah. I don't got no social media. I got a little bit of social media, but... I thought it was funny. There was like a active shooter situation video we had to watch on the computer right. and they're like and so it's a void deter and then defend or something like that i can't remember but basically the last step is if there's no other options you got to fight back then grab an item grab something and get ready to mount your defense and they're like hit him in the soft spot hit him, or it's like don't worry about this is survival situation grab whatever you can and hit him in the soft spots, the groin, the throat, and then somewhere else. And I was like, I, I like, I like chuckled, and I like stifled it real quick because I like I can't be laughing while I'm watching the dang <laughs> this this monster. But he said, hit him in the soft spot, and I was like, what? <laughs> hit him in the soft spot. He's got an AR-15. I'm out of here, bro. Mm-hmm. Rome 13 docks me. Uh -oh. She ain't docks me. I docks myself anyway. See, Sal, she wants to uh block me and talk about me at the same time. Well, you can't see see Sal? Uh, I can see see Sal. Maybe she don't want to see your mess in the chat. That's her choice. <laughs> no, it ain't. Oh, yeah. If that's, if that's the case. Can't talk about me then. Because I can see. <laughs> you know, you think I can't. And then she's like, what's he saying? 
I can't see what he's saying. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's laying for my ass off. <laughs> He's like, I don't think he can see me either. I was like, yeah, I can see you. <laughs> She's retarded. Her and her little friend. Uncle they Leroy. Uncle Leroy's in the chat. Oh, wait, you're Uncle Leroy. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Rome docks you. <laughs> yeah, I doxed myself. But it's all good because she can't block Uncle Leroy unless he say something in the chat. And he never say nothing. He just be watching in the chats, be chatting. And I can see C-Sal from Uncle Leroy's account. But I can respond on my account. My Uncle Leroy be watching. But if I say something, she can block him. Then I can't see a chat. I got to create another account and do all that other shit. But Uncle Leroy been in the low. He used to be uh, Raymond Eleven. I changed Raymond Eleven to Uncle Leroy. What? I had a ugly chick with a stupid face named Raymond Eleven. He know it. I said I could have trolled him one day. I told him it was me, but they was all talking to me. I said, "See, I could have been the worst motherfucker ever." I said, "This ain't even Raymond." Everybody was like, "Ah, oh, you a piece of shit." I told him, let him know though. I was like, no, nah, I'm letting y'all know I'm a troll, but I could win the best troll ever award though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and luckily, I was such cool with it that like three weeks later, three weeks later, Raymond got his own self blocked. So I was glad that I quit that one. He went to himself and then he got his own. So I'm like, I'm glad that he didn't try to act like that was me acting like him that got him blocked. He knows it was him. So I didn't get caught up in, oh, that was Fred playing like me. Because he, I didn't. He knew what he was saying and he was doing them N word towers. So he got himself blocked. But I didn't want nobody to try to act like that wasn't Raymond. That was Frederica. And start that mess. It never happened. So it's over. He's back. And I'm glad everything went the way it did. Because he, he was on my chat. Me and Raymond cool. When he act right. But I just make some people mad. Where they say stupid shit. And I just know how to be like. <laughs> Got him. They came up with a Frederick L.A. Stinks. The other day. <laughs> I said damn Hank. And he's responding to it. I said I disavowed those initials Hank. I said, but I got haters for real. And today, they pay to keep me from taking calls. I said, damn. I'm off here. I'm going international for real. Y'all want hate. But it ain't the first time. Josh used to be like, you got to go. He used to block me with the quickness. You make people want to leave. They see you on my show and they like, fuck you. And they leave. I'm like, why? Fuck them. Man, I swear. You can have a breakout interview. If I can get to Cat Williams, I bet you. I'm going to call Cat Williams on Twitter. He's going to come over here and I'm going to pay him for a sit down. No yeah, I am. I think mean, he's got enough money where he'll talk to any real nigga. And I'll be like, I'm a veteran. He I got 10 a, knees to sit down and. and and watch four episodes of Dr. Ray Hagen with me. And I just want you to tell me, is he telling the truth? And we got some books and we're going to, I'm I'm going to tell him, like, what what do you believe in? Let's get Kanye and get us all together and let's watch Dr. Ray. I he, think he does this dude without a million views, you can get 30. If you was on there talking about that, like we were pharaohs, oh, I think 30 million blacks would have been pharaohs today. Cat just did they didn't go. They wouldn't let him go into that. With another guy. I didn't get near as many views. He got a million, though, in one day. It wasn't 30 million, but they were still doing some good numbers. Yeah, I don't even know who that guy is. Willie D from Ghetto Boys. Him, Scarface, and um, the Little Midget used to be in the group together. The Little Bushwick Midget? Bill. Bushwick Bill, yeah. You know, Willie D and Scarface made up the Ghetto Boys. That was the uh, ball headed Willie. You got a letter. Hope be a hope. What you see, D? What you what you see, D? I see some ball headed hoes. Ball headed hoes. What the? You remember that song? Oh, you see, just say hoes are ball headed. It's funny because I just told Floyd the other night she should be bald headed. 
Oh, man. Yeah. This wasn't the other night. This was yesterday. That is the other night. That's not tonight. Therefore, it's the other night. Floor, you should be bald headed. Uh, gotcha. Got her. Do what your, do what your husband say. Yeah, she, he said get bald headed. I'm saying, I want that alopecia look. Floor. That's over there by the morning park we go to. That look like La Cienega. I want you looking like dang old uh, Jada. Hell yeah, that's right. Look like the mama off cone heads. <laughs> cone heads? Yeah. Have you ever seen cone heads before? If you haven't, Google it. You'll be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. What, did they say? what did they say when they spoke? They were like, Kirk, go, bark, go, bark. What did they say? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked up. <laughs> Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how many of those were? I don't know. I think it was only one. Nah, I'm pretty sure there was two or three. Get away. Okay, it's not like it's retarded. You win? Sometimes I feel mm -hmm. uh, Marilyn Manson has a great remix to that song. Yeah, it's something like that. He was singing it, man. Them motherfuckers was ugly. Remember Alien Nation? Alien Nation? No. Yep. Alien Nation was a movie, and it was some bald-headed uh, aliens, and they they uh, they integrated with our society, and it was police, but they had little brown spots on their head, and they was all bald-headed, but the little giraffe brown spots on their head, they had kids, and they had little... Alien Nation, it was a TV show going for a while, a few years back in the 90s. I can't get you to the barber show. It's bedtime. It's been bedtime. Turn it off. It's been bedtime. Yeah. He want me to play the game. He just told on himself. He should have just been playing on the low. Turn it off. Yeah. He's supposed yeah. to be in bed and he comes and says, I want you to play the game. No, he snuck in on the game and he conned me into playing the game. And then I beat a board. He just hop back on it. What the? Yeah, he's all right. We all right. We ain't got shit to do. We make shit to do. We're going to see the bridge tomorrow. I'm popping tags on this new outfit. What bridge? Sixth Street Bridge. I thought you were going to say like the Golden Gate Bridge. Nah, we ain't got too many bridges like that in LA. It links a town to a town. You gotta go up to Sacramento, San Francisco. Far as that, we Josh, just got little until, city bridges. Until what time are you gonna be up? Forever. I don't know. I'm gonna... debating. I'm, I have to catch a bus tomorrow at 6 a.m. Haven't you learned your lesson? But I have to leave my. No, no, this is this is like a like a shuttle. I don't care. But I have to walk to. It all sounds like a bad idea to think me. Now at five a.m. But I took a nap, a four-hour nap, so now I'm not sleepy. <laughs> oh shit! Party all night. Are you gonna stay up until four a.m.? I'm gonna stay up late. Right, I got thirty dollars for the last one sleep. We gonna see who's last one standing. I need thirty dollars to order dang reward cards that I can trade in for more expensive cards. At this dang tournament, every fifteen bucks you give me, I can give you back double. Actually, yeah, you're a con artist. You were you hoping on a prayer. 
Oh. No, if I get the dang reward cards, people are selling them. I bought two of them for ten dollars a piece today. Um, but now they're now I can't find any at that price, but I can find them for fifteen dollars. And uh, each one, you turn them in at nationals, you get a card that's worth anywhere from thirty to sixty dollars. So it's a at least a double up. Could be like a quadruple up. Well, uh, you do some of what I just sent you, and then I won't. Uh, I don't know. I want to see what you make. You know the uh, if you bring Zeke and we go. Um, well, so spectators can't. the The players check in at like eight a.m. So if that's too early for you, I'll have to like take a bus there or something. Um. The players have to check in at like 8 or 9 a.m. for the tournament, and then the spectators can't come in until 1 p.m. If you and Zeke just go by there and pick up the uh, the five cards that you get for being a spectator, those five cards I could probably sell for $300 to $500. Yeah. So you and Zeke set. You can either keep them, which I wouldn't recommend. I'd recommend you sell them. But I could sell them for you and whatever but if he wants to keep them he can but i don't think they're gonna hold their value for super long maybe they will because they're gonna be special special cards but all you know, right just for showing up whatever, at the venue, but... just for showing up at the venue with your spectator pass that's free you get five cards each person gets five cards and those five cards 300 to 500 dollars no. I guarantee I could sell. Just give yeah. me, just give me. I'm gonna give you. I don't care. Just give me. Uh, well, this is in the future. I'll have to. Once you get the cards, you can maybe if he wants to keep them. Maybe he can keep them and save them, and in 20 years they might be worth a lot more. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> this ain't gonna be worth that. Right. And if he's not that interested in it, I think it'd be best you guys just show up, grab them. And then I can uh, sell them and just take them. I'm going to flirt with the bitch that got the cards because I know I'm going to get some more cards. I'm going to get some numbers, show them the weed, you smoke. What? I'm going to be like, here, give me a number. Give me some more cards. Take his bag. Hey, give me all the cards. Load my truck. Get out of here. If you're trying to... Um, we're on the internet, so let's be careful what we're saying. But if you're trying to yeah. make, make some money with some of that... Um, all the there's a lot of people in the card gaming community that will well it's california what am i even talking about they don't need to go to you. yeah they're gonna go straight, yeah 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 they're yeah. yeah. going straight to the dispensary they know yeah what I'm yeah yeah about. i forget that it's california it's on every corner <laughs> right i was gonna say i could probably make you some money off of that but no nah i ain't fucking around i got my son i ain't trying to do that all right i got enough irons in the pot I'm greedy. But get that one card you're talking about you need to get win the thing first off. I already ordered that. Oh. I ordered that. Now I just need to get as many of those reward cards as I can get. But the pro the I just don't know how I hope they get here in time. Whatever. I ordered two the other day. I did an auction for one. Damn, hour. you got three weeks, two weeks. That's a long way to get here. Oh, shit. Damn, Freddy! Alright. Well, well, yeah. Just... I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll get some of those reward cards, and I'll probably just hold most of it. And then... I'll buy some food when I get there and cook. I'm going to do the cooking. Dang. Thanks, Freddy. Do I need to do 8,000 push-ups? Freddy just sent me $670,000, guys. <laughs> Damn. George, what's your Freddy about to be a dang mod because you're like uh, up at like Lord Spike Protein and Bibby level. 
by now. Uh, uh, I don't want to be no more. Well, who's that? I'll put a chunk of that towards those reward cards, and Happy. I can make some money off them. But I, I can get you some back. Oh, that's a dude frozen on Josh's stream that he ain't playing. Maybe his phone is dead. That's no. William Lane Craig. William Lane Craig. And that's yeah. flowing her puppy. He's flowing her puppy. Yeah. He's a, he's a Zeke. He's like a proliferator of the modern Kalam cosmological argument, which is a philosophical and like theological um, idea about how the universe came to begin. What do you think of that, Zeke? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That's <laughs> right. Sounds good. He's Man, he's going to gain all sorts of wisdom. Sorry. <laughs> when, when Uncle Josh shows up. <laughs> yeah. She can't hear you. She's on a job call right now. Oh, but she can meet her. Yeah. Hi, Zeke. Yeah. What you flirting? Get out of here. Tainted love. Tainted love. Yeah, yeah. Manson did some great remakes. I'm not a, like a Manson fan. I think he was a weirdo, but he did some great remakes. Play on, play on yeah. What's that one? Disturbed yeah. did. Disturbed did a remake of one of them old songs. The Disturbed one was good. Shoot, when's that auction? Because now I'm about to. Ah, stop. Stop attacking me. Mandy, Mandy Pat, Pattenkin was an actor that played an alien. I don't know. Never heard of it. Hi, Big. What are you doing? Are you supposed to be in bed? <laughs> You're being a rebel? Say yep. Yep. Get my gimbal. Get my gimbal. Bedtime. Oh no. Go. Yeah. I had to show him, man. I hate that. Fat meat is definitely greasy. They like to believe it's not. Well, uh, I got to get with Hassan and get my microphone right. Get my headphones, get my studio together. Once I got my studio and my laptop, and he showed me how to press record and turn on the instrumental, it's over. It's over. I'm going to give him so much to cut, produce, and cut, cut, master, and paste to make albums on, boy. He gonna be Look, like, Betty. 30 albums right here, bro. What is that? Look how cute it is. AirPods, yeah. Is the That's cutest thing in the world. Look, a rubber pink case. Nice. What was that? I said, "That's a case for it." Yeah. Nice. It's nice. so cute. It's like the cutest, smallest thing in the world. And they're they pink. They designed it to be cute, so you'll like it and buy it. That's right, and I fell for it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called uh, marketing. It's all good. I think I'm just gonna stay up and sleep on the bus. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's right. Hello, Z. I'm gonna go and eat like a beast. 
I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to track my car tomorrow with my drone. I'm gonna get in my truck and drive to a location, get out, fly the drone, point it at my truck, turn on the track and get in my truck and then drive through Skid Row and have the drone follow me. Nice. Oh, it has it has that that it can follow you? Yeah, it has tracking that it'll follow a truck through the yeah. Nice. That's cool. You should do it for sure. I gotta take the streetway though. I can't take the highway. Or it might go high Is enough if I can take the highway. I just I don't know yet. I don't know. It goes highway to avoid spaces where it'll track you high enough where it don't have to do a lot of flying, but you can go behind the building and it'll keep tracking you until you pop up on the other side of the building. But I don't know. These Japanese people, they've been doing a lot of homosexual arguments. What? What is that? I watch a lot of anime, you know, like I watch about five to six animes a week that are new. But lately I've been noticing the past year they have come up with a lot of gay animes, like men and men gay. It's getting to Japan too, guys. Damn it. Anime? Gay anime? Yeah, there's <laughs> lots in, of gay anime. You said I was in Dumb and Dumber and that's why they... <laughs> Chat, yeah, chat. I'm I'm not gonna show you right now. I don't want to show you. Don't Google it. But I'm gonna make a video going to three different locations where they filmed Dumb and Dumber. Floor, you know. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know. Um, you know when you go to Gateway Mall, how they have the Grand uh -huh. the Grand Union Central Station thing. Right. Uh huh. And it's like a big ballroom. That's the ballroom. Where they wore the blue and the orange tux. And then, do you know across the street from the jazz arena? You know when you where get off track. the bird in the cage? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You know when you, you get off track. shot the bird in the cage. Hold on. When you get off tracks at the arena stop and you have the arena to your left and to your right, there's like this brick house with a flower garden in front of it. You remember that? I don't know where you deal with it. I don't remember the house it's in front the, of it. It's called the Devereaux Manor. It's like a, it's like a site. It, it's like a place here in Salt Lake City. It's called Devereaux Manor. Anyway, that's where the house in Aspen was, and then their apartment, where the kids going pretty bird, pretty bird, and he's in a courtyard in front of a bunch of hey. grimy ass apartments. Yeah, that those are some grimy uh -huh. ass apartments. <laughs> On a uh, 200 south and 300 east, which is like six blocks away from me. Cool. That's cool. I'm glad they didn't get burnt down because those apartments where they filmed that and a bunch of other apartment complexes in that same like block got bought by the city and turned into homeless housing. And one of the buildings, um, they were like, I guess it was a meth lab or something. They let all these homeless people move in, and then they're all selling and cooking meth, and the place burns down in like six months. Shocker. How much money did taxpayers fund for that? But, yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad they didn't burn down the dang Dumb and Dumber apartment. Because now I'm going to go look at it. Interesting. There you go. There you go. There you go. Interesting. That's all you got to say. Yep. They said, look at this guy named Josh Smith. Let's film in Salt Lake City. I'm from, I'm from Florida, <laughs> dumb. No, they was in Salt Lake City. And they seen your ass knocking door to door. like I was in Florida when that movie came out. Funny. You was delivering. When Dumb and Dumber came no, out, no. I was in like probably fourth grade or fifth grade i was in florida oh dang you're a young book yeah what year did dumb and dumber come out i don't know 95 i'm guessing like 98 
Yeah, yeah Dumb and Dumber was oh, Dumb and Dumber was filmed in Ogden, Salt Lake, Tooele, um, all around here. There's uh, yep. three three spots in Heber that people have figured out. There's a Seven Eleven out there, but Heber's kind of far. But there's three spots within walking distance of me right now, and a, and all three of them I've been to many, many, many times, and I never knew that it was dang old. Dumb and Dumber, famous people been there. Hell yeah. You ain't about to do that. Uh, 1994, yeah. 94, that's even worse. So I was seven years old. Yeah. I was a junior in high school. Senior in high school. Damn, Freddy. Yeah, I'm old here. I gotta figure out what the what's the deal with flying. If I bring like a little duffel bag, I can carry it with me, right? Man, I don't know. Every flight be different. I'm on Spirit on the way there and Delta on the way back. I think Delta I get a a carry on and a um I get two bags that I can carry on with me. One for overhead, one for by my feet. But Spirit yeah. I have to pay extra for the second one. Yep. So, I think that's about right. Some different like that's a different form of <clears throat> I need to get a, I need to get a, yeah, a, you go. I don't know if I can fit everything in one backpack. I at least need a little extra bag. Mark Curry hanging with Mr. Cooper. <laughs> See, Harvey ain't gonna show his face and talk about this shit, man. Yeah, yeah. but I think the streets of LA, the downtown area that you want to see, I'll take you to the fashion district. And then once you walk around the fashion district, it ain't too far from what you really want to see. I mean, I like. I just like walking around cities, you know, uh, even if not like going shopping or going to, I, I like going to restaurants. So I probably want to get some, uh, street tacos or something, some sort of, but for the most part, I just like walking around in cities. Yeah. I don't care if it's the, the grimy side of town or the rich side of town. You be safe over here for sure. You'll fit right in. Floor still on here. You see some holes oh. out there? Bring them back to the crib. What the Never mind. I thought you was gone. What are you talking about right here? Nah, yeah, you ain't heard nothing. I was just playing. It might, and you what know, do you mean, Josh? What are you doing there? Huh? What? Huh? Uh huh? Ain't nobody saying you well, know. Well, I didn't saying. say anything. He's, he's the one saying dang old. Yeah, I'm saying he last one. Talking about hoes. <laughs> I don't, I'm person, not the okay? one with, with hoes. Look at all these different beds you can get in Terraria. Anyway. That's right. Talk about Terraria. That's what I'm uh-huh. talking about. Let's change the subject. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say anything about the like hoes. Stay up to stay relevant. Mm-hmm. I 
got hoes. I got hoes. Can you guys hear me right now? Yep. Oh, we can so hear I sound you. sound far away or? Oh, you better hear me. Nope. Yeah, you sound like you're underwater. Okay, but you can hear me. Yeah, we're yeah, bottom, bottom. right up close. Patrick. You're only Patrick. Oh, SpongeBob. Oh. I'd be going to fly my drone at night. I don't know why. I ain't flying all day. I don't know why I think I won't fly at night. Knowing that's how I broke it last time. Why did I build platforms here? Oh, I'm getting attacked by something. <laughs> they try to tell me do my finger like it's in therapy today. And I said, motherfucker, is this all we're going to be doing? That hurts, and this is, yeah, keep doing this. I say, I do that on a daily basis, just not even doing nothing. What are, you, what are we doing? I'm coming up here. I probably won't be back. Mental therapy? No, for my broken finger, trying to get some more. Uh... Oh, yeah, how is your finger doing, Freddy? Who goes to that therapy for, for a broken finger? Yeah, I should have went to the doctor instead of waiting three weeks to get it looked at. Lord Man, it's fucked for me. I went to Kentucky and then Kentucky, uh, Jeffrey, it's all little Jeffrey's fault. It's my fault for doing something I knew I was against anyway. I knew good and damn well. When he said, you want to go shoot ball? I actually thought. This nigga trying to get somebody breaking my house and get me away from my crib. So he'll have enough money for a hotel and stay here. I ain't know what was going on. I'm like, because he knew he wasn't staying with me. But the, he the one made me go home to Kentucky early. It was just so, I was just so mad. And anytime I do something against my own will, shit like that happens. Try to be nice and do the right thing. I should have just been like, hell no, nah, fuck it. Because you came out here without calling me. You could have been stuck out here on these streets. If I wasn't out here, what were you going to do? You need to just get on the bus and get out there. What? Are you talking about your stepson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were mad. You were mad. You were not even talking that day. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, I was all saying that. Yeah, next day, I couldn't wait to get him off to his plane. Well. Oh, we opened a heart. That's a potential Open. boss fight. That's a potential boss fight. Should be a boss fight if I kill this heart. I'm going to kill the heart and we're going to see what happens because there's other hearts around here. So if. Oh, God, I threw a bomb at my feet on accident. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens when I. Pop this heart. That's what I feel like somebody do this thing and just pop this heart. But they weren't doing it in damn therapy. I thought they were like yanking and bending and be like, you good. Doing those, oh, yeah, you get And snatch it and be like, all right, you back. How you good? Right. Never go as planned. Never, never go as planned. Smashing Popeye. Using explosives or your trusty hammer, smash a shadow orb. I got an achievement. But there's no boss coming at me. Oh god, oh god, I'm about to die. Oh my god. Huh. I don't understand. Yet. 
Trump say you know who his vice president is gonna be. Who? I don't know. He don't. What's the story about died. tunnels under New York? What's going on with the tunnels? They got a synagogue and the oh. Jews act like they didn't know that their youth was digging tunnels under the damn ground. Trying to get the Zion. It's the Matrix. I've been telling you about the dang tunnels and the lizard people. No, but they no, only, it ain't they only think like, they found this mattress and he was so dangerous. So. Um, so I'm did a town hall an hour tonight. I know Candace and Vivek. No, oh, Fox News. Oh, I don't know. He's talking about it right now. Who was it? So I wish I would say some people like Christy better. See, I don't see it. That would be you don't see it. Christy. Hey, Sean, hey, he might pick Christy. He uh, flirting uh, around with Chris Christy. No, I think he's talking about Christy. No. Nah, it's either Nikki Haley or dead motherfucker Chris Christy. I don't think he's talking about Chris Christy, Freddie. Yeah, he is. No, I think he's talking about Christy No. No. Who the hell is she? She ain't even a South Dakota, presidential candidate. She's a huge pro-Trump South Dakota woman, governor. Uh, you want me to play it back? I play it back. She's like I conservative lover. She's, I got to listen carefully now. He's been talking about Christy No possibly for a while. Who would be the number for vice president? Oh, I can't tell you that, really. I mean, I know. Oh, it's going to be Gibson. I'll be here. What about any of the people who you've run against? Would you be open to mending fences? Would OG Edward? Oh, I already started like Christy better. Uh, he already started like Christy better. Oh. Yeah, but he's not saying that. Why? Why does he like Christy? Yeah, I don't see all that. Hey, Sean. I uh, don't know. He was flirting with it. He was talking about Chris Christie. He said he, he liked the men with some fences or whatever. He said Christie. I don't know. He like. I like Christie. I told him Christie. He knows. You like Christie because he hates Trump. But he better get on the team. Well, whoever's gonna be next is gonna be the real leader because the Sanchez is a do boy. He just do anything to be in spotlight. That's the Puppet of the year. Them gun. fresh young candidates, they be led gun. by the old. Huh? I got a gun. Good. I got a Use it. Use it. It kind of sucks. Also, I killed that. <laughs> Trump and Christy on the ticket. He's trying to sew up the Republican Party for real. And then be like, okay, Chris Christie gonna be a vice president. Is gonna be the president. And it's gonna it have Trump. Like, it didn't sound like he was saying he was picking Chris Christie. No, I didn't. He was thinking like that's what the people's telling him in his camp. Who the hell's telling people him are that? telling me in my camp? I like Christie. I don't. Nobody I don't see Christy. it. Nah, why would he bring up his name? I don't know. Ain't nobody ever like no Chris Christie. He didn't say Vivek. He didn't say Nikki. Well, he needs to tighten up. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I, guess, I guess you're right. He need to tighten up. We don't got time for all this. Trump, he gonna need a hell of a... Uh... Backup president in case them charges ain't final by the time the election come around. Because if they become final, whoever his vice president is gonna be president and run this shit while he's behind bars. I've still only gone left this far. I need to just go far as far as I can left. That's what I need to do. And I need to Yeah, go as far as you can left. Dr. Cornell West independent left. Not that kind of life. Yeah. No. 
Nixon pardons undercut Trump's immunity. Hail Mary. These headlines ain't even interesting no more. You better be in that bed. You better be in that bed, boy. Dang. Uh, why is the door not closed now? Marjorie Taylor Greene needs to retire. She needs to retire? She needs to. She's too uh, controversial. Controversial? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? She How bad blood mean? for the Republican Party. How do I teleport to? How do I teleport to my house? I have a lethargic, the Undertaker, eight percent critical strike, twenty damage, ranged damage. That's not that good. This is a sign that Trump is going to lose the election. If you look up at MSNBC today, you would read a headline that says Affordable Care Act Breaks Enrollment Record. That's Obamacare. Breaks an enrollment record. They won't put Trump in office to get rid of the rollback Obamacare if he's still doing numbers 16 years after Obamacare. Replace and repeal, and they haven't record enrollment numbers. How do I? When's the second term? And we're going to fight for much better health care than Obamacare. Obamacare is a contestant. Nobody talks about it. You know, without John McCain. This was Saturday. John McCain said so he could get us on the ghost. That was the end of that. John McCain couldn't get his arm off. He couldn't get his arm off. Because the torture that he endured during the Vietnam War. But putting that aside, Trump's attacks on the Affordable Care Act keep proving to be a political loser. Nearly 14 years later, the last I said 16 has surpassed projections and broken the all-time enrollments record for the third consecutive year. This is the very same legislation that Republicans wanted to repeal and replace, repeal and replace. And they always said they want to repeal and replace, but they never had anything to replace it with. Joining us now, Secretary of Health and Human Services, Javier Becerra, here with- We're not going too deep. It's a long conversation. Goblin army. There's a goblin army. What the? Oh, we got to fight a goblin army. Is that from the thing that I? Oh, snap. Homeboy's shooting. Uh... Whoa, this chick does magic. What the heck? I didn't know there was like a world event going on this whole time. Holy shit. We got goblins. Nikki uh, Haley Perry saying damn natural citizens. What's that about? Nikki Haley's name is uh, Monica something. Her name's not even Nikki. She's from freaking. You didn't know that? She's a damn fan. Nimrata. Her name is Nimrata. Something like that. Who is she? She's a spy? She's so? a nobody. She got freaking plugged in. She made a. Uh, she was she's negative. She's a Russian girl. Turkey stand? She was uh, pretty much bankrupt, helping her parents pay off their debt. She was negative like $400,000. And then she did like seven speaking events after being in the UN. 
and made like four point something million dollars off of that, and then ran for government. And was the uh, name on the list? She's involved with some corporations and whatnot, and that's why people think she's running. Is she's just trying to get into some lobbyist groups and get some money? Yeah, that's exactly and, why she's here. Yeah, she ain't really trying to be president. She's pro Israel, so I don't know. Oh yeah, she's about that money. Mm-hmm. If you like money, you like Israel. If you don't like Israel, you must not like money. Man, Israel crossed their T's and dot their eyes. Trump's wife is illegal, but they made it that the paperwork was strong and they couldn't falsify it. I mean prove it, so she yeah, stayed legal. Why are all these goblins in my house? We're fifty four percent clear. If the goblin army ends before I finish this, then I'm not gonna get the clear. And it's almost nighttime. I need to find more goblins. Stop. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. 70%. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Man. That's crazy. What's crazy, buddy? Somebody really be like, Man, how old is the son? We'll never know. Y'all distracted me from my dang philosophy. Video. You ain't got no philosophy, boy. <sighs> you don't think the universe began? What? Did the universe begin? Or was it always here? Can't have never been always here. We beat it. We got the another achievement. Triumph over a goblin invasion. Why are they still coming? I killed the goblin invasion. The goblin army has been defeated. Let's freak go. Did I get any items? You know what's infinite? Yeah. Pie. You know what pie is? Three point one four one five nine two six three one. Continue, continue, continue. But right. No, oh, it's infinite. But that's not a real thing. That's just a number. It is a real thing. Numbers are real. Yeah, numbers are real. Okay. If time is real, right? That's is what time, time is. Numbers. Time is just a concept. But it's it still can be measured. We- we, if it can be measured, it got to be real, bro. Yeah, but I don't think time's infinite either. I don't think num- numbers are infinite, but numbers aren't real. Numbers are just an idea or a representation or like a language tool that we use to to identify. It's like a name. No, if they say you got to give somebody this in the equal sign. You could recombine letters to make infinite sentences. But those uh-huh. letters... Hell, yeah. Those letters and those sentences aren't actually physical things. Those are just ideas and concepts. Get under the coat. Get under the coat. You know, made the bed look all nice. But the infinite comes in when you need, when it's time to do the math. It's all on what the variable is, on what the equation is. Now, if you're talking about stars and you got real fucking stars and you're doing the equation then the answer might come out to an infinite number and now you got an infinite number and that's how they know the galaxies yeah, are infinite. you're missing the point a number is not a real thing a light year is a number light year is not infinite so many light years could be infinite no a light year is a measurement of distance yeah, but if light don't end, if you shine light out in the space and it's not bouncing back, that's infinite, right? 
you can't assume that. Yeah, because you know it would be a reflection. It's eventually, that's how they call a light year. This light traveled for a year. It ain't hit shit yet. There's 200 light years, 100 uh, light no. years. Yes, that's time. A light year is how far light travels in a year. True. And if you can keep on counting light years. That number is, that number is totally... It doesn't matter if the light ever bounced back to your eye or not. The way they, they measured that by making light bounce back and seeing how long it took. But we can know how far light travels. No, you, you would know the end of the universe would be. No, you would know how, how, how deep the universe would be with that measurement. No, because it's too far. The light will never bounce back. That's infinite. If it goes we don't way, know if you can measure a light year. But we don't know that if it's you can infinite, measure it how be far a long time. No, if you can measure how far light travels in a year, when you turn on a light, light travels instantly. Now you, you can't. Still are, you're still like not getting to the point. Did the universe yes, have a infinite. beginning? Did the universe have a beginning, or is it infinite? Was it always there? You could call it infinite because ain't nobody going to be there to observe it when it's See, not there. You keep doing this. That's not... I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know where you're going just because nobody What came there first, the chicken or the egg? That's the same question. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Love you. Yeah, but, but I would say there's it's one or the other. It's not... That's you can the, call no, it whatever that's you want, the but nobody was there. Question. That's the age-old question. Was the egg has the first chicken, or did the chicken lay the first egg? Right. That's all you ask. Good me. question. Good question. But I'm not gonna say that. Uh, nobody laid the egg. Huh? What? See you. You guys just put it here in rotation. It, was it a start? You saying who? When did God start it? Millions of years ago. Who's gonna put an exact know. time on it? You might as well say yes. It doesn't it need to be an exact time. Old, so. It doesn't need to be exact time. My if only you can't, point, it's like the only question is, if you can't prove it, if you can't prove it, it's all hypothesis. So you're guessing, and that's so. The, then that's, that's what the, the Kalam hypothetical, or that's what the Kalam cosmological argument does: is it proves that the universe had a beginning? Because you know, if there anything. was, if the universe was infinite backwards, then every event would have had a precursor event. No. And if every if there were infinite events leading up to this current event, we would never reach the current event because there would be infinite backwards. Do you get it? Do you get Nope. You don't if, even get it. If present if present day is the last do, is if present day is the last domino in a line of dominoes, and you push the first domino, and there's infinite dominoes. How long would it take you to get to the last domino? There's no last domino. Infinite dominoes. Exactly. You would never get to present day. So there has to have been. If you a put a domino, if you put a domino and line it up on a globe, this is agreed, the globe, this is agreed they will all like, fall. Listen, if you put a domino on a globe, anybody who understands like space time <laughs> or, or any of that stuff, quantum physicists. They all agree to this because they say space time is a cone and a cone has a beginning. So so basically this the whole point of what I'm reading or watching this video about and been reading about the whole point is it gives you a way to prove that the universe had a beginning. So when you say well nobody was there so nobody can prove it, well yeah, we can. We can find ways to do that logically and reasonably. We didn't have to have somebody there. So what, what date the did they come up with? So what uh, date did they come up with? The date's not important. That's irrelevant. Oh, shit. If you say there's the a beginning, point, they should know how many years it is. The only premise here, this, oh, is, the first, this is the first That's premise. The only premise is that the universe began. That's the only premise. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what yeah. you're you're trying to argue with a date. Christian said this date and blah 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 said this date. No, we're not talking about dates. The only premise, the only claim that is being made is that the universe had a beginning. That's the first claim. 
Then it's called we get, consciousness. It's called man consciousness. Then we get into other yeah. claims after that. But that's the first claim. Yeah, that's the first claim is consciousness of man to even acknowledge that the universe began. The man gained consciousness after the universe. So the universe began before man. So he can't say when the universe began. We're not talking he about gained when the universe began. Why after. do you keep saying that? Pay attention. Why do you keep saying no, that? No, you pay attention. You it's, got, not you about it's not about when. It's not about when. It's not a date. Yeah, We're not picking a date. We're not arguing over a date. It's not about a date. The premise. The they could have never started. The only premise. They could have never started. See, Freddie. They could have never of, started. You're out of your league. You're saying. Right, right. Okay, so that's what we're. That's what we're talking about. You're saying it could have never started. Right. It could have always been here. And that's what I'm. That's what I'm arguing presenting against. They the have argument no against that. You have you, no proof that it's always that it haven't always been here. But you haven't made a you haven't made a rebuttal to the to the position. Yes, the, the sun point. is uh, infinity. I said the sun okay. is infinite because right, it burns. Right. Yeah, I can't talk perpetual. about perpetual. You're, you're like we did. You're not all right. No, you, no. But we can go back. We can go back to talk yeah, about that. He's over here. He's over because. here. He can't understand what infinity means. And what already existed. Yeah, I don't, I'm the one who doesn't understand. Right. What does it need to feed off of? What are you talking about? But what, how, how have, does something well, begin without, base, without a source? For it, there's no point trying never, to reason this with him. He doesn't understand. It's what, in its simplest form. He doesn't understand it's in what I'm saying. Form. And I'm talking past him. He's not. It's too complicated for Josh to comprehend. Yeah. The sun's in its simplest form. It's it's no it's no beginning or no end. It just is. And he can't oh, comprehend the sun being just is. Every other star that we look at in the sky has a beginning or or the every other star is signs not the sun. that they are dying and yeah. Every other star is oh, not the sun. Getting, that's actually the stars. Some of the stars that we're looking from through here, they're already dead. What we see and it is just the the Stellar dust. I don't know nothing. how to do it in English. Yes, because we're not years from them. Some of them are already dead, and we're just seeing the replica of the the light. The universe is expanding. Everything is moving away. Anyway, I'm trying to do some like high intellect philosophy tonight, right? Yeah, you can't comprehend the the basics. You ain't gonna get far, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this guy. He's a smart form. You just need to listen and quit trying to fight God, bro. You need to listen. This is god. You need to listen and pay attention to what is being said. About is rhetorical and hypotheticals, and not. I'll even say the. Up. I say the only claim is the universe had a beginning. You say. But nobody knows when it began, so it's infinite. What? No, you just you you hypothetically. Then you say the sun is infinite. We're not talking about hypotheticals. Yeah, if I said the sun's infinite, then the universe had to be infinite. You said it had a beginning. No, how can it have a beginning when nobody's nothing is ever there? It always existed. It turned everything else into existence. Everything revolves around the sun. It okay. created the no, it created the rays you the gave the vitamins and the mi minerals. Yeah, it melted the ice. It did everything. The sun formed the world around it. It was already there before Wait, anything. The sun formed the world around it. Yeah, the whole universe. So the world had a beginning. No, we didn't. What are you talking about, Freddie? No, yes. the sun did not. The gravity. Happen. The gravity. Yeah, the gravity we have on Earth today is due to the sun. You can't say that. That is yes. not true. This yes, the gravity we have on us. Earth is due to the sun. That's the fact. The, all the rotation of the galaxy and all the planets has to do with our sun. Yes. All our sun, everything revolves around our sun. Y'all slow or what, man? Y'all slow. I don't think the Our whole universe revolves, revolves around the sun. Yeah, yeah it's not dumb, the case for a universe. Yeah. What <laughs> You can't just How about you? <laughs> oh, 
What? Y'all slow, boy. How? Y'all oh think y'all can study God? Y'all think y'all can put men qualities on God? Y'all think y'all can figure out God's face? Man, y'all ain't figured out nothing. Y'all need to figure out why y'all ain't got no melanin God. yet. That's, 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 that's what y'all gonna need table. in the future if it's really when global you, warming. You say that the sun rules the universe. It's invalid. The sun doesn't you, rule the universe. It rules our galaxy. Yeah, without mm, our, yeah. Our galaxy, every yeah, other galaxy all, wouldn't be in there. You don't even know what it's all about. I'm telling you. If they didn't have this galaxy, you wouldn't know about another galaxy, floor. That's what I'm saying, period. Before, they thought the Earth was flat. So now we got a Hubble telescope that we can look from our sun and our atmosphere and see the greatness to see other galaxies. Now you're thinking, oh, these other galaxies got... You don't know what's out there. Our sun allowed us to see these stars and figure out all the rotation around Earth. It's all, it's all, it's all being pulled by the sun's gravitational pull. It's all working due to the sun. So how can anything be in existence without the sun being in existence first? You think the light bulb just came on and everything just started revolving around the sun at the same time? You think nine planets was lined up waiting on the sun to be created and everything just started rotating and all the lights came on at one time like a Ferris wheel, like... That ain't how this shit works. There's been dinosaurs out here, the oxygen levels, the shit, they done had, you know what I'm saying? This shit it had to spin fast and molten rock had to slow down. This is this shit had to come into like perfect form over millions and 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 millions of years. You know how many a millions of years is? Do you know how many a millions of years is? A million. So let me let me and the sun ain't dim not once. Hey, let me ask you a question. So you believe that the sun that gives us gravity as a galaxy actually is the center of the universe. And everything comes from the sun. Floor, what did I tell you earlier? That's what you're telling me. What did I tell you earlier? You literally said Everything in the universe. It's like she's never talked to Freddie. It's sun. like she like hasn't figured it out yet. That he don't know what yeah. the hell he's all the nine ever. Planets, all the nine planets in our solar system are all around the sun floor. floor. Yeah, all nine planets revolve around the sun floor in our solar system. Yeah, without but, our sun. Yeah, it's the center of the galaxy. He's not the dang center of the universe. Who says it don't that? Even matter. I didn't say it was the also, of the universe. Also, if you think the universe is infinite, then there is no center of the universe. I didn't say, I said our solar system. You said the universe. No, you said the universe. You definitely said the universe over and the over. The universe over. is infinite. Yes, the universe is infinite. I said that because there's no light flashing back. You said the sun here. was the center of the universe and that the sun is infinite and that the sun creates all life and all of the universe. Yes, because we can't find where the end of it is. Which is if ridiculous. we got a sun here and we can see other, which is other that, solar which is systems. Dumb. You can see other solar systems. You don't you don't see other universes. You see other solar systems. Universe is one universe. And, it, and we all agree on that. And right? it's infinity because light, what the light don't multiverse? shine to the end of it. What if there's a multiverse? The light don't shine to the end of it. Yeah, you talking about galaxies. And once you get into... You get into no, no. No. Y'all fucking retarded. Here. Infinity is what the record says space is. Space is infinity. There's no sphere out there that's shaped like a square. It's infinity. 
You go out there and decide to say they can't find the end of space. Period. They say the ga- the the universe is expanding. Period. All the stars. They say it's going away well, from the sun. Yep. The universe expanding just disproved uh, the universe not having a beginning. By the way. No, it don't, dummy. You talking about it? Yes, because infinite. if you reverse engineer, if the universe is expanding, you ain't God. How you gonna reverse and do anything what God did? Shut the fuck up. You ain't trying to be a mathematician and say I'm an engineer, re-engineer what God did. You sound stupid. What are you talking about? See, you sound you stupid. Re- re- what you're saying doesn't make you any reverse. sense. No, if God is expanding the yes, universe, yes. If that's the what universe you're to do. is expanding. You can't work okay. backwards from God. Pay attention. Pay attention. You can't if work the universe from God. is expanding, then if you no. go backwards in time, no. then the universe that don't would mean be. Either. Pay attention. No. If no. you go back in time, no. the universe would no. be shrinking. So no, if you went back no, a certain amount of time, the it universe would be so small that nothing in the from. universe would be. It all would depends exist. on what black hole you came from. You can grow, you can expand, you can come right. through another black hole, right, you can this shrink, is you can expand, you can go through another black Freddy, hole, Freddy, Freddy, you can Freddy, shrink, Freddy. you can expand. Yeah, uh, I know too much for you, Josh. No, you it's stupid. just getting recorded. This is dumb. Yeah, because you don't know how God works, you no, dummy. No, 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 you're trying to dumb. put God tendencies on, on mathematics. No, 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 no. no, what you're saying doesn't if make any sense. If astronauts can't figure it out, Josh, you ain't got the answer, Sway. No, no, no. What you ain't got the answer. Doesn't make any sense. You ain't got it the has answer. to do with what I'm talking NASA about. NASA says what you're saying. the galaxy is I don't know infinity. What you're saying. NASA says the Facts. galaxy is infinity. Facts. Yeah. No. Facts. No, they don't. Yes. No, they yes, don't. they do. No, they don't. Mm-hmm. No, they don't. What do you think expanding means? Why don't you think bunching you up into the outer wall? NASA walls? says the galaxy is infinity. Why, 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 why don't you say um, galaxy? NASA uh, says the can. galaxy is infinity. Does anybody in chat want to fact check that for us? Does NASA say the galaxy is infinity? <laughs> can somebody Google fact it check? for him, Floyd? Google for it for because I don't think NASA says the galaxy yeah. is infinity. Google is it for him, for this is dumb. Let's talk about Cat Williams or like no, black, black no, no. When he's wrong, that's dumb. Let's talk about Cat Williams. No, it's dumb. I'm saying Google it for him, for <laughs> oh my god, this is so okay. Dumb. I have to leave it. This is the answer. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, and all other galaxies are most definitely finished. Shut up. You don't know. He says our galaxy. Finite means finite. what? That's infinite? Finite? No, finite uh, doesn't no. mean infinite. That's I'm the trying to hear what she said with her, with her dialect. No, you know what she said. That I don't know. Gal- you finite. know what she said. All right. All right. All right. Watch. She's lying for Josh. Shut up. No, you. Uh, listen. You meant the universe? A hundred thousand light years up in the thousand or so light years thick. There are at least a hundred billion perhaps as many as four hundred billion stars in the Milky Way. I Googled it, look at what you said, and it completely debunked your statement. So can you just admit that what you're saying is wrong? Because it's wrong. <laughs> in an open universe, the total volume of space and the number of galaxies contained in it are infinite. Yeah, you yeah, read that again one more time for us. The total volume of space and the number of galaxies contained in it are infinite. In what? The limit of the the limit of the visible universe. The universe. You said the galaxy is infinite. You said oh. galaxy, yeah. And I repeated no. it. And I knew, you, I knew you just I knew you just misspoke. But I repeated no, it over and it's over it's and over it's again it's so that you could see, so you could see, we could see if you were listening to your misspeak. It would have been fine if you would have just said, I misspoke, I meant universe. But the fact that I repeated it over and over again shows Whether that the galaxy in the universe, whatever, you know, it's infinite. Just trying to troll. Do, do they say Listen, it's infinite? I'm trying to learn it's stuff. Infinite, though, Josh. I'm trying to get smart, bruh. It is the infinite, let's though, talk Josh. About Cat Williams. Is the galaxy infinite, though? No. Yeah, about that. Now, if you said, "Is the universe infinite?" I would say, oh. "Maybe." 
I would say maybe the nah, universe. Nah, the universe. Yeah, uh, whatever, be, whatever. Y'all that would stupid. be something. Whatever. We like, talk about the universe, Freddie. And now you're gonna say, no, I no. think it's not infinite. No, no, you misspoke, and I I called out your misspeak. No, over I didn't. And over misspoke. and over again, and I repeated it no. multiple times to see if you picked up on it. And no, it. no, so y'all was both talking at the you same don't know time. What I'm about. arguing okay. with her. You know what I said, the universe. Hey, it's okay. Oh, y'all I don't. No, I know because y'all weak about yeah. it. If the if the if the universe is infinite, the sun is too. <laughs> that solves the that solves the equation. The sun is infinite. What? Okay, now I'm reading about and and I'm oh, hush, Lord, about hush, Lord. You you looked up the wrong information to make your dude look good. We see what it is. He hollered maybe on the on the on the DL because he and knows you're wrong. You want to? No. Yeah, he said maybe the universe is infinite. I said maybe the universe is debatable. It's debatable whether the universe is infinite or not. Yeah. Now, if a galaxy contain, if a universe contains multiple galaxies, a galaxy can't be infinite. Yeah. It depends if you are retarded. The universe is infinite. Galaxies could be infinite too. That just means you can't see all the galaxies. You can only see a few galaxies. So galaxies, multiple galaxies, and infinite galaxies could exist in the you universe. Could say, if it's you infinite. could say there are possibly infinite yeah. galaxies. That's yeah, exactly. You galaxies, the universe. You said is our galaxy. Infinite. You said our, our galaxy is infinite. infinite. Yeah, if it's infinite, okay. you don't know how many is out there. If the universe is infinite, why galaxies lay in the universe. Why? Why, can't he why just you ask when like, you Oh, well, we all you know the galaxy. Like, see, if you just like, if you just said, no, nah, yeah, y'all act stupid. Y'all act stupid. I gotta teach y'all, and it's cool. Y'all get free school lesson every day. I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. There's no proving him wrong. He knows he's trolling. I, I don't mind. Why did you put I don't you mind. You, you, I don't you mind. Play it. Are you? Wrong. I enjoy it. Why you the fool? What's wrong? Man, yeah. Oh, uh, let's talk about cat. Let's talk about cat. He done had a horrible okay, life. Let's talk about. So he's what, he's what just now about? celebrating his joys. Man, he probably had the highlight. He ain't got nowhere to look, but to his career he now. Like Everybody's God. coming for him. I know, Dean. They pick a different size of the universe every freaking year, a different age of the universe every year, because they don't know. That's what Infinite does. Well, most, most everybody will agree <laughs> that the universe had to have had a beginning. You have to be very atheist to think that there was no, and you have to be kind of illogical. No. People made arguments, but I don't. Think mm -hmm. I don't think they're that great. Freddie didn't make any. God arguments. said. God said it's gonna take my 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 food thirty six trillion motherfucking years to cook, and I'm gonna motherfucking start cooking it when yeah, I start 36, cooking it. Thirty six trillion years isn't infinite. No, I ain't say that either. I said for his yeah, mom and shit to come together. You said you don't think the universe had a beginning. I said I don't think you can study God. If you can say you can put in your own mind, God. you can guess. You can guess because no man you, was you there. Keep doing you keep jumping stuff that nobody. No, said. I'm saying you can have a belief. It's not knowing. It's like your religion. Everybody gonna believe they know when the universe I'm started. They don't about, know. I'm not talking about a belief. You are. You talking about a belief system? No, You're not gonna again, know. Freddie, You're never Freddie, gonna know. We're using philosophy and logic right now. And once again, it's not, nobody no is claiming to know. Logic. Nobody's claiming to know when the universe began. All yes, the you only are. That's claim, what you're doing. <laughs> That's what claim, you're doing. That's exactly only, what you're doing. No, it's not at all. Yes, anybody's. Doing. Yes. No. Yes, no, you're no. claiming to say the universe had to start at a point. I'm saying the universe had a beginning. The end. <laughs> the end. That's it. That's yeah, all pretty saying. much, right? That's a claim. Right. That's that's, a, that's a opinion. That's opinion. Okay, that's 
that's an opinion <laughs> unless you can use logic and reasoning to give no, that's always going to be an opinion. Why the universe had to have beginning, which I'm giving you. That's always going to be an opinion. God, this is so dumb. I, I'm, I'm really. Yeah. You're really killing my vibe, Freddie. Because I feel like I mean, this is always going to be an opinion. I'm like, I'm trying to like build a community where we like get smarter and we learn stuff and we talk about. I'm trying stuff. to tell you the difference between but belief and to facts. Troll. You're trying to troll. And no, troll. I'm trying to teach you the difference between a belief system and factual. <laughs> Superstition and factual. It's a big difference. Right. I'm the superstitious one. Theories. But you, you believe, know what theories are? You believe That's there were theory. infinite We're talking about events. theories. You believe there were infinite You want to talk about events, theories? But somehow we got we to can make current. theories. We can make theories about Freddy, what could have happened. Freddy, Freddy, stop. I like it. This is annoying. We got wings on. Now you're annoying me. <laughs> yeah, it's playable. It's annoying. Let's just change the topic. No, because I'm just telling you. <laughs> Real talk is all opinion. It's, it's not an opinion. That's why they I'm call you theory. a logical we I'm giving you a logical argument for why the universe began, and you can't contend with it, so you call it fantasy. When really, to believe that the universe didn't have a beginning takes more takes more fantasy and magic that, that nothing came from nothing to believe that which i don't think you believe because you're not an atheist you do believe that there's some sort of god so i don't even know why you're you're just arguing to argue no i believe like atoms and shit can come together and like life form can come to existence after shit been going on fucking forever new species come into wow. existence yeah. after life done been here forever okay. so you can't say cool so that's you know, life argument. started somewhere that's no argument that's it's an just, argument for evolution yeah it's you can just make an life. argument for it's the just, big bang you can make an argument period. for evolution but none of those things disagree with what i'm saying yeah. that the universe had a beginning even the Big Bang evolution, some people... They all theories. They ain't factual. The Big Bang I'm ain't factual. You're, okay, is, you're trying to make something problem. factual. This is the problem, That's the theory. This is the problem is that you don't understand the premise. You think... Yeah, I understand is, the fucking premise. No, you try to act premise? like the universe just popped out of nowhere or it just didn't or it always existed. You thinking just because this expanding means it had to go backwards and it had to start. Shit don't happen like that. Not when you have a God that ain't science. Not to me. Then you don't believe in God if you think it's this all mathematical science. and equational. With, this, this if you think there's an equation, it ain't no God philosophy. in it. It's called logic. It's exactly. called reasoning. It's logic. called making sense of things. Using yeah. Sense, if, you, if, you can logic, make, if you can make sense of the Bible. basic laws of logic. If you can say, believe the Bible, we're not talking about the Bible. And, and, this isn't and a have Christian logic. Thing. This isn't a Christian thing, Freddy. <laughs> this isn't about the Bible. It's not a Christian thing. You talk about logic in Christian thing. How can it be a Christian thing when there's no logic in the All Bible? Right, Freddy, Freddy, I've said twenty times I don't want to do this anymore. So I know <laughs> you sent about me logic, some money, and I appreciate it, but I'm not gonna. We're not gonna keep doing this. So I just want to know we talking about logic. You know, it's, logic. It's called, it's called philosophy. Yeah, it's called philosophy. You're not thinking. You're not thinking very deeply right now. Now, I could tie this into a Christian thing, but I'm not doing that right now. All I'm trying to get you to say is that the universe had a beginning. That's it. That's it. No Bible. That's a guess. That's no an God. Opinion. No Christian. No nothing. None of that comes into play. I'm asking you. Did the universe begin? Yes or no? I don't think so. You don't think so. Okay. So then I say... Okay, first, take another egg. So then I give you a logical explanation for why the universe had to have a beginning. Here's the logic. If there were infinite past events before the current event, how could we ever reach the current event if there were infinite past events? So if every event is a domino and the pat and the current event is the last domino, 
but there are infinite dominoes, then how... First off, you couldn't even push the first domino because there is no first domino because it's infinite backwards. How could you ever... How could the falling dominoes, which are events in time, how could those events in time ever reach the present event in time if there was infinite past events? That means no beginning. Just like you said, it's a mother. Look, picture this, picture this, picture no, no, this. No, 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 no. Don't entertain the, entertain the. I'm going to tell the, you. The lie. I'm going to tell do you. The, do, think about it. You. Think about it in your head and make sense I'm of that. I'm telling you. All right, this is how. This is how. Because for you to have other past events and to keep having to events that leads to today, only thing you are doing is setting up the presence while you're working on the up back end. If the world revolves around... Sense. Yeah, dude. Now look, that didn't make one. Like, bit yeah, of sense. like a like a hotel. What they were saying about the hotel. If you're building a room every time somebody come in the hotel and the hotel's already, I don't think full, you want to go. So you were watching it's infinity. Yesterday. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. Put dominoes on a globe. Now spin the globe. Every time what that globe the come back up, the dominoes out. stand up. The dominoes stand back up on the globe by itself. And then they'll fall <laughs> as the globe turns. So it'll repeatedly. So when you come onto the map, you're thinking, oh, we can wipe civilization oh clean God. with nuclear weapons. It could be 3000 <laughs> BC next month. It's still the same events. But now we starting over on the same playing field. So you thinking, oh, the events are happening again. No, it's the same damn. We can do whatever we want to this. You don't know how long it's been just because the events that happen. So he's a uh, solipsist. See, now Freddie's, what about not, it? now Freddie's dipping into solipsism. So you think you think that our brains could be in a vat and that we it, like last Thursday. You know what last Thursday is last Thursday in ism is. You what? sound like you sound like a last Thursdayist right now. What's that? The idea that the universe could have began last Thursday, and we and and all this information, what we think is the past, yeah. has just been implanted into our yeah. brains. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. So you're a solipsist. I'll go with that. Okay, because it had to start somewhere. <laughs> Which means you your worldview me? can't be can't be proved with logic or denied. It's irrational yeah, because, and it's because undeniable. Because in 20 years, if World War Three wipe everybody off the map and everybody living in caves, we in another 80 years they have yeah, no knowledge could, and no we could all be in the we'll matrix. Be. We could all be nah. uh, brains and vats that are being harvested by robots for energy. That's all possible. Yes. You're no, right. but I'm just saying, who's to say that there had to be a beginning? Just like if a egg turns into a chicken and the chicken keep mm -hmm. on having events, yeah. just because those past events don't tell you whether the egg or the chicken came first. You're saying just so, well, what about the past events that keep happening to the present? The egg still having chicken. So, yeah, but trace that egg back to based the Based on Freddie's line egg. of thinking here, he's a solipsist and but he's really not a solipsist. He doesn't know what the hell he's saying. He's just trying to He's just trying to argue. No, about Josh something. is over here lost in the mix and he can't defend his points. I'm speaking real He's clear for him. To argue about for something. Crap. No, you, I'm speaking real clear for him. Your rant did not make any sense a minute ago. Yeah. Yeah, it does. He said, We don't know if we could have been. Uh, re the dominoes on the spinning earth are going to restand when the earth spins. Yes, yeah, and you seen those um <laughs> perpetual energy um balls ticking. There's no such thing as a motion. There's no such thing as a perpetual motion machine. Yeah, it is. It's never been made. Yeah, it it's actually impossible. There are false perpetual motion machines that use magnets and no, like they that. use solar energy and they perpetual. And I don't see. There's no such thing. No perpetual, no true perpetual oh. motion machine has ever been invented. Google it. I don't, I don't think that's a lot. It's impossible. The God particle is <laughs> is all it is, right? That, that they made in the damn lab. Now he's talking about the dang uh, CERN collider. Are we going into multiverses now? 
What are you talking about? Because 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 my they my made, theory they is based my my they stuff is based off star. of like logic and reasoning in the observable universe. But you're you're going no, I said multiverse own... string string theory solipsist. We don't even know if the universe started a week ago, uh, which would still which would still agree with my point that there was a beginning to the universe. We just don't know when it is. Which I haven't disagreed with that the whole time. Guys, you must be going to a debate and you don't know where to stand. I'm trying to like train and get better at debate so that I can debate no, smart you people can't, one day. You gotta know what to believe. But I'm really not getting I'm not leveling up right now. Yeah, because you losing. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know how the planets work. This is like you don't know how big this is the like sun Final is. Final Fantasy, where you're trying to beat the boss, but you got to grind harder enemies. You can't just go to the starting barons and just fight the same level two monsters over and over again. You don't get experience <laughs> from that. <laughs> you never level up. That's how I be chewing up. Uh, you see what Fred? Oh, well, Dean, Dean sees stuff. where you're going with this, Freddie. So that says I already know because most of the chat do. <laughs> you the only one chewed up. Oh god. Yep. What a you saying just because something exists, it had to have a beginning. Well, that's yeah. the next well, no. The next prim we haven't even gotten past the first premise. It's three. It's it's two premises that lead to a conclusion. Uh, no, it was a couple of theories that the never lead to a conclusion. The first premise is that everything that begins. Theories. The first premise is everything that begins has a cause. Do you agree with that? I doubt it. He's not going to agree. Everything that has a beginning has a cause. Everything that begins has a cause. That's the first premise. We skipped no, over that. Everything that has a cause has an effect. You mean? Cause and effect, no, yeah. That's, I no, cause that's, effect. that's yeah, that's causality. That's the next that's that's the next step. You have to go one at a time. So the first premise, everything that begins. No, I think you done made that shit up. I never even heard the first premise. It's called causality. Most uh philosophers, yeah, causality. scientists, cosmologists, physicists, they're gonna agree with causality. Mm -hmm. Talking about causality. Causality. Everything, everything that begins has a everything that begins has a cause. No, and every cause false. and every cause has an effect. Yeah, I believe the cause and effect, but everything that begins don't have a cause. Nobody drinks to become an alcoholic. What's the what's the cause of drinking? You're, you're talking about we're talking about I'm talking about things, physical things. Yeah, that's physical. Everything that begins has a cause. All right, go ahead. Everything that begins has a cause. Premise two, the universe began. <laughs> Conclusion, therefore, the universe has a cause. That's called... Okay. That's called the Kalam Cosmological Argument. And then William okay. Lane Craig takes it farther, and he adds two more points to it, which meet, which says, basically... If the universe began, and what begins has a cause, that means the universe has a cause. So the cause of the universe must be outside of time, outside of space, and all-powerful. Which is what the Bible calls omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent. Ah. Knowing everywhere, all the time. So that's God. And it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have to be a Christian. This isn't like a... See, you're getting tied up because you're like... Josh is a Christian, and I don't like the Christians. But this no, I'm not. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see what the cause is. This actually cause comes is. from like some Muslims. If the universe stuff. never presented itself in any kind of way or did anything to us, what's the cause of the universe? God is the cause of the universe. But what is it doing? He's what I would call God. God, you could call it. But what is the universe doing to us? For us. What's the cause for the universe for us? What do we need the universe? Every everything. Yeah. No, the, why do we need the universe? Don't bring us nothing. Why do we need the universe? What do you mean? If the universe brings us everything, well, all God, we got is I would the say God no, brings us everything. No. God 
cause no. created the universe. No, our yeah, solar system. Our solar system brings us everything the, we need. Or the, the cause, universe. Or the cause is, is life, is us. I'm the creator oh, of the cause. Oh, okay, okay. The, the universe creator of the cause is, is God. Is Earth. The universe is Earth. I'm not, I'm not saying God is the universe. I'm saying God created the universe. Whatever you want to call God. The whole universe. For what cause? Do what? The cause, you said. He made the start for the cause of the universe. And the universe has a cause. And the cause is Earth. The is that what you're saying? I, I don't know. Us? I don't know what the the whole great cause is. What does the I'm universe do to Earth, though? I'm just or saying. The sun. I'm just saying. The universe. There's there's a reason behind every planet, behind every blade of grass, behind every animal, behind every person, behind every micro, behind every atom, out, behind yeah. every piece of matter, behind every electron, behind every proton. Okay. There is a reason. That's spiritual. All of that I believe exists. that everything's connected. Yeah, that's that spiritual shit. Yeah, everything's connected. Okay, so that's God. All right, I know what you're saying. Okay. But if you don't yeah. think we're still tied up at, you don't think the universe had a beginning? No, I don't think the universe even got a cause. I don't even know why you're arguing with this because you believe in a God. I don't believe in men think they could study God we're or not, the universe. We're not it's God. a waste of fucking we're not, time. We're not yeah, talking about studying God. We're talking about trying to understand deep questions. If you woke up on a boat deep tomorrow, questions about what? If you woke up on a boat tomorrow in the middle of the ocean, you go to bed tonight, you wake up, you're on a I boat in the middle of the ocean. Rhetorical question. Hypothetical yeah. and rhetorical. Y'all yeah. wish y'all that don't bring y'all no closer to nothing. Not engaging with a hypothetical shows that intellectual bring either, either intellectual dishonesty or just not right. low IQ. <laughs> if you can't, no, it don't not at all. Yeah, because you, me and Nick, we can do we can do um, scenarios where we can actually engage. I don't care what you and, and Nick do. I don't even know. Yeah, what that means. but you don't. You, your hypotheticals make no sense. There's no reason to lie. My to hypothetical them. is very simple. All right, make one. You in the boat? You wake you up. You wake in the morning. up on a boat listen, tomorrow. Yeah, listen. What? What are the? What are the first questions you ask? Where am I? That's a good question. What else? No. Why? Why would I ask myself any questions? I know I'm in the <laughs> there boat. There you go. See, he doesn't want to do no. it. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want to engage. Oh, you telling it. me? You asked Flora, the hypothetical Flora questions. Asked, Flora asked I'll wake the best up and one. I'm in the boat. Flora asked a great one. Where am I? Here's another one. How did I get here? Why am I here? What is it? Where are? Yeah, where am I? Josh, Those all seem up. like logical questions to ask if you just if you just were somewhere. You don't no, know. You nobody. Know how did you get here? What is boat. this place? What's going on? No. So, no. so that's what people no. on Earth do. We try to figure no. out what the heck is going on here. That'd be shut the fuck up in my motherfucking boat. You wake up on a boat and what do you do, motherfucker? Shut the fuck up. Freddie wakes up on a boat. He's like, I've "Is this drugged. Amistad? I'm gonna be a slave." Nah. <laughs> no, I'm be like I'm gonna check my asshole because apparently I've been drugged. Who fuck just wakes up on the boat and don't know how they, they got there? You fucking retard. <laughs> motherfucker, where am I? Yeah, you motherfucker, duh. Who has you know what the fucking answer gonna be to that stupid ass shit? He wasting people's time. You're wasting my time. No, nah, that's that's bullshit. <laughs> Ask a real a real hypothetical or rhetorical question that somebody wants to pay attention to. Like, you name one. I want to hear one, like, for real. Who that was a for real question. That? That's a real simple hypothetical oh and it's God. based Shut in reality. Up. Oh, my God. It ain't based. Shut up. Yeah. You need to get you smarter, think, boy. You, you think want that a real podcast. A, you're a solipsist. You think that uh, the universe could have began a week ago, so you might want to start asking... Where am I? How did I get here? Why are we here? Yeah, whatever, Josh. You learned a lot of big words and sound like that dude on the living color uh, that was locked up in jail. You don't don't know the meaning. My goal of is not to use big words. My goal is to 
learn this no, stuff and then try no. to present it so that even you a you don't but you don't could understand it. But you don't. I'm All you trying. Do is I'm trying. I'm working on it. I'm heard. getting there. It's gonna take time. A lot of these words I don't understand, shit. and then I gotta Google. Philosophers use big ass words that are not necessary sometimes. I get that. That's the intellectualism. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm not anti-intellectual. Right. I don't consider myself an intellectual. You never be. It's too late. Don't even try. But I consider myself oh, smart enough to. I'm beyond that. To look into stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's good though. Never stop learning. It's always good. I'm doing something different this year. Cat Williams told me about paying my tithes. So I'm going to start the year off right. Who are you paying tithes to? Yeah. Just the bond network and the people I, I deal with. Why? You paying tithes? You're going to church, but you don't want to hear the message. Or what's the deal? I am. The are you message. secretly becoming based? Have we? No, have we I'm telling chat. Like I'm telling. I've been telling chat. One day, Freddy is gonna wake up. Man, you motherfucking dreaming, dude. With a prophecy, and he's gonna come out and he's gonna see the light. He's like I was wrong all the time. Look at all these Christians showing me love. You know. Nope. 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 I'm gonna go grab Kanye and Cat. We about to be the three amigos. <laughs> three. Well, I don't know how Cat feels about today, small hats. You can't talk about him. You heard how he felt about him. He shut up real quick. And that's what they canceled Kevin Hart for. And he ain't going to that. They, they didn't cancel that Kevin Hart. Out. Kevin Hart wore the dress. He was one of the guys. One of the guys. One of the guys. Egypt canceled Kevin Hart for saying that Egyptians was black. And Shay Shay didn't want no bullshit on his show, so he told him to shut up about that. And he cut. I didn't hear him say be quiet on that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You had to see how the whole thing was edited. I mean, it's it is Afrocentricism. It don't matter if he was exposing the bullshit. He should have exposed all the bullshit. I'm sure there were some black Egyptians, and there were some bronze Egyptians, and there were some. All sorts of Egyptians. Olive tone, copper tone. That's right. I don't even think. Even the Egyptians, even uh, even my people, when we was leaving, going into the middle of the middle my kingdom. My people, he ain't never been to Egypt. Yeah, but they was my ancestors. And they was like, um, they said, uh, we need to only breed with our own. We was the first ones Pro that wanted Pro. to stop race mission because our bloodline started to get watered down. And that's how the white Egyptians thought that they could get in because they look like the white mothers of the black pharaohs, baby mamas, because we made kids that made the Arab race. Yeah, that's how the Arab and Kardashians got into Egypt. That's because the Kardashians got into Egypt. Yeah, they know what it was. <laughs> Cleopatra looked more like a Kardashian. The Kardashians are Armenian. They're not Egyptian. They fake. The Kardashians was Egyptian. Did I? I say what they look like. They were light skinned by the new new kingdom. You what? They look you like her, her skin tone. All of Egypt by the new kingdom, Cleopatra's time. The Ptolemy, she was still more blackish of the Egyptians, but she was still bronze like the ones that reigned of the. The Greeks was mixed. They was white. They wanted to be Ptolemy. They had to breed. They was breeding with the damn fucking people all the time. This is the new kingdom. By the middle of the middle kingdom, we had to stop race mixing. 
the middle kingdom came to an end. There was an intermediate period where Alexander the Great and shit took over and the Ptolemies brought in a new kingdom. But in the middle of the middle kingdom, that's when we was like trying to stick and bring it back blacker and we started having sex with our sisters and that incest to bring our own bloodline back stronger so we can breed out the white. You know, if any, if any, uh, if any culture or race or nationality wants to stay pure blood, that they're going to have, there's going to be uh, required some uh, incestual relations going on. You know that? Hey, I don't, I I don't understand it. I don't care. It's like God's plan. It ain't up to me. They like we need to save our race. It's all that dark. What about like what about whatever people that are black, for reproduction? What about people that are black but they aren't Egyptian? They're like Jamaican what? or Haitian, like that Haitian slave owner lady. I mean, they could have been Egyptian and just be displaced. Just so got everybody comes the from land. Africa, like I was saying. So we're just going yeah. Off everybody comes from Africa. Yeah, some of them ain't just play of some of them. We're just going off an of arbitrary date uh, that's totally picked at random to show whose ancestry is what. Um, no, you I'm, gotta do I'm your as black bloodline. as you are. I'm a, my bloodline goes back to Africa, just like yours, just like Floors, just like Sea Sal's, just like Master Jim's, just like Raymond, just like Bibby's, just like Raymond, everybody bro? are. Our bloodline, so we're all brothers. Now you pick a now you pick an African name. No matter what worldview you have, it doesn't matter if you believe in evolution. It doesn't matter if you're a comedic. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian. We all have to have come from one man and one woman at some point, right? No, I don't believe that. You don't. Believe and then that? the cousins of. The no, I don't believe that. Who said that? You believe in the Adam and Eve story, huh? You don't even have to believe in Adam and Eve. I just said any worldview you have, there had to have been a first man. And a first, even if you're an atheist and you believe in evolution, at some point, a vagina and a penis that worked had to have evolved, which is impossible, by the way. Um, <laughs> and and then a man and a woman had to have made a kid. And then those kids had to have made kids. And those kids had to make kids. So it doesn't matter what worldview you use. There had to have been a first man and a first woman. And there had to have been some incest involved. No, I don't think so. I think like an asteroid <laughs> yeah, came in and, and, and landed the, uh, in Africa. The opposition argument. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, it's like an asteroid, and then there was like asteroid shower and brought radiation, <laughs> and then it made these motherfuckers like mutate into like some. Some radiation pregnant apes babies came out hairless like they would had chemo and they were standing look, look, up look. and looking at their mama. Jim says, I don't believe either, JS, that all races came from one. But he's in here Bible thumping. How you gonna Bible thump like a Christian and you don't believe all races came from one? Adam was a special man. Yeah, but Adam beget if you believe Adam, then you believe that we all come from Adam and Eve. Adam was stole that from includes Adama. Cain and Abel. That doesn't just that's not just one race, that's all the races. That's all the tribes of Judah, that's all the Egyptians, that's all the the uh everybody. We all came from for Master Jim. You believe in Adam, you believe in Adam and Eve, you're putting scripture up there. Then how do you disagree that we all came from Adam and Eve? Even if you believe in evolution. There still had to have been one man and one woman at one point that started the human race. Even if we came from monkeys, there had to have been uh, for the for the anyway, that's dumb because it doesn't work. But yeah, we only a few chromosomes away and that radiation could have altered them. Yeah, chromosomes. We're a few chromosomes away from a banana, too, allegedly. No, he ain't. That's totally different. Yep. Getting in bed. That's a lot. We, we are the closest to a fucking chimp or whatever and this radiation thing, Freddy, and anything like that. Your like worldviews and stuff uh they contradict a lot. So like No, because pygmy argue, was real. You'll argue I believe with the in Kalam. You'll argue with the Kalam and be like soul obsessed all of a sudden. No, yeah, because they got rock. Ties. And Listen. Uh, you believe in poly uh, not polygamy, but um, polytheism 
No, I don't. Shut and then up. you go to some dang asteroid brought all the ra some ancient alien stuff. I don't know what what the hell is going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just fucking. You made me lose my thoughts. Shut up. <laughs> What's I about to say? You ain't got no thoughts. Damn, what's I about to say? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pick me as a real. Where did Kane get his wife? Who created the land of Nod that Kane was banished to? Um. Yeah, exactly. God created he the some... land of Nod. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Kane's wife was one of the. Mm -hmm, of course, you were. One of the other kids. Nope. Unless it was it's like some Nephilim. People. Unless it was like some Nephilim or something. Um. Nope, it was only Adam and Eve before the next one. I'm pretty sure that uh, Cain nope. was probably with one he of his. To... Nope. One of his family. Wasn't even his family. Nope. It said he went into another land and remarried. The Bible contradicted itself. It's like the first time. Yeah, but we don't know how many know. years. We don't know how many years that was. Yes, it was in his generation. How can anybody his age be of his age if Adam and Eve didn't have him? People lived 900 years back. then. No, nah, this motherfucker don't have kids. Adam and Eve didn't have Free no more Pre-flood, kids. golden ages. Every civilization wrote about it. Um, they lived longer, so they had a lot of kids by a lot of people. No, nah. no, no, no. So what's the? Stop saying no. What I'm saying doesn't make sense. And offer uh, another. What is that? I'm telling you. I already told you it's some made up bullshit anyway. Oh, yeah, I know. I get man. that. It's some made up bullshit. Now offer me uh, Old Testament. No rebuttal. Old offer Testament. offer a counter argument. Offer something a better idea. You can't just say that's stupid, that's did. made up, that's fiction. And Moses, why did why did why did it take? What is this bound goblin? What do I do with this? Can I talk to him? Oh, I talked to him. Thank you for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left here by the other goblins. You could say that we didn't get along very well. All right, I saved the goblin. What up, bruh? Do you sell me stuff? Reforge? Shop? What's he got? Tinkerer's Workshop? 15 gold? I can't afford that. I got 16 gold coins, and I really want the Tinkerer's Workshop. But I'm worried that I can just build it. Which is here. The others in the castle were the small prince. Sit down. King workshop. Use time 15 very fast. Printing, da da da. Printing boots. Tackle blah blah. How do I make it? Tinker's Workshop, a crafting station, multiple accessories, combine the rocket boots and Hermes boots, single item, specter boots, nice. Tinker's Workshop is purchased from the Goblin Tinkerer for 10 gold. He's trying to charge me 15 gold. Oh, so you can't build it, you have to buy it. I'm about to spend all my gold on this thing. This is ridiculous. We freed the goblin. We bought the Tinkerer's Workshop. Now let's go home. <clears throat> oh, hell no. Yawning up and did it. Tommy says that all the time. Oh, no. Hell yeah. no. Every time I say that, he, that's what he did. But this is... Crazy what I'm reading. You can read? <laughs> All right, bro. I didn't even know. It ain't even funny, dog. <laughs> uh, I think I'm hilarious. <laughs> Shot plus one percent movement speed. What did I just get? Oh, the Tinkerer's Workshop. Let's put this down here. Stop attacking me. Everything, stop attacking me. Exodus 8 1 through 14. Who 
move out the way, dude. They don't even want to let you read it. Why is he still awake? It's been bedtime for the past six hours. Yeah, that's the end of it. Go to bed. Yeah, it's over. Where's the other one there? Here, take this one. Right here, take the towel. Yeah, I know. He can stay up as long as he wants, but he's going to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, Let's see. Do you know what up, Starbuck? So there were giants in the earth in those days, and that's uh, who's that? There was already uh, people agreed. He said, "What up, Starbuck? Starbuck in the chat. What up, Starbuck? Bys, I'm on her clowning." I'm looking up this verse. You got Pata in the Bible. You ain't got no dang verses. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna get them with this. Acorns. Because I've dang cut every tree down in the whole world. No rules at Grandpa's house. I wouldn't be telling him to go to bed, except Freddie's been telling him to go to bed for the past three hours. Moses is a terrorist. <laughs> what? Yeah, Exodus 8, 1 through 14. Moses, though. He's a terrorist, bro. He freed the people. He let the people he wasn't nobody free. no slaves. I would think you would love a good slave freeing story. No. And the man ain't even got no frog head. How do I find my acorns? Acorns, acorns, yeah, that's me. Oh my god, there's so many items in these chests. It's impossible to figure out where stuff is. Okay, this is all seeds. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Acorns. What they ask, bro? I'm gonna go plant acorns like a mug in this piece. Yo, are we being attacked right now? Is it a blood moon? Why are there so many enemies? Hey, it's a war going on. And they didn't even tell the president the damn chief of staff was dead. This is a war for religion. This is a war for the children. They're giving a go for the middle. The the what? What? What'd you say? Oh, there's gonna Nothing be at all. there's gonna be trees everywhere. I'm just gonna plant trees everywhere. We're we are tree planters, no longer tree destroyers in this game. Sounds about right. We need them trees. We need them trees, boys. We're gonna put trees everywhere. Man. Call me Mr. Call me Dang, look how fast that one grew. Call me Mr. Beast because I'm planting trees in this mug. Are you singing? It ain't me. What the heck is that? How retarded, man. Yeah. 
All right, I just planted. I just planted like 300 trees, so. Uh, Are we tree planting in this mode? You're a tree trimmer? That makes sense. I did cut down all the trees, now I'm planting trees. We ran out of trees. And we always need wood. Always gotta have wood. See how there's no trees? I cut them all down. That's right. I'm gonna remove this old. Yeah, buddy. No, don't fall down the hole. My little niece about to have a baby. Oh, fuck. What? Damn it. Damn it. What? Shut up. You shut up. The heck? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shit! Come here, Big Z. It's 12 o'clock our time. I was supposed to call him 9 o'clock our time. It's my son's 25th birthday. January 11th. I'm going to call him 12 o'clock my time and call, tell him happy birthday. But he's in Kentucky. I missed 9 o'clock. I don't got 12 o'clock, though. Getting farther, little by little. Collecting wood, collecting wood. Ugh. Go back to this video because you don't say anything. Logical, uh, Alex. I would say metaphysical. There's no logical contradiction in the notion of the actual infinite. Infinite set theory is a well understood branch of mathematics. Uh, it's perfectly consistent and coherent. Yeah, you got but it. But I, I just just called him that when you try to instantiate it in the world of the real, right. that then it leads to these absurdities. And the Thompson lamp illustration is an example of that second argument that I mentioned for the finitude of the past, the impossibility of forming an actually infinite collection by successive addition, like switchings on and off of a lamp. Sure, so this is why we can talk about the concept of infinity in mathematical literature, uh, but that shouldn't give us reason to think that it can be substantiated in such a way that would affect the argument, right? Yes, that's right. In mathematics, there are just all sorts of entities for example, imaginary numbers and infinite dimensional spaces and so forth that cannot be physically instantiated, but they're perfectly consistent logically. Okay, so the second objection that this raises and, and why it's important is that you can ask the question if an actually infinite number of things or number of events or something like that is impossible uh, to, to be real um, in, in the sense that we're using the term real, does God not count as an actual infinite? Now, it's important to understand here, Alex, that this is not an objection to either premise. Uh, it, it would just show that the theist is going to have a problem too, but it doesn't do anything to refute the argument. 
Now, theists have typically, well, not typically, universally held that God is not composed of parts. Yeah. Uh, God is not an aggregate of definite and discrete elements that make up a collection. And therefore, the notion of God's infinity is not a mathematical notion. It's not a quantitative notion. It's a qualitative notion. It means things like God is perfectly holy, uh, omniscient, omnipotent, uh, timeless, spaceless, and so forth. Uh, all of those sort of qualitative attributes go to make up God's infinity, but his, the infinity of God is not a quantitative concept. Sure. Um, the reason why I, I would have immediate trouble with this is thinking about, although the attributes of God that you mention are qualitatively infinite, uh, there, there may be some room for applying quantitative infinites. For instance, if God is not dormant, right? if God is not just a kind of impersonal uh, being that, that sits there doing nothing, we, we have an image of God um, that, that does things, that intervenes, that creates universes at particular times, but not at others would imply that perhaps you could ascribe to God something like uh, an infinite series of events in terms of an infinite number of actions that he's caused, unless there's some point beyond uh, which God is dormant. I don't see why you can't apply the same reasoning to say that if God... What? what? Huh? She says she's going to sleep. No, Josh, don't go to sleep. You can do this. It's only one o'clock. Play the video. Oh, you can hear it? Yeah, yeah, actions, yeah. I think God has committed an actually infinite set of actions. What you're raising here, Alex, is the very interesting question of God's relationship to time. Yeah. And as you explained so well, if there is a series of successive events in God's life, then the same arguments against the infinitude of the past would apply to God that apply to the universe. And therefore, the classic proponents of this argument, like Al-Ghazali, uh, argue that there is a beginning of time and that God existing beyond the universe, not before it, not before time, but beyond time, is timeless um, and unchanging and perfect and that therefore the arguments are inapplicable to God because God doesn't have a past. So anticipating this this reply I, I was thinking about the okay. concept of the afterlife uh, and how yes. the reason why it's not problematic to say that the afterlife is infinite is because that seems to be a potential infinite right because it kind yes, of that's right. it starts at a certain point and tends towards infinity but there isn't already an existing uh, kind of infinite set of days or something in, in, in heaven, in the afterlife. The problem right. I see is reconciling that with what you've just said, which is that God exists not kind of infinitely for an infinite amount of time, but outside of time itself. My understanding of the afterlife is somehow being with God, right? And so yeah. if, if, if the afterlife is being with God in an infinite kind of way, um, doesn't that mean that the afterlife is a kind of actual infinite? Or, or, or is a kind of... Well, rather than a potential well I think what it implies, Alex, rather, is that God is in time. Um, the view that I defend is a rather novel hybrid view, but I think it's the best view, and that is that when God creates time, he enters into time uh, in virtue of his real causal relationship with temporal changing things. Uh, and in virtue of his knowledge of tensed facts, like what time it is now. So on the view I defend, God is timeless, sans creation, but in time, from creation going forward on into the afterlife. Sure, and it's important that you say sans creation rather than before creation, because that exactly. doesn't make much sense. It's like exactly. talking about before the Big Bang or something like that. As no, uh, that who was it that said that that's like asking what's north of the North Pole, right? It's just a, it's a contradictory notion. Um, yeah. But but does that imply that in order to accept all of the assumptions that you're making, uh, or all the arguments that you're making, I should say, that 
although the afterlife is a kind of being with God, it's not being with God in, in his kind of timeless state. You, you are still confined to time in the afterlife in, in yes. some way. So there's still, how would we understand it? Is there still like a part of God that's outside of the afterlife? No, no, I, I don't think so. I think God enters into time. He takes on a temporal mode of existence at the creation of the world. Um, so that when God creates the first moment of time, he enters into time and thereafter has the temporal mode of existence. So I think God exists right now. Um, I think that in the incarnation, God entered into human history in the person of Christ, and that in the afterlife, we will enjoy what the Bible calls everlasting right. life with God and with his son, Christ, Jesus Christ. Which implies potential in, in infinity because everlasting yes. is a kind of ongoing uh, ongoing process. So That's right. Does that mean that That's when we favorite. say God is timeless, as I've heard you say a number of times, we kind mm. of mean that he, he was timeless, a part of him is timeless, but now is a temporal being, something like that? Well, here... It's so easy to be tricked by language. Right. And I think what we have to say is that God is timeless sans creation and in time subsequent to creation. And that is a non-contradictory way of stating it. Is that non-contradictory? Because the way I'm thinking of it is, is God sans creation is timeless. Uh, and so God kind of exists eternally as a timeless being. But somehow, at the at the same in, in the same breath, exists as a temporal being uh, as well. So it's temporal no, and non-temporal. There is no time. Um, sans creation, this is a timeless, spaceless existence, and time and space come into being at the moment of creation, which I would identify, for the sake of simplicity, with the Big Bang, mm -hmm. uh, with t equals zero, the first moment of time. Sure. Um, so when we talk about, so, so it doesn't make sense to talk about God creating the universe at a point in time, right? Uh, say again? It, it doesn't make sense to talk about God creating the universe at a point in time. Well, let me um, modify what I said. I shared with you my understanding, what I think is the best view. Mm -hmm. But there are certainly other theists philosophers who hold different views of God and time. Um, Opinions, right? For example, Richard Swinburne, uh, Alan Padgett, uh, John Lucas well, hold a view of God existing literally prior to creation. It's not an opinion. It's either right or it's wrong. So. It's theists. <laughs> they motherfuckers they telling you nothing that they know People for facts. People use the word opinion in the wrong way. If I say... Uh, the sky is blue, or if I say the sky is green, that's not my opinion, that's just wrong. And you could be colorblind, and it could be green to you. Anyway, right, come on, it's, man. It's either, true play, or it's, it's press, either true or it's not true. Press play. So that's not opinion. Opinion is if I say Eminem's the best rapper. You can't really... That's uh, subjective. And you just heard him say he had to modify Basically what he like thinks. like a preference, but... Yeah. If you say something that you think is true, but it's wrong, it's not an opinion, it's just false. Right, but you can modify something that's false true, you're thinking If it's to true, fit. it's not an opinion, it's just a fact. Mm, okay, but what they saying is all opinions. He, no, he's naming it's some people with some more opinions. It's conflicting views. Conflicting views. Right. You can't have conflicting facts, but it, right? But they're not opinions because you can't opinions. have conflicting facts, Cause, though, right? Because they could just be wrong, or they could be right. And you have conflicting facts. Conflicting facts. Uh, you said all of them are all of them are coming with their own different facts, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they opinions. can all they can all use facts. No. To make to take no. a guess at their hypothesis of what they think God is, or what they think the beginning, and what of their opinion is. is. I got right, you. But it's, not I got an, you. but it's not an opinion. It's oh, okay. It's a guess, more like. I know, I know, I know. Words are tough for you, but it's not an opinion. I understand. I understand where you're having a problem at. If they're right, I see where you glitch up at. I see where no, you glitch. There's no glitch. You're having a glitch because 
you don't understand the difference between an opinion and true. Did you knowledge. just hear what he said? He said there's three or four other guys with another with different, different opinion views. on with what he's talking no, about. He didn't say different. He said different views. Thesis. Where he just gave his own. Yeah, yeah. Those That's what he called it. A it thesis wasn't is views. not an opinion. It was opinion. No, it's not. Yeah, it wasn't no fact. A hypothesis is not an opinion. It's an educated guess. It could All be right. wrong. It could be and right. You could be yeah, wrong or you theory. could be right. It's not an opinion. Right. Okay. You could be wrong or you could be right. That's right. a if guess. You're wrong, then your opinion is not. It's not. It's, it's, I know. I it's know. It's hard for you to it's, something. It's not an opinion. It's right or wrong. Play the play the video. So somebody's gonna be right. I want to hear wrong. these other four uh, opinions. But in the they, number, what are you talking about? Uh, Alan Paget, uh, John Lucas, who hold different views of God and time. Different views of God and time. He didn't say opinion. Views is not facts, um, right? For example, right, it's not Richard facts. Swinburne, yeah, right. uh, Alan Paget. If your view is correct, then it is a fact. And if your view is wrong, then it's just not a fact. It's not an opinion. Somebody's right and somebody's wrong. It's not like you wouldn't have a view. Murder. If it was, if it was fact. Murder. Murder's wrong objectively, but if you're some crazy person that's got screwed up chemistry in your brain or whatever excuses you want to make, and you say, "I think murder is great." You're just wrong. That's not. There's no opinion that murder's okay. You're just wrong. No, after the verdict and all the evidence is guilty or not guilty, and you can view it how you want to, but the case yeah. is still guilty yes. or not guilty. Your yes. views are all your opinions. Objectively, they would be guilty. Yeah, of your views is your opinion. Whether they I view, felt, whether I view they is like he was, was innocent. Okay but That's it, not it the was truth. My opinion, just because your okay. view is he's innocent, don't make it the truth. Your view don't make it the truth. Love you. Love you too. No, your view doesn't make it the truth, but your view could be the okay. truth or it could be false. Um, in about eight hours. So uh, John eight Lucas hours hold to a view of God existing literally prior to creation, but in a sort of non-metric time. That is to say, a time in which you cannot distinguish successive intervals of duration uh, so that there is no point a million years prior to the moment of creation. There is no point one hour before creation. There is this kind of amorphous time that is pre-creation time, but it's not metric. It doesn't have a metric to it that enables you to distinguish intervals of varying duration. So there is that view out there. That's not my own view, but I want to say there are a number of options open to theists. It's not as though the Kalam argument commits you to a certain view of God and time. Other theists uh, would maintain that God is timeless, just simpliciter, that God never enters into time. I disagree with them, but there are theists who would hold to that, and that would be consistent with the Kalam argument as well. Sure. Uh, the reason I think this is yeah, all these are is clergy because men. I know it's not strictly the conclusion of this the Kalam, right or maybe you think it is, but I, I've heard you talk in the right. past about how once we identify that there's a cause to the universe, we can say that it's a, a personal, uh, a personal. No, I don't think he's an atheist. He don't um, sound because like Because of no the atheist. fact, uh, and I may be misunderstanding here, but my interpretation uh, was that scrawny it has to kind of do something to create a universe, right? And if an infinite oh, being creates a finite being, old man talking. that doesn't seem to make sense unless the the infinite yeah. being can change its nature in some sense. Um, but how can we understand this outside of the idea of time, right? Because my, when I first heard that kind of line of thought, I was thinking, well, are we saying that there's an infinitely existing being who, because at some point in time creates the universe, something must change and therefore it must be a kind of conscious decision-making cause. Without, I, I without time, I don't see how that, how that jump can be oh, made. Um... I wouldn't express it exactly the way you did, but I think that you're in the ballpark. The problem here is how do you get a cause with a begin? Uh, pardon me. How do you get an effect with a beginning from a cause which is permanent? Yes. If the cause is truly sufficient for its effect, 
then if the cause is there permanently, the effect ought to be there permanently. How in the world do you have a permanent cause, but an effect that only begins to exist a finite time ago? And it seems to me that the best answer to that question is that the cause is a personal agent endowed with free will, because free will can initiate new effects without antecedent determining conditions. And so what I would say is that this timelessly existing free agent freely wills to create the universe, and therefore time comes into being at that moment, and this being enters into time at that moment. So this is the problem I'm having, uh, is you say he wills the universe into being at that moment. But how can we make sense of a, of a term like at that moment if this being is timeless? Yeah, no because more. as you say, right. if it's an infinite being, um, the question is, if if that cause is sufficient and infinite, then the effect should also be uh, yes. infinite, implying right. that there was no sufficiency up to a certain point. But how can you talk this about is... points with no time? This is a great question, and the question here you're raising is, which one is explanatorily prior? God's decision to create the world is simultaneous with the origin of the world. They, they're at the same moment, the first moment of time. So which is explanatorily prior? Is it the moment of time, and it is at that moment that God chooses? Or is it rather that God makes a free choice, and therefore that is the first moment of time? And I would say it's the latter. God's free choice is explanatorily prior to the existence of the first moment of time, because in the absence of some sort of a, um, an event, there would be no time. It would just be timelessness. You need something to happen in order for time to exist. And what happens An is observation that God freely dirty. chooses to create the universe. So it's all about explanatory priority here. So the, the insufficiency of the cause before, let's say, if there's the wrong language, but before the universe exists, the, the insufficiency of the cause, which means that it hasn't oh, found existed yet, uh, is is prior in, in ex explanation rather than prior in time. It, well, what I'm, I'm trying to say is that what you call the insufficiency of the cause is due to the fact that the free will of this being has not chosen to create the universe. The, this being um, has not made such a decision. But the instant that such a decision is made, time comes into being. Indeed, the decision is explanatorily prior to the first instant of time yeah um when you say the the free it's because of the the freedom of the being and the free being hasn't made the decision it, it feels like that it's begging for the word yet to be on the end of that it hasn't made the decision yet I know. <laughs> you know but it's yes. like we're carefully avoiding that language because of the complications of yeah. time but it seems like the explanation that you're giving uh it, it feels to me like naturally it, it invokes a sense of time. I, I, I still don't quite I see how it works without time. Well, you, you just have to be very careful if you're going to be philosophically precise to use tenseless verbs in your sentences and not use temporal particles like before uh, or yet and things of that sort. And I think that we can avoid those and make coherent statements. For example, I said sans the universe God exists timelessly, that's a tenseless verb, sans the universe, God uh, does not freely choose to create the universe. Um, so I think that these statements can be correctly made if we just watch our, our tenses and our uh, adverbs. Sure. So I, I should say to the listeners, uh, I'm going to leave uh, resources and, and, and writing. <laughs> yeah, you heard him say that, God. I'm afraid made to on, on these points no because cause. there's no way to get to the bottom the of the podcast like this. Um, but the reason that I wanted to kind of talk about this nah, for a little bit was because said. of the fact that one of the objections that has Pretty been made, lost. and I think I've made it in the past, is nah, that you heard what he said too. Yeah, the Kalam cosmological argument gets you a cause of the universe, right? But it doesn't get you. What do you say? What? What? Don't worry about it. Well, you're going to say, Josh doesn't believe in free will.
Let's not start with this free will stuff, Josh. No, it's pretty simple. God had free. God has free will. That's why God freely willed Himself to make. Yeah, life. I'm sure all y'all know characteristics of God. Dude got the best description of God. Not all that Jesus stuff you believe I ain't with, but if he's all knowing of all time, he would never have man qualities on him. Yeah, I've only been trying to explain to you for the past three hours that this isn't a Christian argument. This is a just an argument for the existence of a God or a creator. No, back yeah, then, sure. and back then, this they guy can't. O'Connor was was like a hundred percent atheist. Like he was he's still a hundred percent atheist. Yeah, but back then he was like a little bit more. Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, not as uh, he's softer now with it. He's always been pretty yeah. fair. He, this is three years ago, and he's talking to a Christian philosopher. And he's not. He never. Well, he got yelled at by uh, Christopher Hitchinson's Christopher Hitchens' brother. Because uh, he was talking about pot legalization. Oh, Ow. what is what is this guy? What what is uh? Cosmic, what's his name? Uh, cosmic, cosmic skeptic. Yeah, what is his point of view on legalization of marijuana? He thinks well. Yeah. I don't, even, I don't even know his view because he, uh, the way he interviews is he'll, he'll ask questions. He just asks questions like, so Christopher Hitchens' brother is an atheist, but he's very anti-drugs. He's very anti-legalization of drugs because he says it leads to dumber people and the de degeneracy of society. Um, so he's very anti-drug legalization. Alex had him on and the whole interview for like an hour he just wanted to talk about drugs Alex because uh, Hitchens brother had just came out with a book about why drugs should be illegal and so Alex was asking him about his book and his, about his thoughts on drugs dude got pissed and stormed off uh, off the set he's like all oh, you want to talk about is drugs and you're just a druggie and blah 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 so I, Alex never even really said his position. He was just, from a philosoph philosophical standpoint, trying to uh, ask questions about where the other guy stood. Another guy got mm -hmm. pissed. Okay. So I don't really know where his what his opinions are. He wasn't saying his opinions. He was just asking questions that made it seem like he was pro drugs. Right, but he was just asking questions. Yeah, so I don't really know. <laughs> he never really said his own position, but the other guy got pissed and left. So I don't yeah. want to talk about his drugs. If I knew that's what we were going to talk about for three hours, I wouldn't have showed up here. But he couldn't be there for <laughs> over an he hour. Got, <laughs> he got triggered. He wanted to go get some drugs. He needed to talk to his sponsor. Some people can't be out <laughs> talking about drugs like that. It's called fantasizing and glory day and it's shit. And they get their dopamine dripping and they get the itching like and they want to go. Uh, you don't even know who the people we're talking about are, but you're just going to throw shade at them, call them a drug addict, and they're looking for their fix. And see, I ain't come to talk about drugs <laughs> for three hours. Some people don't like that shit. Talk about drugs for three hours. That's all I'm saying. It's a common thing. Then why did he sit down then on to to be asked those questions? Some people get trapped into interviews like that, and then they get hard to ask the hard questions that everybody really want to know on camera. And then they like, man, look, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You trying to get the good interview, motherfucker? Yeah, I got you here now, motherfucker. What's up? You need to fight me or don't do the interview. Well, I need to go viral. I need to break the internet. So they're gonna ask you pop up questions, make you go, make you lose your shit if you can. So they like got him. We got him. Hell yeah! Great show, fellas. 
I didn't think he was going to bite at first, but then when you start drilling in and asking him questions, he start getting red. He got personal, buddy. I knew you was going to get him to bloop out. You be up. People out here like that. Let's just dig Let's straight see. down and see what happens. Back to the video. Do something resembling your gorge. Um, but here, what we're doing is we're trying to show that in order, if we if we kind of admit that the the there is a course of the universe that's outside of the universe and is therefore timeless, eternal, infinite, whatever it may be, that it does in fact have to be personal. It does in fact have to have free will and some form of consciousness. And so the Kalam actually does imply a type of cause, not just a cause. I I, I think that's yes. does that make sense? Well, it does to me. This is Al Ghazali's argument right. for the personhood, personhood of the cause of the universe. This isn't original with me. It's in Al Ghazali's work. And when I first read it, I thought this is absolutely brilliant. This is the only way that you can get a temporal effect with a beginning from a permanent cause. It's if it's if you've got an agent endowed with freedom of the will who can choose to do something without antecedent determining conditions. And uh, since that time, Alex, I've enunciated two other arguments for the personhood of the creator. One from uh, Richard Swinburne, uh, based upon the distinction between personal explanations and scientific explanations. And then uh, another based upon the um, causal now? power of the cause of the universe, uh, a, a, an unembodied mind is the best candidate for a timeless, spaceless, immaterial cause of the universe. So I've got three arguments, all the to the same mind. conclusion that the cause it? of the universe is a personal, unembodied mind, which is uh, very close to a theistic concept. Sure. Um, so what we've kind of covered then, and, and those points, um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll leave resources down below for people to explore. I don't want to get I don't want to spend too much time on the same point or same sure. objection. What, what we've shown here is that there's philosophical reason, at least, uh, to think that the universe began to exist. That's the second and premise. And there's philosophical reason to think that if the if the conclusion does hold that the cause is a personal cause um, that's probably best described as God. So. I want to discuss the first premise, um, because a lot of the time okay. in the literature, as far as I can see, people think that this is the kind of this is the kind of obvious one. It's the kind of, well, come on, of course, everything that begins to exist has a cause. Now, that's not to say there isn't argumentation behind it, um, but it seems like people are, are just far more willing to accept it as intuitively true. Do you, have you yes. found the same thing? Well, actually, Alex, that's what I think. Uh, when I first enunciated the Kalam cosmological argument, to me, the first premise is a no-brainer. Right. I, I thought anybody who is intellectually honest will agree to the first premise. And so I have been amazed, frankly, at the number of uh, <laughs> non-theists who are willing to admit that the universe began to exist. I, I think they're impressed with the scientific evidence for the beginning of the universe mm. and therefore bite the bullet and say the universe came into being uncaused from nothing. No, uh, and to me, that me. is just a compromise of one's intellectual integrity, to be honest. Well, yeah, yeah. But I mean, to be clear, if, if a person accepts the second premise, uh, that the universe began to exist, and and that includes, you know, a lot of people will want to say, well, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, but whatever was uh, before the Big Bang would just be part of the universe, as as we're talking right, about it. Right. Right. Um, if we accept that premise, then the listener needs to bear in mind that the only way to deny the conclusion is to, as you say, bite the bullet and say that something at least that begins to exist doesn't have a cause. Yeah. So, and this this fact drove a lot of the resistance to Big Bang cosmology during the 20th century. Right. People like Fred Hoyle, mm -hmm. the uh, proponent of the steady state model, was very explicit that it is metaphysically absurd what the Big Bang theory says, that the universe came into came being up. without a cause at some point in the past. He said, this is impossible. There's got to be something 
before it. And so he adopted or propounded his steady state theory. And we had oscillating theories, vacuum fluctuation theories, all sorts of alternatives to try to avoid that beginning. Because I think quite likely all these theorists opinions. see that if the universe truly began to exist, it would be a metaphysical yeah, absurdity to say it just came into existence uncaused. An, an interesting piece of trivia. Um, Fred Hoyle is, of course, the man who coined is the Big Bang it. Theory, but he did so pejoratively. Mm -hmm. yeah, he was on a radio yeah, show, and, and he said, well, this this Big Bang Theory. Yeah, he was making fun I of it. And that's what they're saying. You're on the wrong side. Um, of you let, let's talk about this. So on your website, yeah. Reasonable Faith, um, because I do do my research, uh, I found you gave three justifications for this first yes. premise reminding the, the listeners the first premise is everything that begins to exist has a cause now the three justifications you give with a bit of explanation but just the just the first line is firstly that something cannot come from nothing secondly that if something can come from nothing then it is inexplicable why just anything and everything doesn't come into existence from nothing or come into being from nothing and the third point is and I quote, common experience and scientific evidence confirm the truth of premise one. What kind of common experience are you talking about when you take here. away that ad? When you say that. Everyday experience, scientific experience, we always look for causes of events. That's the whole project of science. Uh, and we never come across um, things coming into being uncaused. Now, immediately people will think about quantum indeterminacy, uh, that there seem to be events that on at least the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics are uncaused. But um, two things here need to be said. The argument is very carefully worded. Uh, it does not say every event has a cause. It says everything that begins to exist has a cause. Right. So the argument is quite consistent with quantum indeterminacy and there being uncaused events. What it says is that there can't be things, substances, that come into being without a cause. And then the second thing that I would say is that the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum indeterminacy is by no means the only or the most plausible interpretation of quantum mechanics. There are at least 10 different physical interpretations of the equations of quantum mechanics, and some of these are as fully deterministic as uh, non-quantum right. theory, so that it's not a proven counterexample in any case. Yes, um, which is something, again, listeners should bear in mind. I, I do hear a lot of people I want to reference quantum physics, which is famously uh, not very well understood. So we've got to be careful when we when we try to do that kind of thing. But I, I did. Yeah, I have a friend who says that the quantum mechanics is sort of the trump card right. that a lot of people like to play. They don't understand it, but they just say, well, if quantum mechanics can be like that, then any absurdity can happen. Yeah. Uh, it's just it just shows really a lack of understanding of the theory. Now it's not to say that there aren't um, very well thought out arguments related to quantum physics uh, in kind of in in relation to the discussion we're having, but you are right that a lot of the time you do hear it from people who are, as you say, using it as a trump card. I've experienced that myself. But there, there's a kind of there was an inconsistency that I that I found, um, which I was struggling mm -hmm. with, or an apparent inconsistency when I was when I was reading your your points on the Kalam. Um, okay. And it, it's on this point, right? Because on the mm. one hand, you say if things can come into existence without a cause, then why wouldn't it be happening all the time, right? Uh, why wouldn't a horse or an Eskimo village, as you say, just pop into yes. existence out of nothing, right? Why don't we observe yeah. that? Now, right. Holding that in mind, um, in in the Blackwell Companion to Natural Theology, you you are talking about this this quantum um, idea that. Uh, quantum mechanics gives us evidence of something coming from nothing, essentially. And your response to that is to say this. You say, popularizers touting such theories as getting something from nothing, that is quantum mechanics, um, apparently do not understand that the vacuum is not nothing, but a sea of fluctuating energy endowed with a rich structure and subject to physical laws. Such models do not, therefore, involve a true origination ex so nihilo. Even space okay? is so yes. Help me out here. You say okay, that quantum mechanics isn't an example of something coming from nothing because it doesn't come from nothing. 
But then you say, well, if something could come from nothing, why wouldn't a horse pop into being? Well, my thought is that if we did observe a, a horse popping into being in my living room, that similarly wouldn't be out of nothing, right? Because my living room isn't nothing. Oh, but they didn't make the horse. All right, now here we're it's talking stupid. about whether there's an efficient cause for that. Remember Aristotle distinguished between several different kinds of causes, efficient, mm -hmm. material, formal, and so forth. And when I talk about whatever begins to exist has a cause, I'm thinking of efficient causes. There needs to be something that brings it into being. I don't think it has to have a material cause, but it, there does need to be at least an efficient cause that brings it into being. Now, with respect to quantum mechanics, the point there is that certain popularizers of modern science, like Lawrence Krauss, love to say that in quantum mechanics, you have theories by which the universe comes into being out of nothing. And in fact, that's just not the case. You have a physical state of affairs, which is either a quantum vacuum, a field of fluctuating energy, Ugh. or these are quantum oh physical that fields so described by physical laws. And these physical states of affairs can reconfigure themselves so as to produce particles or the universe. Oh, um, and so God don't go by physical laws. Causes uh, in this case for no, made the universe laws. or the particles coming into being. Yeah, um, uh, Lawrence Krauss, his book, A Universe from Nothing, is a fantastic overview of cosmological science, but I, I hear this a lot of the time too. People say, well, you know, you talk about something coming from nothing, but nothing isn't really nothing. And if that's the case, then we're not talking about the same thing here. Um, <laughs> no. I, I agree with you on, on, on that point. Um, Have you read um, the review in the New York Review of Books of Krauss's uh, book, A Universe from Nothing. I'm sure David, I did. David Albert, the, the, the philosopher of quantum physics, David Albert, wrote a review of Krauss's book, and it, it just is excoriating for the uh, sloppiness of, of Krauss's use of the term nothing. I have I have read that that review. I think I read it in preparation to, to talk to Lawrence Krauss, who I know follows me on Twitter. Oh. So I'll be careful what I say about him here and how much I agree with you on, on the sloppiness of his work. Um, uh, but yeah, it's worth bearing in mind that we're kind of we're talking about two different things here, right? When when a philosopher is talking about yeah. nothing, they mean, as Aristotle said, what rocks dream of. They mean nothing, right? And so if there's some kind of quantum soup or something, then that that is not actually nothing. But yeah, I, here's how I like to mm -hmm. put it, Alex. Nothing. The word nothing, even though it's a pronoun, it's not a referring term. Right. It's not a singular term. It's a universal quantifier. It's a negative quantifier. It means not anything. Yes. So if I say I had nothing for lunch, that is saying I did not have a anything thing, yeah. for lunch. Because if you don't make that careful distinction and you think of nothing as something that can be can be spoken about, you, you can make arguments like um, uh, in A.C. Grayling's History of Philosophy, he, he puts forward the argument, uh, nothing is brighter than the sun, a candle is brighter than nothing, Therefore, a candle is brighter than the sun, oh, right? But clearly, yeah. <laughs> the, the point being raised here is that when we talk about... Nothing is brighter than the sun, and a candle is brighter than nothing. Therefore, a candle is brighter than the sun. That is the... Yeah, that's what you can't pass on your IQ test. Yep, I mean, you can get it. Well, that's... That doesn't make sense. I think that's the point of it. It's the order. Yeah, it's just the order. I'm going to make this tinkerer's thing. What's that hat? It's... Okay. I got a... nothing. We have to be clear that, as you say, we're talking about... Um, we're talking about a kind of existential qualifier. We're saying no thing, not the existence yeah, of nothing. Universal quantifier. Um, yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah, which shows again the importance of philosophy of language yeah. in dealing with even scientific oh, issues. Yeah. But on, on that point of, of, of equivocating terms where perhaps they they, they shouldn't be. Um, I'm intrigued because a lot of the time people will say. Now I, I'm not sure if this is an argument you would make, but this is what my article was on. My essay was on about the the begging the question of the kalam. Now. Yes, Some right. people have said. Now, when you refer to common experience, I thought you might have meant something like. 
any time we see something beginning to exist, it appears to have a cause. Uh, that's a common experience that a lot of people will refer to. They say, look, you, you can never have something that begins to exist, me beginning to exist, uh, a chair beginning to exist that doesn't have a cause. But of course, the important point here for me was that the kind of beginning to exist we need to talk about uh, in order for the Kalam to hold, in order to get our conclusion, is beginning to exist from nothing, surely. Whereas mm -hmm. a chair doesn't begin to exist from nothing. A chair begins to exist from pre-existing material. And yes, although it makes sense to say the chair exists now and didn't exist an hour ago, what we really mean is that the material that the chair is made out of has rearranged itself or been rearranged in such a way that we now arbitrarily give it the, na the label of a chair, but, but nothing has actually begun to exist. Oh, oh, Alex, I think that's just a... T well, as you say, that's included in my list of arguments so bad I couldn't Indeed. Um, just Life think of your own self. You cannot be created you or destroyed. To exist. It, it is absurd to think that you existed before your father's sperm and mother's egg united uh, in conception for you to begin to exist. You didn't exist during the Jurassic period. You didn't exist during the era of galaxy formation. You began to exist about 18 years ago uh, in this conception event. And so don't think that beginning to exist um, is something that um, is subverted yeah, by its having a material cause. Mm. Uh, right. I, I explicate what it means to begin to exist by saying X begins to exist at T if X exists at T and T is the first time at which X exists. Yeah. And that is fulfilled for the chair and yourself and other things that begin to exist. And the point is that when we look at the things that begin to exist, we have a, a tremendous inductive argument that everything that begins to exist, so defined, has a cause. It's hard to think of an inductive generalization that could be more strongly supported than that. Well, th this is where we, where we have to be careful about language um, to make sure the point gets across. I, as glad as I am that it's meaningful to say that I wasn't around to witness my parents' conception, uh, I, I think that... <laughs> When when we say it, it's kind of absurd, yes, that that you know I, I existed in in the Jurassic period or something. What I'm being careful to say here is that everything that I'm made of existed yeah. at that time. Yeah, right? right. Fair enough. And so when we talk about beginning to exist in in the sense of the common experience, in order to justify premise one, we're talking about beginning to exist conceptually, beginning to exist as an arrangement, something like this, right? We're not talking about actual matter becoming instantiated or something like that? Well, I don't think that it's necessarily just a matter of yeah. arrangement. I mean, take fundamental particles, for example, like electrons or quarks. Mm -hmm. They're not arrangements of anything because they are fundamental particles. Uh, you're raising an issue here as to whether or not there are composite objects, uh, things that are arrangements of simples that are themselves not arrangements of anything. And, and there are certainly these sorts of fundamental particles. But more to the point, Alex, would be that the definition I gave of begins to exist, namely X Damn. begins to exist at T, if X exists at T, and T is the first time at which X exists, is it's irrelevant whether or not X is a fundamental thing that is not an arrangement of prior materials or whether it is. No. Either one of those fulfills that definition. Perhaps I can explain why I'm having trouble with this as pertains to something like a chair, which is that it seems to me that designating when that point T is is an arbitrary measure that we make subjectively, right? If you have a, if you have a collection of wood um, uh -huh. and hmm. you, you, you kind of begin forming it into a chair, you could say, well, look, it's not a chair right now. Maybe if I bend this little bit like this and hammer in that, now, right. now it's a chair. It seems like to say uh, this is the point T at which the chair now exists is an arbitrary subjective notion that we've kind of placed upon an object. It's not actually intrinsic to the object itself. Uh huh. Well, I do think that that's a good point. Uh, I they killed my dog. They killed my You're dog. Get a new partner.
Well, I'm a dog. I, I would say an even oh, better no, example no. would be a building, like a skyscraper. When does that right. actually begin to exist? Um, but there are plenty of things that aren't it's like that, powers. like yourself. Uh, I think it's very clear when you began to exist, and even with respect to the chair or the building, <laughs> we don't need to specify time t to as an instant. Like time t can something. be any interval of time. It could be Ooh, 1970, for example. Uh, so uh, the, this building began to exist in 1970. Uh, if the building existed in 1970, and 1970 was the first time at which it existed. So don't think that the time at which something begins to exist needs to be too finely specified, because as, as you say, there will be some vagueness right. as to when it actually begins. But at the same time... Now, with regard to the universe, though, the this is all yeah. academic, <laughs> because there is a very precise right. time in which the universe begins to exist. Well, I'm, I'm trying to move towards a, a distinction between the universe beginning to exist and things like chairs beginning to exist in, in order to show why perhaps they don't support each other. Um, well, let, let's say, you know, you, you have a skyscraper and you don't know particularly what time it begins to exist, but you could say that it's a period of time instead. Still, it seems that the notion of beginning to exist, as we're talking about it as pertains to chairs and skyscrapers, is not something is not a uh, is not an attribute of the thing but an attribute of us it's an attribute of the people observing it and, and giving it a label the, uh -huh. the the fact that a piece of wood becomes a chair is not something so much true of the of the wood but uh, as it is true of us because nothing about the actual material really changes in such a way that's meaningful except as we decide that it's meaningful boy i, I think that's a kind of anti-realist view of reality that I would have grave reservations uh, about, that the, the yeah, chair is some kind of a mental construct that, right. that you make. That certainly wouldn't yeah. apply in any case to fundamental particles yeah. or things that we don't think about. I mean, for example, there was a time at which Tyrannosaurus rex began to exist. And if you go back far enough, there were no Tyrannosaurus rex prior to that. And this has nothing to do with my conceiving of it. Or... Well, I mean, so this is actually quite a helpful example, talking about species. So take the species of, of Homo sapiens, ah. right? Uh, I mean, it clear. I mean, it seems to me clearly that although it makes sense to say that, you know, there was a point at which human beings existed slimes and a point, from the say, sky. you know, 50,000 years before that where human beings didn't exist. Right. But clearly that the coming into oh, no! existence of this species Homo sapiens... Crap! Okay. It is something that we have put upon it. I just, I just threw two bombs at my house. Crap. I, I just blew up the whole front door of my house. I gotta kill 150 slimes and then I get to fight the king slime. I can't believe I just blew up the whole front door of my house. You have roaches, bro. What? Roaches? They're coming in the front door. Play with me, yo, bro. I just gotta talk. I got my headphones in here. Play to what? What the? Uh, defeated 250th blue slime. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, now, now granted, when I said Tyrannosaurus rex, I was thinking of a dinosaur, a flesh and blood organism. Mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking of a species. Okay. And similarly with Homo sapiens, I agree with you. It isn't clear at all what is to be classed as Homo sapiens. They're all kind of hominids that it's very difficult to classify. Yeah. But nevertheless, if you go back in time far enough, for example, 1 million BC, there weren't any human beings around at that point. Mm -hmm. Human beings began to exist sometime later. And that's an objective fact that has nothing to do with 
uh, our conceptions. Well, um, allow me to try putting the same statement you just made in different words. You said there's a uh, okay. human beings began to exist. What if I said something like, um, because we, we both agreed a moment ago that the matter that makes up human beings already existed, even if the human beings didn't. Uh, what right. if I said something like, the the matter which exists arranged itself in such a way that that, that we would label Homo sapiens. Yeah, right. That seems to me the same talking. thing as saying that the Homo sapiens began to exist. Uh huh. Well, if if we would label it correctly, but that the, there is an objective fact here, it's it doesn't begin to exist in virtue of our labeling it. The reason we label it as a Homo sapiens or as a human I being see. is because you have an organism that is recognizably human. It's it's not reptilian. It's not uh, amphibian. This is uh, a hominin that is endowed with certain they kinds all of mental species. and behavioral capacities that we would we count as human. It and it's the first the one. beginning of existence of that thing is explored by paleontologists and paleoanthropologists uh, just wholly independently of us. I, I think I've hit on our disagreement then, which seems to be that you would say that uh, we call a homo sapien a, a, a new object that begins to exist, a new thing, because it begins to exist. Whereas I would say that conceptually it begins to exist because we've decided to call it uh, homo sapiens it's kind of the, the reverse yeah. right i think that's the disagreement we're having yeah well this gets into this question again that i mentioned whether or not you think there are really composite objects yeah. or not um and however you come down on that uh, there are going to be certain entities that are not composite objects like fundamental particles like electrons and quarks and so forth and i would say persons like yourself and these provide clear-cut examples of things that exist that are not just arrangements of prior matter and therefore don't have any objective reality well, okay, so so the reason why I wanted to, to make this argument is to try and get across the point that I feel that the only thing that, if anything, has meaningfully begun to exist, the only thing that would fulfill that criterion would be the universe itself, because everything within the universe that begins to exist, begins to exist in a conceptual sense only, is the argument that I was trying to make. But clearly you disagree with that. Yes, um, right. I, I suppose... And I think, I mean, what, you're talking here about a view... That is, and I hate to get technical, it's called myriological nihilism. Yeah, uh, that is to yes. say that there are no composite objects. Essentially, yes. But even myriological nihilists recognize that there are fundamental particles that are not composites. They're not aggregates of things. And some, like Peter Van Inwagen, would say that living things, like mm -hmm. horses and humans and persons, uh, are also not just aggregates of material because they are alive and they have for have a kind of unity to their being that goes beyond being merely an aggregate of material things. So I, I think the person who's going to take the line of myriological nihilism, well, it's worse than myriological nihilism. I mean, he has to say that there are no fundamental objects. Well, I'm not sure that's the case. Um, for instance, if we accept that fundamental particles exist, and what we mean by fundamental particles are, are simply things that can't be broken down any further. And so right. what we mean when we say beginning to exist is a rearrangement of fundamental particles in such a way that it kind of, uh, that, that it gives rise to arbitrary labeling as, as a new object, right? right? So that's yeah. the kind of view that I would take. Not that there aren't composite things, okay. but that everything that begins to exist is just an arrangement of composite things. All right, so that's, that's not an, you mean arrangement of fundamental things? Yes, fundamental things. Well, if, if you break it down far enough, yes. Simple. Right, yes, okay, and that would be a consistent view it's a very radical view, <laughs> one that I wouldn't hold. I, I can't see any good reason to be a myriological nihilist. Um, but in, in any case, I don't think that that would subvert the argument for the universe beginning to exist. Right. Because in that case, you can rephrase the argument, not such that the universe began to exist, but you can say 
all fundamental particles began to exist. Sure, but, th but then do you, see how, the do you see how that just completely undermines the idea of the common sense experience of things beginning to exist? Because although it, it may make philosophical sense to talk about uh, fundamental particles beginning oh, to exist, we wouldn't be able to say something like, we've observed it happening. Oh, no, I, I think that's not right, Alex. What it requires is a modification of the second premise, not the first. The first premise that whatever begins to exist has a cause would remain intact. Right. It's so just that on the muriological nihilist particles. view, very, very few things begin to exist because yeah. they don't exist. There are no people. There are no horses. There are no skyscrapers. There are no chairs. I but know. if you reformulate the second premise so that it states mm -hmm. not the universe You're began to exist, but all the fundamental particles began to exist, you get the same conclusion. Um, okay, so uh, perhaps I can explain why, because you say it's at least a consistent worldview. Let me try and explain why I thought this would beg the question when it came to the Kalam. Was because okay. if we accept okay, the here comes the boss. That we got a boss. Everything that begins King to Slime. exist as we observe it in the world, let's say, oh, is it's not a actually boss beginning to exist in a meaningful sense. Tonight. It's just a rearrangement of pre-existing matter. Um, yeah. And King Slime ultimately, in this the furthest you can break it down Yo, is fundamental particles, let's... but those existed since the beginning oh. of the universe. Um, meaning so that, in other words, the in the meaningful the sense, the only thing that began to exist was the universe, right? Now, now the reason this is a problem is because to beg the question is to accept the first premise only stop, by virtue stop, stop, of already stop, stop, having stop. granted the conclusion. Now, if the first premise is everything that begins to exist has a cause, but the only thing that truly begins to exist in the sense we, we want to talk about is the universe, then the first mm -hmm. premise just becomes the universe has a cause, which is identical to the conclusion. No, it just means that the universe would yeah, be the only like... instance of that first premise. That I, I want our your listeners to understand how <laughs> radical the view is mm. that you're yeah. expressing here. It's not just that things don't begin to exist. It's so rather that these exists. things don't exist at all. There are no such things as chairs and planets and people Come on, King and Slide. skyscrapers. Oh, None one of these shot. things Where actually exist, and that's why they don't begin to exist. The only mm -hmm. thing that begins to exist would be these fundamental particles. Um, and so this is a, a I mean, Already you can take is. that line if you want, it but it's really when it's made a, of. a radical Kill view. Them. Uh, because I know that I exist. I think Descartes is Let's quite right about go. that. We beat a boss. I can't doubt it's that I exist. And I began to exist. So I, I think this is not, you know, this is sort of like an academic tr way to try to escape the argument. <laughs> but it's not a plausible right. solution I, I, to the person who really is looking for truth. The two, the two observations I'd make is, Potentially first to say that on the Cartesian view, yes, you can know you exist, but I don't, I'm not sure you could therefore know that you began to exist, but just on the Cartesian view. Um, Fair enough. But, and, and secondly, and, and kind of uh, important here is that you say that by denying that things begin to exist, I deny that things exist. I would rather yes. frame it as saying something like um, the, the limits of an object, and for people who are listening, what I mean by that are, are the boundaries of the thing, the thing that make it that thing as opposed to something else, right? The... The, the definitional boundary that you put around that thing is not a property of the thing, but a property of us in a way, right? So it, it, it does exist conceptually. So I can make sense of saying, here is, here is a book. Um, but what I'm saying is that my, my calling this a book and my saying that this has boundaries such that this is a book and this other thing over here is not that book is, is a product of my mind. Right. Um, but but it's it's like it does conceptually exist. However, the actual boundary itself is is an arbitrary. Right. It's one. a it's a mind dependent yes. reality. Like it, 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 that's why it, I said it, this is a sort of anti realism that ah, okay. I'm extremely implausible. It, you're you're saying that you construct reality by imagining these boundaries, but these are not mind independent realities. If there were no people there would be no books and planets and galaxies and stars. Right, yeah, it, it's, a, it's so a strange line things. of thought. Um, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would say, I would say that uh, calling it something like anti-realism might be misleading because of the fact that I wouldn't say that nothing exists independent of the mind, right? I'm not saying that 
things existing or, 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 or rather, you know, existence is a product of the mind. What I'm saying is that categorizing that which exists into independent objects is a product of the mind, right? Right, except for fundamental Except for fundamental particles, particles, which themselves began at the beginning of the universe. Now, is Those it, would be the only mind-independent realities on this myriological nihilist view that we just conceptually set boundaries to things and so construct the world of objects around us. Yeah, I think one thing I've learned is 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 how radical the view is that I that I hold because I think you're probably right in the implications and I hadn't considered them to the fullest extent before that if I'm going to say something like um, things only begin to exist as a, as a rearrangement of pre-existing matter and the beginning to exist is a is an arbitrary metrically put on it that the only thing that exists uh, definitionally as an independent object mind independently are fundamental particles and everything else that exists uh, as kind of individual, individually discernible objects, are mind dependent, which is a, which yeah. is a really interesting radical implication of my view that I'll that I'll I'll, I'll give some thought and and for my listeners I'll I'll try and write an explication yeah. on that on that view. Um, so if you do take that view, yeah. the, the sort of ideological nihilism, then um, you're right. We wouldn't have any inductive examples of things that begin to exist. Right. The first premise would still be true that whatever begins to exist has a cause, but we wouldn't have any examples of things that begin to exist other than these fundamental particles. We still got all of those to deal with, and that's fine, but you wouldn't be able to, as you say, appeal to your common experience on this view. Yeah, so so this is so why... So that's, that's a fair point. And, and this is why I thought it begged the question. Battling backyard vegetation? That's an innovation. No, Take that out of way. The question um, yeah, no, was because, and, and I guess the, the implications are more radical now that I think about it, but the reasoning I was thinking of was, well, if the only thing that ever really began to exist uh, was yeah. the universe, then, as you say, the, the first premise, although it doesn't become the conclusion, it means that the only kind of, the only thing which begins to exist is the universe. So when we say everything that begins to exist has a cause, the only example we can think of is the universe. And so by saying the first premise, you're essentially believing that because you believe the universe has a cause. Oh, no, no. I, I, now, now there, I think that's a mistake, Alex. Okay. I have actually okay. reformulated the Kalam cosmological argument to make it more modest by rephrasing the first premise in the following way. If the universe began to exist, then the universe has a cause. Second premise, the universe began to exist, therefore the universe has a cause. So that statement of the oh, argument okay, would be fully in line with muriological nihilism. Yeah. If the universe began to exist, then the universe has a cause. Mm -hmm. Or if the fundamental particles began to exist, then they have a cause, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So yeah. it would just mean that uh, it's not begging the question. Uh, it would just mean that your own, you, you couldn't use this sort of inductive argument that I appealed to. Quite, thirdly. quite right. Uh, as you point out in your, yeah, in your series about uh, objections and about the objection of circularity in particular, you say, well, arguments don't beg the question, people beg the question, right? Yeah. And so I, I would agree with you that if you reformulate the Kalam, or even if you keep it in the original form but use a different justification, you're not begging the question. Um, my, my essay right. was just trying to make the point that if you justify it in that inductive manner, it seems to me that you're yeah. begging the question. Um, well, I, I'll agree with you that the inductive argument wouldn't work if you have this kind of muriological right. nihilism. And then I would fall back on the two metaphysical arguments, which for me are the most important, as opposed to the inductive argument. So the... The kind of other justification that you might give, and the one that I found really interesting, yeah, really uh, was focused. saying if things can come into existence out of nothing, um, game, that is, if you deny the first premise, then, then why doesn't it happen all the time, right? Why don't things begin to exist out of nothing all the time? Now, my first thought was to say, how do we know that they don't, right? Because it, to to come into being out of nothing. <laughs> would surely imply coming coming into existence not within the universe, because everything in the universe is not nothing, as we've said. And so to come into being out of nothing, it would have to somehow come into being outside of the universe, and therefore we wouldn't observe it. So maybe it is happening all the time, 
but we wouldn't be able to observe it by definition. Yeah. Here, I think you're making the same mistake that we talked about earlier when you spoke of the horse coming into being in the living room. Yeah. Thinking that therefore it's not out of nothing. And what I explained there was that I'm saying uh, without an efficient cause. That's what I mean by out of nothing. Um, so if things could come into being without an efficient cause, it seems inexplicable why things aren't just popping into existence all around us, things of different sorts, because they don't need efficient causes to bring them into being. This was an argument that A.N. Pryor uh, yeah. developed, and I found it just completely convincing. So um, let, let me, uh, how, how can I, how can I put this? Um, a horse, how about an argument like this? Now, I've, I've, I've heard what I think might be this kind of line of argumentation from you before, but I don't want to put words in your mouth. So if someone were to say something like, and it, it seems absurd on the surface, but if they said something like, well, what if it's the case that universes are the only thing which can come into being out of nothing, right? It, it, a horse can't come into being out of nothing, but but there's something about the universe. And we already know that the universe is a special kind of something compared to everything within the universe. It, it seems to kind of have the... We, we need to think about it in a different way. Yeah. yeah. Could we not say something like, well, maybe things do come into being all the time, except the only thing that can come into being out of nothing is a universe, and therefore we wouldn't be able to observe it. Um, no damn yeah. As Anne Pryor said, prior to its existence, the universe doesn't oh, exist God. so as to constrain what can yeah. come into being or not. Yeah. So you can't say that yeah. only yeah. things yeah. of a certain <laughs> kind can come into being without efficient causes because you know, without their causes, there just isn't anything to constrain it. Uh, so I don't think that you can say that only certain kinds of things can come into being without efficient causes. Yeah. Now, the argument that I didn't want to put it in your mouth was one that I've heard elsewhere. If people would say the argument that the reason you can't say that only universes can, can come into being out of nothing is because nothing doesn't have any properties and so therefore can't have a kind of preference for universes over other things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my my response to that was to say, what if the what if the, the the necessity of it being a universe is not a property of the nothing, but a property of the thing? And and let me explain myself. If, for example, um, if we human beings create a circle, it has to be round, right? We can't create a square circle. Right. But that's not due to a property of us. That's due to a property of the circle, right? Um, yeah. So in the same way, although nothing has no properties and so can't prefer universes, what if it can only, what, what if only universes can come from nothing because of a property of the universe, not because of a property of nothing? Right. That's, that is exactly what you would have to say, because yeah. as you say, properties only inhere in existing things. Beings have well, properties, not non-being. Yeah. So you'd actually, it's an inherent property of the universe that it can spring into existence without a cause and I <laughs> just can't that I, I, which sounds absurd something that doesn't exist come into existence without a cause because it has a property after it's <laughs> into existence yeah i, I mean I, it uh, sounds strange but the, the, the reason why i think it, it, it's useful to think in in those terms or at least of, of the possibility of it happening is because Specifically the objection that why don't things pop into existence all the time? I suppose what I'm trying mm -hmm. to do is make a, at least a far-fetched case. I, I'm trying to show at least a, yeah. a possibility that things could come ah. into existence out of nothing and yet by definition we'd be incapable of, of witnessing it. So maybe things do come into existence out of nothing all the time, but because these are only universes, we'll never be able to observe it, we'll yeah. never be able to see oh. it. Let, let me commend you for your method, Alex. Because by pushing these questions, what you help the atheist to see is the intellectual price tag yes. of his atheism. And I think that's very valuable. You, you, one of the goals of the Christian apologist 
will be to try to raise the intellectual price tag what? of non-belief. And if huh. non-belief or non-theism requires me to be a neurological ne nihilist, to uh, think that things have an intrinsic property that they can come into being that other things don't have, this is all raising the intellectual price tag of non-belief. For me, at least, Alex, just way, way beyond what I'm willing to pay. <laughs> that, and so that's helpful that you're doing this. That, that is a really, really interesting way of thinking about apologetics and, and the argument that we're having. is kind of like, you know, what's the better deal here, right? Because both worldviews seem at least consistent, but you've got to ask yourself, you know, how much you're willing to sacrifice of your intuitions, how much you're willing to sacrifice of the beliefs that you um, think are true in order to, to hold to those conclusions. And, and the key point is taking taking the justifications that we're giving and showing what they lead to, right? Because a lot of people consider, well, this argument may allow this to be the case, but they don't think that if you accept that justification, it can also lead over here and you don't want that, right? And so I think no, um, okay. this demonstrates, this discussion has demonstrated no, that, that every time you think of a justification for a point you're trying to raise, you have to consider the implications of that justification yeah. and, the, and the other yeah. areas of philosophy it causes you to Absolutely. sacrifice. That, that's, a, that's a really, really fascinating um, way of thinking about it. And I think, it, I think it's a great place to end, uh, end this conversation. Yes. I, I, Thank I mean, you so much for having me on today. This has been an unexpectedly rich and uh, thought-provoking conversation, and I, I really enjoyed it. That, that's really wonderful to hear because uh, I, I remember kind of wanting to have you on and, and um, I didn't tell anybody uh, that this will, this will be released without my, my followers knowing before it happened but if I did tell them they'd probably be saying go and yeah go and go and debate him go and go and show him what's what and, 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 and it's like <laughs> I, would never, <laughs> I would never dream of trying to do that with someone of, of, of your caliber uh, of, your, of your caliber so I just wanted to kind of ask questions um, so I'm, I'm glad to hear that it, that it that it's kind of led to this kind of conversation, especially it's, it's gone in directions I didn't think it would go in. Um, but it has been fascinating. And I think that it's definitely going to yeah. lead for some follow up um, points that I want to make. So anybody listening to this, there's a good chance I'll, I'll do some kind of video or some kind of essay on some of the points that we've covered, because there's it's just so many things flowing out of, of, of uh, it, so many implications flowing out of what we've, what we've spoken about. But um, I, as, as I say, uh, listeners, just just I hope that you found this to be useful. I hope that it, it's good to listen to a wow, conversation geez. about something like the Kalam that isn't in a debate format, um, because it may be the case that you've never done so before. And I hope this is of use. Do leave comments uh, if, if you have any kind of reactions to the, the stuff we've been talking about it. Anyway, not sure if you want to be the Slime King, though. Now, you've, now that you've slain the Slime King, you can take his crown and assume his throne. Uh, no, but I can ride a slime. Pause. I can ride a slime. You can ride a slime now, Josh. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna be riding that slime. <laughs> That was a really good video. No, it's a sleep. Yeah. You can't. Stuff gets complicated, but I'm learning it. Yeah, no. Gotta stay sharp. Gotta stay sharp. Can't be playing with these fools. Why are we still playing kosher tack? Oh no, man. Take this to the judge. All the way to the courthouse. Eventually, she can take kosher tax. 
country ocean mate country went to war with I don't know what you're That's talking it. about. You're just mumbling in the funk. You ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Let me do my Oh, God. He put the headphones on. No, I took him out. I think it's a. There you go. Yeah. Now we can yeah, hear you better. Took I said, uh, That's my angle. I'm going to say, I'm a veteran. And we've been to war with all of these companies to making this brand with the U on it and I don't want to eat it and I'm gonna tell you take the U off the it. food no it's kosher I don't want to be kosher what I don't, don't want to pay the kosher tax don't buy it then no I want to buy it I don't want to pay the kosher tax <laughs> well then don't eat kosher everything kosher so you can't not buy it. They do dude did a um experiment and he almost died trying not to buy kosher goods out of a grocery store. He I called call, in on, I call bull crap. No, Hank he he called in to Hank and told it to Hank. I don't care Somebody if some random person called Hank and said that they died trying no. to not eat kosher food. That's retarded because all fruits and vegetables uh are already are already what, he, I, 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 I don't What'd know what say? I'm talking about. He died trying. To, he died trying to eat. I'm echoing. He died trying to eat only non-kosher food. You can survive off of non-kosher food very easily. Not in the grocery store. No, it sounds like he was just not uh probably trolling. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. It was an experiment. It wasn't him. It was an experiment that somebody did online. You can look it up. Look up the kosher diet experiment. All right. I'm looking. Kosher diet experiment. You think I'll just be taking one dude's word for it to call it into a show? Some man did this and argued about the same thing I argued about way back. And I think it was Mark that called in and brought it to Hank's attention about the man that did this. Because Mark said, yeah, I don't like Jews yeah. when me and Mark was on the phone. Sounds like bullcrap. Well, in this study, 50, 50 participants were interviewed to determine whether they consume pork, shellfish, separated meat, and dairy, purchased products with her. Yeah, tell me, why don't you tell me what kosher means? Wait a minute. Do you see what I'm talking about? No. No. That's not the one then. No. No. <laughs> I looked up that's kosher diet. I looked up kosher diet experiment. Probably because that's stupid and it's not a real thing. You believe some random dumbass caller no, on a show. And you think that's that good. you think they said something deep. They said I did an experiment where I tried to and, it kosher, and well, I almost starved to death. Problem. That's stupid. Uh -uh. What are the what are no. the what are the kosher laws? What's what can you not eat if you're eating kosher? It ain't what you can't eat is how it's prepared, no. transport. No, packed. that's not true. We've been over this a thousand times. We've been over this a thousand I know times. It's stupid. Kosher is it's not stupid. a blessing. Kosher is not a blessing. I didn't say put, it was a blessing. I did not food. say it was a fucking blessing. Okay, Where so did what you are get the, from? What are the kosher laws? I Tell say it's, it's, it has to do with the way it's transported, no. packaged. No. You say no and don't even know what the fuck kosher means. Because you're wrong. Yeah, I do know what kosher means. Right. Nothing with All a right. cloven hook. Meat and dairy has to be separated. No shellfish and no, um, I believe it's birds of prey. Uh, yeah, and it's more separate, than that. Every separate machine, meat and dairy. No, every machine that touches it we've has done to be. This, we've oh. done this argument a thousand times, and you still because you're stupid. That's how stupid no, it's because you're right? bad faith. It's because you're bad faith. Why don't you look up the definition of kosher? Kosher is a term used That's to describe that. foods that comply with dietary guidelines set by traditional Jewish law. Look up the how way they consume, you how they look, must be look. produced, processed, and prepared. All of that, yes. Produced, processed, prepared, transported, uh -huh. all of that. So, therefore, 
your food cannot only be um it ain't about how it's fucking made it's also about how it's transported how the factories make it they have to fucking be certified companies so it ain't about the food period it's about the process of has um all of the fucking the rules of kosher called? define what a jewish person is allowed to eat how they must prepare certain foods and what foods they are allowed to combine with other foods the laws divide and it foods has in, to do with the whole transportation I, I, I'm, I'm reading the definition oh right okay now. i didn't know you was reading i thought you were just talking separating meat and dairy Pareve foods are considered neutral, so a person combine these with meat or dairy. Yeah, the preparation is for meat to be considered kosher, a person needs to slaughter in a specific manner. When you're talking about meat in preparation, you're talking about aluminum foil. It's about how you slaughter the meat. No, I'm not. Least least amount of suffering. Um and then foods to avoid. No seafood, no meat. From pigs, rabbits, squirrels, camels, kangaroos, and horses are not suitable or clothed, clothed in hooves. No animal hindquarters, no bird, certain birds of prey or scavenging birds. So you can eat chicken, you can eat turkey. Uh, no insects, no seafood with things that have fa- fins, scales, shrimp, lobster, crab, oysters. <clears throat> so all fruit and vegetables are automatically kosher. Um, any beef is kosher. Steak is kosher. Um, chicken is kosher. Turkey is kosher. So how are you going to starve? You you can eat fruits, vegetables, and cows. How are you going to survive? Listen to And chickens. The rules of car- and right. fish, as long as they're not shellfish. Or... You, ready, you ready to let me talk? Go ahead. The rules of kosher extend beyond ingredients and products. Non-kosher bulk products transported in otherwise kosher vessels will usually render the cargo in hand non-kosher for this reason. Trucks or other reusable containers used to transport kosher products need to be approved by the authority of the kosher body. Trucks, period, has to be kosher. It ain't just food. Right. This is some this is some new stuff that you don't like. No, it's not. Stuff, no, that has it's nothing not. to do with kosher. Oh, so tell me yes. what verse... Tell me what verse in the Bible where it's given Jews their dietary laws. Tell me which verse that says trucks have to transport the food properly. I can't use aluminum foil. What verse, the of, the Bi- what verse of the Bible is that? Kosher certi- the kosher certi- uh, certification business. They the ones that what verse make of the, the Bible? What verse of Deuteronomy or Leviticus? Exactly. It's talking about so tell Jewish them to dietary take it off. laws. Exactly. So tell them to take it off your food. Because that's what they're doing. They're using the trucks, and only they got the monopoly on all the businesses. So they only use their own products, machines, businesses to make the stuff. It ain't got nothing to do with the food. It's about all the transportation and all the businesses. We've done this. No, you don't even know We've done this a thousand times. No, no, you don't even know what kosher means. I just read to you what kosher means. We've done this a thousand times. You ain't said nothing about transportation. We've done this a thousand times. We've been been through all this this is this no, new age kosher no, stuff that they're using no. to tax people i get why you're mad about that but that has nothing to do with what kosher this ain't is. even new this is old as hell shut your ass okay well you find me in the verse in the bible where it talks about aluminum foil and what trucks will uh ship the food and then tell me about what kosher laws are it's the same thing with zionism you you modernize things and you change definitions and you control words and you say, oh, you're a Zionist because you support Israel nation state. No, dumbass. If you believe in the God of Zion, you're a Zionist. We're all Muslims, Christians, Jews, Catholics, Orthodox. We're all Zionists. And that ain't what it and means. It's the same thing that they've done with this, this kosher tax. That's the white talking about trucks and aluminum foil. Ain't nothing in the Bible about no trucks and aluminum foil. Yeah, it ain't got to be, but they made a monopoly out of it. Okay, but that's not what kosher is. That's not what kosher is. Yeah, it is. is. No, it's well, not. they made a monopoly out of it. Okay. Why is it on your food? Why is it on your? Why is you stamped on everything in your refrigerator? I don't know. I buy the cheap stuff, so I don't have it. Yeah. Uh, so you don't know why. Yeah. Your echo, I'm gonna mute you. Yeah, oh, you ain't echoing. Hold on. You echoing like a mug. Yeah, all that stuff's kosher. 
Anyway, I'm not trying to do the kosher arg tax argument with you. This is played out. And it uh, ain't. As soon as it, as soon as it break down and that job, you're gonna be like, yeah, it, it played yeah, out. It was played out a hundred years ago. Yeah, right. It wasn't even no Israel a hundred years ago, lying ass. Played out argument. There's been an Israel, a nation of Israel since way. Before. No, it ain't. Yeah. No, it ain't. Yeah, it ain't. Yeah, it ain't. Yeah, it ain't. Well, yeah. Give me the coordinates. It's okay. You don't know what nation means either. Oh, it ain't got no coordinates. It's okay. You don't know what nation means either. Well, where was they Shabbat Goys lo located at? They, I don't know. they Shabbat Goys had to have. All right, nation, all right, right, all right, all right. We're not doing this. So, <laughs> no, nah, I'm tired of the it's same history, retarded bro. ass played ass played out. It's his history, bro. I know. Don't get mad when you. I know, you, you, ain't got I know no you hate the Jews. You hate the Jews. I know. Don't get mad when you ain't got no answers. It's history, bro. It's okay. Just history. Okay. 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 All right. Quit getting mad. We know how you get. I'm not mad. I just don't want to talk about the same shit that we've been talking about for three years, every single you multiple times a week. The same stuff. Because you refuse to open a book. No, you refuse. You just learned out the culture had to do with to stop being hateful. Like, You're just looking everybody, for everybody to gives Josh a round of applause. He learned that culture had to do with transportation tonight. Uh no, I didn't. Now already, he wants to look already, in the Bible. We've already been through this a hundred times. No, you didn't. No, I just read to you the kosher laws. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No cloven no, hooks, no birds of prey, no shellfish. We're not talking about no the food you put your mouth, dairy, No mixing beef and dairy. No, uh, the animals have to be killed in the most humane way possible. Those are the kosher laws. That's kosher laws. That's biblical. Yeah, so you care. think all I don't care about aluminum world. foil and truck transporting and all that. Crap. Less than one percent of the population controls all the food. Make sure it's kosher. I got you. Okay, that, that makes sense. Keep all right. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I don't care. I think it's a stupid. I know. It's just a say stupid, you're a cheat. Stupid thing to be upset. Just say, about. just say I don't care. You sound like that. Just say I'm a cheat. That stuff don't matter. I'm gonna vote on the policies that it matter today. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. You're really not. You're don't not care getting hurt about taxes. You can buy stuff that isn't kosher. You have that. Oh, you have that you're defeating. You're defeating the purpose of wanting your taxes lower. You might as well say they can raise the taxes on your food to pay the immigrants. You wouldn't care. Huh? Oh, how do they pay for so many illegals to control the vote? They control the food. Okay, Freddie. Freddie, you're not saying anything deep or like smart, or like clever. Yeah, all right. I know just because you ain't think of it, right? Mm-hmm. So no, lame. Just because what you're saying is dumb. Yeah, tax, I'm the sure. Kosher tax, the kosher tax. It's a cool thing. Interesting. Uh, no, it two ain't years a cool ago, thing. It got, it What's got cool? Played, What's cool about it? It got played What's out cool two years it? ago. You said it's a cool thing. What's cool about it? I'm saying it's a cool thing that you came up. It's a cool little little conspiracy theory that you're. From the time I start talking about it, this is a boiling point. From yeah, but get some yeah, new material. Yeah. Ain't we talking about it now? It's played out. Mm -mm. It's, it's just now out. coming to fruition. No, it's played out. Ain't coming. To no, no me talking about it every day. Probably got the internet ain't talking about it. No fruitation. Yeah, pretty much. You don't have to buy. I talked about food. it before Kanye talked you know, about it. Everybody do you know? All you have to do is read the label. Read the uh -huh. label. Read the label. Don't buy the stuff. With the, they put a they put a symbol on there right in front of your fucking face. It's right there on the bottle. Just don't buy it. It's that easy. Hey, all right, Josh. Yeah, it's that easy. Wait, wait, wait. Till, in right. fact, it's so easy that you came up with this crazy theory because you found these symbols on the bottles, or somebody told you about it. And now you know that the symbol's on the bottle, but you still bitch about having to buy kosher food, even though you know how to identify the kosher food at the store. Sounds retarded. I gotta, I gotta, I sounds, gotta take, sounds like a retarded thing to cry about. I got to take food steps out of the poor white's mouth to buy so my groceries so I ain't got to buy the kosher tax, and that's not good. Huh? 
So that's not good. Oh, here we go. And now I'm taking the food stamps to here avoid paying the kosher tax. Here we go. That is crazy. That is crazy. This guy is crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. He's crazy. Oh. There's a whole conspiracy theory on Wikipedia. I know about the kosher tax. It's such a. That's why I said it's cool. Cool little fun conspiracy theory you thought of, but it's kind of stupid because they print it right there on the bottle and all you have to do is not buy it. It's not like them. It's not like sunscreen causing people skin cancer. It's because they literally print it on the bottle. It'd be like if you said big tobacco has a conspiracy to, to give people cancer with the cigarettes. And it's like, hey, dumbass, it says on the cigarettes, these will cause cancer. <laughs> Your label says that there's a kosher tax on it. Don't buy it. Duh. So if you ate food that says... Uh, if, I ate, if I ate some like aspartame, if I ate some aspartame that had some fake sugar substitute and it gave me cancer, I would sue the hell out of the company and I would say that's a problem. It's a problem that they've convinced us to eat a bunch of carbs and sugars and, and fake sugars and aspartame and saccharin and all this other cancer-causing agents in our food. That is a problem. All right, but let me ask you a question. You're complaining about a kosher tax Floor. when it's on the damn label that it's a My. kosher tax. Floor. If, yeah. If a, if, let me ask Floor a question without Josh Button in. All right. Would you, if you ate, uh, let's say anything, your favorite food, right? But if if it had a label on there that says, um, this product fund fund a military group. That wear a shirt that says one shot, two kills with a pregnant woman on it. And you knew that, but the label, the star on there was on something that you wasn't with the group that's killing the pregnant women, but you had to buy it because that's your food. Would you be mad about it? Upset, you but buy, not mad about it. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Let me make let me make this a little simpler for. If Nazis made mayonnaise, and and they had their mayonnaise said this is Nazi mayonnaise on the label, and then next to it there was another type of mayonnaise that said this is not Nazi mayonnaise. No, it ain't no. Would another you type bitch of about the Nazi mayonnaise? <laughs> it ain't no another type or of mayonnaise. Or just not buy it. I mean, I just wouldn't buy it. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't no another type of mayonnaise. That's kind of a. Uh, but see, All the, the so, mayonnaise. Actually, in a that's, store. A, that's actually a good it's comparison. Pretty much probably, yeah. That's actually a great comparison yeah. because a lot of people are going to complain and say, why do the Nazis. No. You try to hold, on, hold on. Hold on. To hold on. That no. Stop. Floor, get the echo. Come on, man. I can't talk. Oh, anymore. hold on. Let me go. You try to compare it to cigarettes no, no. that's bad for you, like a Surgeon General. No, no, no. But that, it ain't that, a Surgeon General. Stop, stop. Let me make my point. That last one was perfect. You just made your point and it was wrong. Stop. It ain't like tobacco because tobacco's stop. harming Freddy, you. I'm going to mute you if you It's don't not me. like tobacco because right, tobacco's you. harming you. I'm going to mute you since you won't let me finish Just say my you thought. misspoke. Just okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute him for a second because he won't let me finish my thought. So it's actually a perfect explanation. So. You could argue if there's a Nazi mayonnaise that a lot of people are going to be like, well, there shouldn't be Nazi mayonnaise on the shelf because the Nazis are bad people. And we don't want bad people mayonnaise on the shelf. So a lot of people just wouldn't buy it, but a lot of people are going to actively try to get it taken off the shelves because they hate the Nazis. Perfect example, right. if there's Jewish mayonnaise 
and then there's not Jewish mayonnaise. A lot of people hate the Everybody Jews. Everybody will buy it. No, a lot of people hate the Jews, so they're going to try to get the Jewish mayonnaise taken off the shelf, which is what Freddie's doing right now. He 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 wants to bitch about the kosher tax, even though the label says that there's a kosher tax on it, and he could just buy the one right next to it that doesn't have the kosher tax. It's a kosher tax on it. You have to do your own fucking research. No, it's a little. You got to actually K. Google it. A little you no, and the you actually, on the it bottle. don't tell you. On it don't tell you what that fucking shit is. It's on the label. It t it tells you that it's a kosher tax. Yeah, you were the K. You're the one who told me that. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. So what? What? How does the bottle tell you? Wait. So let me ask you, you both the question. You told me that there is a symbol yeah, on the bottle. Yeah. But you just said the bottle tells you. Tells you, that you. It has it's on there. It's tax. on the bottle. The bottle tells you. Yeah. But I had to tell you. You told me the that the bottle tells told you. you. Yes. Nah, shut up, Josh. Yes. You sound stupid. You told me that the bottle tells you, and then I looked at the bottle. Yeah, you got to do oh, your own right. fucking research. Oh, he's basically. right. He's complaining if somebody about, don't tell he's you, complaining you about won't something know. that's on the if label. If somebody don't tell you, you won't know, period. It ain't right there on the bottle for you to choose. Because I don't, don't care. say it right there on the bottle. I buy the cheap stuff You do. Anyway. You put out bad information. You lying. No, I'm not. It's right there on the bottom. You can pick and choose it. No, it's a fucking star. Okay. Or I'm, you with a circle right, on I'm it. Gonna... You're being redundant. You're being ridiculous. You're being so the the kosher tax it goes directly to the Jewish community. Does it? I don't know where. It I is. mean, for what I'm reading, it has to do with the Jewish community. Is this called the kosher tax or the Jewish tax? Yeah, it's a conspiracy that theory that will actually get uh my could actually get my channel taken down, which is why Freddie likes to bring it up all the time, constantly, because he knows. He knows it's a conspiracy so it's, theory it's, that anti it's not even a fact. Jewish hate. It's just a theory? No, it's a it's it's real that they they have kosher they have kosher approved foods and so they they put the label on it. On the label, they'll have a little symbol that says this is kosher. So the Jewish people can go in the store and they can buy food and they can know that it's kosher. But this, this uh, certification process costs money. So somebody's got to pay for it. Somebody's got to pay for Walmart and the stores and the shipping companies and all this other stuff. Somebody's got to pay for that. So they, they add a little extra tax onto the kosher products. So you pay a little extra if you buy kosher products. The thing is, most people don't know that what they're buying is kosher and that it costs a little extra because it's kosher. So anyway, and this is like an anti-Semitic thing that the people who hate the Jews like to bring up is the kosher tax. The dumbasses can't figure out that all you got to do is just not buy the stuff with the kosher tax on it. The cheap stuff. But what's so wrong? What what's so wrong also about buying them if the Jew if if that's because something hates, that because he hates the Jews. He hates Jewish people. Who is he? Freddie. Oh wait, so. How long have you been talking to Freddie? You don't have to figure that out yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? I never noticed. What do you mean you never noticed? That's all he ever talks about is how much he hates the Jews. Well, let's let's say that whenever he's ranting about his ideals, I don't understand like 80% of it. But no, I never had the perception that he hates the Jews. Yeah, why do you think he's, he's all about Egyptian and pharaohs and all that stuff? Because they enslaved the Jews. He doesn't oh believe. Oh my God. He, didn't, he doesn't believe they enslaved the Jews, but he, he uh, Freddie, you're on mute because you're being, uh, annoying. You're bothering me. <laughs> Only devils no get way. bothered. Everything I just said was right, right? Only devils get bothered. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, for real. Yeah. Wait, no Freddie, so you hate. No, you know better you than acting him? up, acting a fool, trying to get my, man, my show Whatever, pants. man. 
Food trying- price is higher than they ever been. That's what everybody cry about. It. All right. Price don't food. don't blame uh don't blame Babies the Democrats. Five, nine. Don't blame no. the Democrats. Blame the Jews no. for the kosher tax, which you could avoid. You could just buy stuff. You can't. Kosher. If they raise the if they raise their price, what you think the next people with the uh, generic shit right beside them gonna do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are gonna raise theirs right along with them. Uh, oh, we're gonna raise ours. Okay, 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 I, I can't. I can't keep uh, like. You're getting to that point. Yeah, it, it makes too much sense. It makes too much sense. No, I'm sorry. No, you're, you're Yeah, just, I know. You're just nah. Price of food ain't high, y'all. Oh how, yeah. How high is. is the price of food? It sure is. But I mean, if we think about it before the pandemic, the food was pretty much the same. And yeah. it went up. And now right it's after. gonna stay high. It ain't That's going down. I know. But it's normal, yeah. Freddie. The country true. stopped for two yeah. years. But what mm-hmm. you just said is it, always we had to pay them farmers. Not it's not even close yeah. to true. You could get a carton of bags you for know. <laughs> less than two dollars before the pandemic. Now it's seven dollars. What are you talking about? I the mean, food, but this uh, is not the first prices part are probably that up 300 eggs went back pandemic. down. Eggs ain't seven dollars. Okay, no but let me let me ask you then. Why every single time throughout history that we have a pandemic, inflation happens? Because you got to pay for the people and all this other money. Once you spend money, you got to get it back. You raise the inflation and interest rates go up and you get your money back that you gave out because people during the recession, you got to bail them out. Companies, what whoever pandemic, the fuck they what are. What pandemic did the Great Depression happen, happen after? Nope. Yep pandemic it is Wait, a pandemic mean- it's a recession it was she a- said every pandemic hold on what were you saying josh you said every pandemic brings inflation afterwards that makes sense she said recession but- i thought she said recession she said every no pandemic- if you look up if you look it up you will for example look up the i don't know how to say it in english bublonic plague bublonic plague uh-huh now look they had the Spanish. But uh, what was the Spanish? But what's the uh, what's the argument? My my argument is that the the Democrats who did the the pandemic, the quote unquote pandemic. What did the Democrats do it? <laughs> you know they were behind it. Come on now. Trump was well, in office. Well, what I'm well, okay, so you bought the vaccine in the plan. What you know that doing? whole the whole shutdown of the country, the whole oh, everything, God. the blowing it out. Oh, now you trying to get yourself shut down. You know better to talk about this shit. You're the one who brought all this stuff up. So you know me. No, I didn't you know, either. He you, brought it up. I didn't bring it up. You're trying to get me. What banned. I'm trying what I'm trying to say no, is didn't. that it, it it's I don't believe that it's like this specific one, well, I don't know. Maybe this is gonna sound a little bit dumb, but every single government or whoever was in charge at the time of every pandemic has done the same thing, right? So I don't think it's just like this is specific. Um, what's it called? What's the name in English? This is specific government. This is specific government. Um, it's not different as previously throughout hundreds of years so it's just how economy works no there's no because pretty no no listen listen hold on before you two before you two cut my neck hold on just before i get my neck cut off is this is just coming from what originally we were talking about which it was freddy uh, no original, original, but it comes from what you were just saying a little while ago, Freddie. You were saying like, oh, then why did all the food went up and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't think it's kosher tax. You know, I think that it's just what it has been done on every single pandemic. That's that's what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah. The pandemic being over with. I think the pandemic might have influenced it a little bit, but uh, that pandemic it was, should have went back down. That was definitely a pandemic and... A lot of oh, sure. and a lot of elites were behind that, and they wanted the inflation. They wanted the reduced population. They wanted to destroy people's lives. That's all part of the plan. And all right, all right. So it's all a right. it's a false pandemic, which means it's a artificial inflation. The prices aren't up because of the Jews. The prices are up because of damn bad politicians and bad government. Inflation's going back down. 
Gas prices going down. Oh my back goodness, down. I can't believe I what just lower, just said about raise. you, Freddie. I don't want to believe it, but the more you talk about it, I do. No, I, I got a lower raise this year than I, I did last what, year because inflation. I don't, what, I don't know what you're talking about, Flo. We've been through this. What? I don't. What are you talking about? I never noticed it. What do you I mean? don't hate nobody. What do you, mean you never I just, I don't hate nobody. She know I got a loving spirit and it don't seem no, like you... I hate her. I just got a I just got a Maybe you uh, don't hate a, Maybe you don't hate an individual about, but about you hate people, people uplifting. No, I just like I'm right I'm waking up the dead is what I'm doing. Cuz a lot of people sleep to what they really up to. So huh? it's just waking the dead. Yeah, a lot of people ain't aware. And once people start waking up and realizing what that's really on their food that they ain't talking about shit, it'd be more. I thought it'd every more. time he was saying kosher tax, I thought it was just like a regular tax from the government the entire time. And now that I. It's a tax from the it, government, all right. From the this, Federal Reserve. This, like. It, it, this really blows my mind because we've we've talked about this with you listening on the call. Like a thousand fucking times. I'm no, not. Even, I'm ain't. not exaggerating. No, like a thousand times we've been through this. No, we ain't, Flo. We ain't. We've, that we've went times. through. We've went through the, what kosher means. The kosher laws. He never um, got it through his mind what kosher means, though. We. That's we've why we this, always let it go. We've done like, the same you guys exact have said conversation it. so many times. No, you guys have said it so many times, no, but you guys never specify what is it. it. You guys will this always debate about it, but you guys. They usually never... block me, and we never every... get this far. Like, no, you trying to dox me? All everything I've, everything I just read, I've read. The, the page that I just because read is you go to the same shit every time. Freddie, Freddie doesn't realize that I have a folder right now that says kosher tax. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. I got bookmarks this and lists. so Look, silly. Bookmarks and lists. Mm. I have a folder that says past floor. research. I have past research Pull up, folder. Floor. Chris floor. is not pagan. CBDC into in, info. Cosmological argument. Floor. Kosher tax. Floor. Dang old, uh, Look up. Look up what it takes to get a everything I've ever talked about. I have folders for it. Look up to see what it takes to get a kosher certification. That's what it means to be kosher, not just the way you cut food. It, what it takes to get a kosher certificate is what it takes to mean but I don't to, care. to make a kosher product. I know you don't care. It's I don't, the way the fuck I don't I care what their modern what their modern kosher tax modern is. kosher. Yeah, I know you don't. I care what kosher means. What, yeah, all right. But to be kosher, what, what I don't mind, see, what I don't see now that I understand what yeah, it is, look what it I don't up. see is like, look it up. Why you gonna be amazed? Why I gotta pay for it, and I'm not eating kosher food. Why they gotta put it on all the food that they? Why can't they put their own shit on their own shit? But you're willing, but you're willing to maintain this one percent that you hate so much, like the elites. No, you, I'm not. Are, what do you mean? If it's a monopoly, I mean, is what so you, you is I what just they saw get the charged other with. Day, no, they I already got. The they already day, got fine. No, but I just saw you the other day going through some uh, fast food place. You buy the food and you're just feeding somebody else and making them billionaires. I don't understand what's the difference between paying kosher tax. I mean, it's because um the kosher tax is like no, they'll come into your business and say, put this stamp on her. I'm gonna look through your shit and we'll buy your stuff. We like your food, but we're not gonna do it until you pay us to give you this stamp for us to buy your food. Now let me see your ingredients. Take this out. Simp take the sugars. Trade it with sucrose. Okay, now you're kosher. You get our stamp, and we'll buy your stuff. Until then, yeah, it don't get it don't get on the shelves at all, or transferred in the same truck or none of that. Trading sugar out for sucrose has nothing to do with kosher. Look at Coca Cola and what they had to do. Coca Cola went kosher. They had to take sugar out of their Coca Cola for sucrose, and they now they kosher. They had to change their ingredient. They wouldn't well, give it. Well, you know more. what? If it Look wouldn't it been them, somebody else would have done it. That's just smart. Oh what they're doing gosh. is smart. Yeah, they oh just got yeah. Come white, on, they, they, white, gotta... white sugar is kosher and is perfectly safe for consumption. 
White sugar. Look up what Coca Cola had to do. So if you wouldn't have the opportunity in your hands of doing that, Freddie, you wouldn't do you you wouldn't do such a great idea. Oh, it's all good. Y'all can stay blind to basically it. Basically, Y'all gonna be like, damn, now we paying our debt down. Yeah, they can pay our debt down. Coca-Cola made the switch from cane sugar to high fructose corn syrup in the 1980s due to the lower cost of current corn syrup. This change was primarily driven by economic factors as high fructose corn syrup was more readily available and less expensive. Is that what they told y'all? You, right, you told me to look it up. You told me to look it up. So when I look it up, up in the first, that's what the first thing it tells me is don't complain about how I looked it up. Yeah, because you ain't put the word Jew in there not once. <laughs> oh, so you want me to you want me to make a, a more specific That's what the fuck we was talking about. You want me to make a more specific uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Up, well, I'm sure shut I'm up. sure I could say shut the up. aliens. I'm sure shut if I typed up. in aliens no, made Coca Cola remove yeah. sugar and I'm Yeah, sure Josh, I'm up. sure. Shut up. Aliens made so Coca Cola remove no. sugar. And I bet you I find some random person on the internet that says Josh, so stupid. Alien soft drinks could invade. Sugar Rush, how Mexicans' <laughs> addiction to fizzy drinks fueled <laughs> removal of cocaine. Oh, sugar reduction. Why do soft drinks like Coke need 10 teaspoons of how sugar? How Coca Cola became kosher. That's I just evil. can't believe this. Oh, like my oh, mind is still exploding. Somebody needs to Freddy, teach what? Freddy how to use a search engine because if you search, yeah, it, look at it, look it up. The document Freddy, is compliant so with is, is it that you just hate? Is it that you just affidavit certifying that glycerin used in special batches of coke syrup came from cottonseed oil? With this evidence in hand, Giffen issued a tissue ruling in 1935 that reformulated Coke did indeed meet Jewish dietary requirements. Yeah, but I you, just, you, I'm reading the, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm reading the same thing you just read right now. But, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. Yes, I am. The top document no, is compliance with kosher requirements. Coke collected affidavit certifying the glycerin used in special batches of Coke syrup came from cottonseed oil. With this evidence in hand, Geffen issued a Shuva ruling in 1935 that reformulated Coke did indeed meet Jewish dietary requirements. I just I'm controversy on... erupted again in 1950 when Rabbi discovered that the vegetable derived glycerin used to make kosher coke traveled through the same piping system used to make non kosher glycerin and Procter and Gamble plant and Procter, Procter and Gamble plant. The concern string stemmed from an import kosher principle known as blanched lateral taste that applies from a materials touched by food and other food ingredients. So they couldn't even use the same pipelines in the transportation. Okay, but they they started yeah. using uh they started using oh. sucrose in the eighties, and this wasn't until nineteen thirty five or eighteen. Wait, when did I? The nineteen fifties. They was already in control of the shit and kept control of it. And rabbis was finding them not in compliance over and over again up until nineteen eighty, where they finally got it satis satisfied. And from their own, they haven't changed it. But yeah, they always been in control. Pretty, of so let me let me ask you something because I gotta go soon. Make the ingredients. Listen, so do you hate compliance. the you hate the whole business no, of the tax, saying, or do you hate, hate the people? He I don't, I get my money for free. I I get my money for free. I'm not being taxed. I'm not. I just can't no believe it. I just what can't believe it. Oh my god! Okay, you gotta go for it because this is. You know, you you're know, both good gotta go. Well. What? No, it's just that it's no, just that I, can... I don't. I don't know if you're. I don't know. If I don't believe that people or... can be that way. No, I just. Yeah, people honestly, can be that way. I can't. Yeah, she believe don't. She that don't people think. Can be no, that way. I don't know if she's yeah. like tired or if she's just. I don't know if you're on like some stupid drugs or something because no, no, I'm I gotta you. go in an in an hour to go and take Flora, a bus. That's why I decided to stay. Or I've said exactly what's being said right now to Freddie a thousand times. We've talked I about because you don't listen. We've talked about this a thousand. It's just times. that I never believed it. I never believed that. I swear, I never because I yeah. I don't. I, don't, knows. I never Stubborn met somebody knows. like you, you that. You know, you mean it's hard to believe that there are anti-Semitic people? 
There are people who no, hate the it Jews. Ain't it ain't anti-Semitic. It ain't anti-Semitic. We, we, we can't anti-Semitic possibly believe it. that there's people out there who hate black people. There's people out there mm-hmm. who hate white people. There's people out no, there who hate Jewish people. Didn't exist. Well, I like yeah, to believe on, that it's that. Yeah, no, no, I, no, I think it's just uh, low IQ yeah. evil. Mm-hmm. Um, is what I would call it. It's just hatred and evil. Yeah, it's just gone. No, no. Listen, let me explain. Let me it's explain. It's generally dumb like, people. I know. No, I know. Listen people. to me. Yeah. Listen the white, to me. the white people who but the cornbread white boys who hate black people and Jews, they're stupid. The black people who hate white people and Jews are stupid. The yeah. No, no, but listen, it is, it's like, I know that those people do exist and stuff, but I just have never, they, like, in my circle, the people that I talk to or, or whatever, you know, like, I like to believe everybody doesn't hate anybody, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Yeah. based on the race, well, you what know, you should, or, or... what you should figure out is that everybody hates everybody and nobody loves anybody. Oh goodness! Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I know, no, right? I I see it more of like I don't know. It's just I like that's kind of a stupid of my side. I always like to believe that people, at least just on race, you know, I understand you, that there's. He's hate been and completely stuff. open about it. this. Is not a secret. <laughs> no, it is a secret because I'm not. I haven't been pushing this for a whole year. Why? I came in. A year and a half ago. That's oh why Floyd ain't you bring, you bring up the kosher tax every single time I talk to you. That's true. No, and I, I don't. now that I bring I, up the Yes, Jews, you maybe. do, Freddie. Every Not single time that we talk, at least it has to be one sentence referred to Reparations, tax. maybe. I don't know about kosher tax. Yeah. Closing the web gap. I'm on that all day. All the time. All the time. Yeah. We've been through this yeah. a thousand times. I've read all these same web pages. Now this this Coke stuff is new. I think that I don't know. I would have to read this whole thing because you're cherry picking. No, I ain't never cherry picking. In the early 1930s, Orthodox rabbi began to receive a steady stream of letters from rabbis asking whether Coca-Cola was kosher. In the 30s. So Coca Cola was headquartered. Stock markets continued gains and different revenue yeah. From- yeah. yeah. But guess oh, what? Yeah. Coke is unhealthy anyway. Oh my God. That's my point exactly. They feed you a lot of bullshit. So you're not going to survive if you, if you can't drink Coke. You're not going to make it. I I'm just saying, if they wanted to take us out, all they got to do is put up whatever. They wanted our food, and them motherfuckers got us. Nobody should have that much access to a whole fucking country's oh food God, supply. No. You talking about a terroristic <laughs> threat? They already talking about never again. If they got access to all the ingredients in your food, man, it ain't coming in no shot. It's gonna come in your baby's milk. It's gonna come in the fucking shit you cook at home, and then next thing you know, yeah, they done killed off a hundred thousand. Recall E. coli on your lettuce and uh, your Betty Crocker flour mix for your cornbread. Sorry, we'll, we'll pay no, for that. How come there's no parf tax? Parf. I'm sure Muslims got their own tax, they got their own. See, Muslims can't eat the uh, Muslims can eat kosher, but Jews can't eat Muslims kosher, they got their own shabal uh, type. Culture. Well, that's it's, smart. That's so yeah, smart. Because, yeah, they like, we'll let y'all have a religion, but we ain't gonna eat y'all shit, but y'all can have y'all own certification business for Muslims and make sure y'all shit is like that, but ain't no Christian food they that found got the their own certification. They found yeah. the loophole and they're, making, they're, yeah, they're killing they, at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. As long as it's aligning before them, you got to go shut down their shit before you come shut down our shit. As long as they like... If you yeah, buy the you name brands, it. it's probably going to be kosher. If you buy the off brands, it's probably not going to be kosher. Most and of the most advertising most of your that great you value brand, your Walmart brand, your, your cheap, not name brand stuff is not kosher. Most of the time. And it's even worse for so you. So you're it's paying... Even- 
you're paying for the higher quality of the Hellmans, the Heinz. Are you really paying which for the I high have quality? Jewish, it's funny, they have Jewish names on the bottle, and he's surprised that they have a kosher tax. No, I'm not surprised. I know it's kosher. I'm the surprised owner of the company is know. Jewish. It's got a Jewish name, Heinz, or Hellman. I don't even know. I don't know if those are Jewish names. They say all of that. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> Yeah. Miracle, so it's got a big old Jewish name on the label. It's owned by a Jewish guy, and you're but it's a German. You got to pay four extra cents for, for the. Uh, German. You got to pay four Hines extra cents German, for the man. kosher tax when you could have just bought the best value. You guys, right next just to you. before you guys continue in this argument, I gotta go. I have to catch the bus at five in an hour, so I'm exhausted. But I'm gonna. You better not tell like that. You're going to oversleep. I'm going to go watch the Tylenol. I'm going to finish watching the Tylenol murders. You ever seen these Tylenol murders? This guy was putting cyanide in the dang Tylenol. Oh, Tylenol? I don't know. Psycho. He killed seven well, people. Well, I'm going to just take a shower. And, and if nah, he's go to streaming, bed. I'm going to go to clock. bed. No, I have getting... to go down to the city. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, yeah, well, you guys I've been have a freaking good day. trying to stop arguing with Freddie for the past All right, two hours. Up. Quit it's talking been about like five bullshit. Hours. You're the I one can't who brought believe it up. you, Freddie. That's really bad of your part. But you guys have you know, a good night. Okay. I'm going to save America and get us mm -hmm. some black. Mm -hmm. He's black. He's allowed to be <laughs> anti Semitic. That's crazy. You 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 know what? No, no. I have to go and take a shower. But this is very yeah. ironic on yeah. your side. You're always whining about people being racist against black. Yet yeah, where you, do you think I they learned it from? It. Where do you think they learned it from? This the is Jews. insane. I got a shower, Making guys. Hurt. You guys have a good day, okay? And Christmas. <laughs> All right, bye. No, you yep, good night. You learn that from the Jews. That's a Marxist tactic. Nah, it ain't victimhood the mentality, everybody. the let's guilt trip them because we went through so much trauma and now everybody owes us something. You all got that from the Jews. Nah, we ain't get that from the Jews. Yeah, you did. You picked it up. You um, ran with Jews, it. You ran the Jews, with it. The Jews felt like they going to write that in there, like it happened to them. But it never did happen to them, so that gave them the power to do it to us. Oh, well, don't do me It actually that. happened to us. They never was enslaved, but they actually took us and said, "Here, we're gonna give y'all four hundred years of slavery." That's a motherfucking beast. So they ain't never been a victim. They just right. try to play victim in a so story now, now he's a, from Pharaoh that never happened. He's a dang H cross tonight. Okay, you gotta go. <laughs> Who? So yeah, that's the like number one no no. You can't do that. What's that? Denying the uh, events. Mm, I know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, not, you're saying that never happened, basically. Which I do the think it happened. Is... I do think there are some valid questions, but we're not allowed to ask those questions. Yeah, whatever. I ain't even talking about that. No, I'm talking about the dang World War II stuff. Yeah. That's they already they, know what it was. That's why they say they're victims, not because they were slaves to the Egyptians. No, it started because they're slaves to the Egyptians. No, the real victimhood thing came with the dang World War II. With that Austrian guy. No, hell no. Yeah, no. hell yeah. That's what, that's, that's, no. yes. They okay. use that to say that we've been victims and hold, and basically make people feel guilty about it. And then the black people learn from that. I'm not talking about slavery. I'm talking about the other victims. No, no. Know. They act like they try to live that lie. They've been clinging together and Keeping their money together since. All right, this is stupid. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm like gonna destroy my show right now, so I'm done talking about the Jews. No, I'm talking about real life facts. 800 BC. I mean, yeah, I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about none of that anymore. Yeah. To be honest. To be honest, we've been talking about this for two years, and it's not gone anywhere. It's retarded. Yeah. People waking up. Hassan's totally radicalized. 
Hassan's Anchor baby. <laughs> Hank's woke. Why you yeah. always got their names in your mouth? They always woke. You think I care about any of those names you just said? No, I'm just saying. I don't. I'm talking about it. I don't. You might not go nowhere because you don't care. If you talk more about it, you probably be picking up traction. No, uh, no, that would be my competition. That would be no. ever anybody. All the all these people that you name, like you're their best friends, and it's shows you call into. I don't care about the other hosts on the other shows that you call into. I don't care. Them are not your competition. Uh, yeah, they are. Oh hell no! I don't look at them as competition. I listen. To, I look at everybody as competition. Yeah, that's why you probably you can't be like that. I can be like that. Mm. That doesn't mean I dislike them, but I don't want to hear about other people's shows and your thoughts about hosts on shows that you call into. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care about your Jew stuff. I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I'm tired of the closer tax. I'm tired of uh, having the same discussions over and over and over again. Yeah, you got to read a book, bro. Yeah, I read a lot more books than you read. I mean, I know sci fi shit, bro. I read all kinds of stuff. The last book I read. The books I'm currently reading is slowly the Quran. The last book I read was the uh -huh. damn Communist Manifesto for like the fifth time. God. I'm reading books for the fifth time. Yeah. All right. Apparently you didn't get it the first three times. There ain't no other book you like better than that. Well, uh, it's a short book. Trying to memorize it. Um, no, I just people like to commies like to argue with me. Damn commies are everywhere. Yeah, gotta yeah, be careful. I ain't got no time for no commies. There's two different type of commies. There's commie capitalists. That's what Hank call them. Which there you I don't go again. There you go again. About. And you think the same way. Shut up. No, I think my way. All Marxists are like commies. Uh... Are all Marxist commies? Well, Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto. So if you're a Marxist, then yeah, you would be a communist. There are some... Um, all Marxists are communists, not all communists are Marxists. How about that? There are some branches of communism that don't agree with Marx. But if you're Marxist, then you are a communist. Is that your stand? You sure about it? It's not a stance. It's just a fact. It's not an opinion. It's not a theory. It's not a view. It's not a position. It's just a fact. Marx wrote... Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto. So if you're a Marxist, then you're a communist. But you could be a communist and not be a Marxist. You could be a, a Leninist. You could be a Stalinist. You don't have to follow Marx's specific brand of communism. I just use the principles. Principalities. That's what it comes down to. Like Christianity used the principles of my eye. I'm gonna explain that to Anchor Baby tomorrow night. Well, that makes sense. My bad, my bad. Yeah. I know, you can't go five minutes without 
dang old. Uh, yeah, I can. Now, too. if you went on their show and you did that, they would tell you not to, and you would listen. No, they wouldn't, cause they'd be like, "Who the fuck are you talking about?" They say, "Stop doing shout outs." No. And everybody, that annoys me in chat too. It's like, anyway. Yeah. The chat what people to giving shout it. out? Yeah, everybody wants to. I know some channels do that, and that's cool if they do that. But that's not. This ain't the damn social network. <laughs> this ain't the dang. Uh, let's make yeah, friends man. and all get yeah, along. Yeah, all right, let's yes. go. That's how your channel gotta be, bro. Your channel ain't gonna never grow. You don't want your your own people talking about sex and then you try to cock block like them all. Hey, this ain't no flirting room. Y'all can't be flirting in the chat. Who are you cock block of the year? Huh? What people do in the chat is their own business. That's called a joke. And no, it's my business. No, it ain't. It's their business. No, no, this is my house. Yeah, what you gonna do? Say you can't flirt with each other. I'll kick. I ban whoever I want. But I also, what you're talking about was a joke. Um, no, you're fine. So I'm not. I'm not gonna ban what you're talking about. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just ban you from my chat. If I don't want you in my house, I'll kick you out of my house. And anybody who would bitch about that, uh, might as well be a commie. They might as well be uh. Baking gay cakes for people and forcing people to bake. Nobody cake. care about y'all howling commie all day. That don't mean nothing. Commie, no, I just commie, don't. Y'all act uh, like y'all learned a new word. I ain't even hear commie during Obama's time. Now there's commie, commie, commie. Yeah, there's commies everywhere. Yep, mm -hmm. we're gonna bring it back. A lot of uh, fake, fraudulent, yeah. phony people out there. Mm -hmm. I told I made the best chat ever in your chat. I said, uh, you made the best chat ever in my chat. Yeah, I said, uh, he was talking about something. I said, only time white people can control their anger is when they're in front of a black. I'll ban somebody in a heartbeat just because I don't like them. And I don't care if you think that that's... Oh, that's not free speech. Shut up. Yeah. I've never been banned before. Ain't nobody scared to be banned. You learn that banning is like... They come back and they be like, man... It ain't no fun without the dude that he banned. And then they be like, looking for the nigga you banned. I'm like, see... You should have just kept me all alone. Because they ain't, they ain't loyal. Try to be loyal to them. I ain't got no content. They the ones that are shifty. But if you play them, they'll be back. You just gotta be nice. Love everybody. Everybody love everybody. Make it a safe place. Don't be jealous. Don't be like rude. Let everybody be free. Not See where right it goes. You can go somewhere else for that utopia crap. Oh my god. Ain't gonna yeah, happen here. Yeah. Young bull, young bull. I'm 36 years old. Young bull mentality. No, young bull him. mentality is trying to be a people pleaser and make everybody like you. Instead of just no. being... Being you, and if people don't like it, then get the hell out. No, you want to run shit like you the supervisor with the crackhead with yeah, the clipboard. Yeah, yeah, I do run this. You the crackhead with the clipboard. I All built, power, I right? built, I built this channel. Exactly, he's the nobody crackhead else. with the clipboard. Nobody else. Nobody has more power than a crackhead with a clipboard. He's in charge. They can't tell that nigga nothing. He got all the authority in the world. Give a crackhead a clipboard and an ink pen. Shit, that motherfucker's the boss. You call me a crackhead? What are you saying? No, I'm just saying. It'd be that type of mentality. You get a platform like, I'm in charge. It's my rules. Tell him about the gun line, boss. Like, man, look. Nah, I just think a lot of people are bitch made. And uh, they... Uh... 
they're not gonna is it is it bitch made that they ain't doing what you say or they bitch made yeah it's bitch made that they're, it's bitch made that they're trying to be people pleasers and letting people walk all over them in their own house now they walking all over them. i see it in the chat the time. Than, it's different than letting people walk all over you that's why i like crucible letting people say andrew, what they want andrew to. doesn't play around yeah andrew and he's up to 20k and and destiny he doesn't play around with his chat he'll just he'll just throw you out so all the successful crowder doesn't even read his chat slightly offensive doesn't even read his chat all the successful youtube channels they're not in there playing with the chat they're see not... see how they started to the clowns that come in now and they know who's official they know who chose when right. they come in and who will kick right. yeah right. right they right. got a you build up you All build right. up your you build up your exactly um, and they didn't build them up just bullshit. no but in the beginning when you're building up your core audience you're not even then, you're not placating trolls. No, you just people who no, just want to get don't you banned. Know people who just you. want to talk crap. And people yeah, who aren't really the there. More to, they just want to derail the chat. They just want to um, talk about their mess. They want to get you banned. I've seen it a thousand yeah, times. Anybody, anybody Freddy, to get through? Freddie, Freddie, I know. Listen, Freddie, I know more about this than you do. Yeah, I'm sure. But anybody to get through is and a if that, damn good troll. He already know. You probably got to be a member for five minutes. They running your damn shit, checking to see if this is a troll account. And if you get through, uh, it must have been the good one. He's going to kick you anyway. It's like either you're a subscriber and you comment or you got a different account coming in. He's up that to that level where, okay, I know who you are. You out. It ain't like the motherfuckers just anybody's open on his shit no more. He got money. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing. It's hot take. Tracking the comments and him kicking people out. People have where you can. I don't know who him is, and I don't know what you're talking. Destiny about. and all of them. You know exactly what the fuck you're just talking about. No, what you're saying is not making any sense. They be kicking people is. out. They got, it's like Jesse. It'd be like uh, you have to join for five minutes be a member subscription and then they'll go through and check your whole shit before you even can comment on that shit to get, no. get kicked out they don't yeah check, a lot of them like that check on anything it's just you have to be a subscriber member that do members you on think chat it's like on that chat. okay okay freddie i don't know what i'm talking about you're right yeah because somebody told me it was like that and they can do it and said we we go back there while you waiting to come in and we can tell it's certain shit that they can see and if it's, it's automated. an email address it's automated they, it's not an approval process yeah it's and on the other side and if it's the email address that they banned before they won't let you in even if you wait five minutes they know no. if it's an account that they banned before right but they don't but when you set that up you don't go individually. I know it's already in. Man, I know what I'm talking about. Okay, Josh. I'm not saying. Wait, you what, think what so? So you think a channel with 300,000 subscribers, if they put it on members only mode, and a member joins, becomes a member, pays the money, and then starts chatting, and they're, if gonna, it was on a they're gonna backtrack. They're gonna cancel the money, and they're gonna backtrack through and find their alternate accounts. And see what other member. same just, person, uh, different no, account it, situation they have going on, and they're gonna no, figure all that out, to, and they're gonna decide, no, we're not gonna let you be a member. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. No, you have to follow, and you have to follow for five minutes just to comment in the yeah. chat. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know how to do it, Freddie. Yeah, it ain't okay. It ain't subscribing or paying no money. Okay, yeah. Well, there's members only mode. There's subscriber only mode. There's uh well, time. There's you like, know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're yeah, talking about. What I'm telling you is you don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about, but you don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You what you just said, what you just said is if they did if they do subscriber only mode or if they do ten minute because you can do it on time limits, you can do it on you have to have been a subscriber for two weeks. You have to have been a subscriber for 10 minutes. You have to be a member. You have to be a member for this long. You can set all that stuff up. But when somebody subscribes, okay, say I have it turned on where you have to be a subscriber for 10 minutes 
in order for you to chat in my chat. When you subscribe, it doesn't send me a notification that says so-and-so just subscribed. And then I can check into them and decide if I want to let them be a subscriber. Now, that's not how it works. They just subscribe and then 10 minutes later they can talk. You, you think they got like some hackers over there that can figure out same person, different account situations with everybody on the internet? I guarantee you, you could make a troll account and get in there. Yeah, and it'll be the first time it came through and you'll get in. But if you've been banned through an email, you won't get through twice. Right, because your email's already banned. So how many accounts I got with the same email? If I switch account, go back in. I'm pretty sure follow. you have to have a different email for they every won't account. Let me. No, you don't. Okay. You see, you don't even know how to. I just asked you works. a fucking question, dumbass. You over here telling me? I just asked you. I just work. said I'm pretty sure, right? Right. That means I'm asking you because I don't make a what thousand accounts. Oh, okay. All right, you're annoying me. You're frustrating. No, I'm just telling you what I just told you. You can go in and they can watch you. From the same email, come in through a different account and not let you in, even if you follow from a different so account, you're saying, same email. You're saying you have multiple accounts with the same email? Yes. Okay. You can do that. It's not hard. All of those other... Yes. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what the hell your point is. I'm just saying. It, when when you rich, you can screen your damn comments, and they got machines like StreamYard to let you know when a troll is on the loose, and they watch that shit. I don't know how, but I know. If you get in, yeah, they're gonna kick you out. But it is not like when you first start and you ain't got all the money to to stop the spam and the bots and everything else they get through. They got bot blockers and firewalls for all they that know, bullshit. They uh, all right. I think they got mods. Yeah, mods. That's what I'm saying. Okay, That's whatever. It. Man. That's it. They got mods. Okay. Whoever it is. I'm learning. I don't. I, I don't I ain't stupid completely to this shit. Uh, all right, I'm going to bed. You can't go to bed. You gotta stay up tomorrow, Josh. Well, I'm gonna watch the show. <laughs> I have to go to get a ID at noon. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna sleep from like. I don't know. I'll probably sleep from like five till something. And then what's up, baby? I'll probably sleep from like 5 a.m. till 10. And then I'll come home and take a little couple hour nap. A little nap action. That's right. She, you better get your rest. 10 to 7 is a long little stride. Yeah, I get. I get. Sleep like, during daytime. Get you some trash bags. Put over the windows. Make your room real dark. I got black That's blinds. That shit ain't gonna work. It works. Okay, that'll work. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, see later. You. Freddie gonna send me a bunch of money. I'm not gonna say the amount. Send me money and then he pisses me off. And then it's like, damn. I still gotta yell at this fool. I still gotta mute this fool. You know? You don't get to buy your way out of. You don't get to buy your way into. Into talking mess and not getting checked. That ain't gonna happen. We killed the Slime King, though. I still gotta organize all these chests. That's what I've been doing for the last... 
like two hours is just organizing chess. I have a hole in my wall right here I need to fix. Um. All right. Whoa. Finish this last bro, and then hit sack. I'm gonna finish watching this Tylenol murders documentary. Pretty interesting so far. Of course, they gotta put some like liberal messaging in it. This stream is gonna get banned. I can't freaking. It's it's so annoying. It's so annoying. I want to do a stream where I play a game. And I talk about philosophy. And I learn about something new. And we learn about something. And it's and it's decent. And it's wholesome. And it's informative. And we play video games. And we learn stuff. And we hang out. Instead, I gotta argue with damn Freddy and Floor for 28 hours. About God knows what. Kosher taxes again. Napoleon. Freddy's a dang, all of a sudden, a solipsist who thinks the universe began last Thursday. What the heck? I can't have one freaking monetizable game stream. Not one. Not one. You can't do it. You know how to fix that? Ban him. <laughs> ban him. Just ban his ass. I can't. I can't. Because he's going to let me sleep on his floor at the Dragon Ball tournament. I like Freddy. He just, he just gets under my skin. We need to just, when we have a conversation, and I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. If you watched, I tried. When it started getting, it was calm, peaceful, great conversation. And when it started getting, I was like, yo, we got to stop. Let's change the topic. Let's go back to Cat Williams. No. He just kept on it, kept on it, kept on it. And then it leads to the Jews. And then it leads to the kosher tax. And I'm like, bro, I just want to watch a video and play a video game. What the heck? What the heck? It's later than a mug. That's not funny, baby. It's not funny at all. And we got Flora saying... Oh my god, I had no idea that Freddy does not like the Jews. What do you mean? <laughs> I gotta get some sleep. Well, I'm trying to stay up as long as possible. You know how he is. He doesn't want to have a conversation. I know. He wants to push his stuff and just argue and just be a character. Which is fun, but I'm trying to talk to some smarter people, you know, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like step our game up. It ain't happening. Platinum, Play-Doh does not sharpen platinum. Iron sharpens iron. Play-Doh doesn't sharpen iron. <laughs> Freddy's Play-Doh. Uh. Yo, I told him <laughs> I want to clip that. I need to find that. This is what sucks also about doing these long ass streams is because all the like all the like clippable moments I would have to scrub through 7 hours of stream to find them. Talk to the Thorps. I don't think that's much better than Freddy. A little bit but really, not much. Fred isn't iron. He's like, 
He said, he's like, paper? Bibby, I think you missed it. I said, we were talking about the, the Kalam cosmological argument, right? The idea that the universe began. And I said, just like the video we watched the other night, I said, imagine time is a lineup of dominoes. And the last domino is present day. And every domino is an event in the past. If there were infinite dominoes and you pushed the first domino and there were infinite dominoes and those dominoes, which are events happening and there's infinite, then you would never reach present day. The events would never reach to present day because there were infinite previous events, right? So I explained that to Freddie. He said, he said, if the dominoes are wrapped around the world and the world is spinning around the sun, then every time the world goes around, the dominoes restand and fall again. That was his, that was his answer. <laughs> how do I respond to that? I don't know how to respond to that. I don't even know what that means. If the dominoes were set up around the world and the world is rotating around the sun, then by the time the world makes one rotation, the dominoes would restand. That's what he, that's what he said to explain why the universe has a be. <laughs> Oh, uh, I want to clip that. All right, I'm going to, well, I'm trying to stay up as long as possible because I got to work from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. tomorrow, so I got to get my ID at 1245. I need to get my six hours, but I'm not going to make it staying up all night. I'll probably go to sleep at like five. Wake up at 10, get five hours of sleep, go get my ID. I need a, my ID's expired. Fredism. He's a damn Frediter. He's a Frediter. He said he was going to start a school. He said he wants to start a school in Africa. And I called, I said, uh, you should call it the Egyptian school of Fredication. He's going to be a Fredgicator. <laughs> He's going to be a Fredgicator. When he go, when he pulls out his uh, discovery card, he says, put it on Fredit. Put it on my Fredit. <laughs> uh, he's a dang Frediter. <laughs> Alien vs. Fredditor. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm out of here. I had my first day at Walmart today. It was cool. Orientation. First real day tomorrow night. I'm going to head out. Have a good night, baby. See you later, everybody who hung out. We out. This stream might get removed because we talked about Jews for a long time. And I do not, YouTube, I do not support anti-Semitism. That's that guy. That's that random guy on Discord. I don't support, the views and ideas expressed here are not those of me. I am not the views, of, they are not the views or ideas expressed by me. We love the Jews, even if they put a kosher tax on anything. And if there's a kosher tax, then just don't buy the food with the kosher tax. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Later, baby. Later, everybody. I'm out.